what I'm saying. It's kind of weird. Now I can set up my Twitter post. Like, what is this music, actually? <laughs> like, <laughs> the fuck? I have no fucking idea, bro. Oh, now we wait for 20 more fucking minutes, bro. Beautiful. You live? Hey, you're live. Yes, we. See, si, bro. See. Si. Hey, you're 20 subs away, dog. <laughs> oh, I know. 20 subs away, though. Bro, what, actually, what the fuck is this? PNGO. Grab this link. Link. I'm not fucking with you. Bang. Share. Copy link. Instagram that fucking uploads hopefully it uploads oh mm -hmm. are we gonna eat do I eat food do I get food of course the fuck Bro, we have 18 fucking minutes. Go get whatever you want. <laughs> True. What if I want you, kidding? Then... Come to Oklahoma. Ah, <sighs> it's so far. <sighs> yeah, it's so far. All away. that way for a 5'9 midget. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude. I bend it. How are you doing today, bend it? Bro, send me a picture of your PC that you that you're getting. My view, you weirdo. All right. They're always asking for this weird stuff, dude. Yeah, where's our DMs at? Uh. All right, let's hit you the. You're Did bored, you Bandit? Don't worry. We're about to see some epic gameplay. It's okay, Bandit. We're rooting for the downfall of Nova Hyper. All right. Nova Hyper. See you later, boys. So and I'm tomorrow when Vampire Esports plays, I'm an official Vampire Esports <laughs> player. All my homies hit Nova Hyper. Ooh, wait. You actually got such a sick PC. Wait, what the fuck? What, how many fans is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fans? God damn. And it's purple too, bro. That shit's actually gas. Purple LEDs. I love purple. Let's see. Your specs are good too. Did you have your, your friend help you buy this PC? Did, did you ask him? Because these are really good specs. Or are you just... Yeah. Damn.
I wonder what, like, I wonder who came up with the idea of, yo, let's put these songs, be, like, for the broadcast, because, like, these songs are fucking trash, bro. What am I listening to right now? Oh, I'm listening to Spotify right now, dude. Well, I mean, I am too, but viewers can't hear it. English broadcast, Hot Juke, Seven Worlds Gaming, and a guy named DK. I've just never heard of him. DK? Yeah. You don't know about that rumors of DK the goat? I don't think I know. No, I don't know who DK is. I'm assuming Damn. he's a PUBG PC caster now. Probably. I don't know. I'll be right back. I'm going to go grab some food for the shirt on. I've been butt booty naked the entire time. <laughs> Where's my hoodie at? Guys, I have a problem. I can't find the hoodie. It's dead ashes disappeared. I'm confused. I just need to turn up my desktop audio. Oh, what the hell's my bed? Why don't you tell me that, dog? What? My hoodie fell off my bag. You did tell me. Um. What the hell, man? <laughs> oh, 13 fucking minutes. There we go. Oh shit, that's actually kind of sick. I actually need to turn on this fucking fan. Fucking panda, bro. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Oh, what are you talking about, brother? I wonder where my glasses were. That'd be fucking awesome. Let's see, I should find them. Hmm, where did they be? They're definitely in my car. But I'm not going out there because it's too fucking cold, so. Ah, oh, dude. Oh. Excuse me, brother. In Hyper's ass, brother.
Oh, wait. NGX and DX are landing at Pachinki together? Wait, hold up. Three fucking teams are landing. Oh my god. Nova Hyper's landing Lapovka. Landing Lapovka. And. Primorsk. Wait, nobody's landing fucking Yasnaya today? That's such a cheese place, bro. I don't know why people I don't I don't know why more top teams don't land Yaz, because Yaz is like one of the best spots in a wrangle. Like best rotations, you can go north, south, fucking you're already on the east side and it's easy to rotate west. I don't know why I don't know why a lot of pro teams choose to land like don't even like look at like trying to land Yaz besides like INF. INF has all of Yaz themselves, and there's nobody Stalber, and there's nobody Lapovka or Kameshki or Prison when they're gonna when they're about to play. They're really gonna have the whole northeast side of the map for free, bro. That is actually so troll. But they're not playing today, so Saverni's open, Yaz is open, Mansion's open, Farm's open, uh, Stalber, Kameshki, and Milta Pop, bro. The whole like right side of the map's open in a wrangle. Where can I look at Miramar? I wanna look at Miramar. I guess I don't have Miramar up yet. Eight minutes. Oh man. Should I make a poll? I feel like oh shit. I just got off the stream. I should probably make a poll, huh? See if I can make a poll on my phone. If not, I'm gonna have to make it on my fucking PC and it's gonna be so good. I don't wanna do that. Oh man. Oh shit, I can hear myself. I hate hearing myself. Panda, I gotta make you mod, bro. Uh, wait, what did I just do? Panda, I made you a mod. Can you, um? Oh wait, no, Bandit, you're also a mod, and so is Six. We're chilling. Um, I want to make a poll when the, the game starts, but I'll do it later, I guess. Motherfucker six probably making a whole ass breakfast right now. OG teams are getting broke. What do you mean? What do you mean, Summon?
What do you mean OG teams are getting broke? Four fucking minutes, five minutes. Jesus Christ. Yo, chat, you want to see the phone, bro? You want to see the new phone I just got? It's kind of cool. It's kind of fucking cool. You already see that? I don't know if y'all can already see that. It's gold. This bitch is. Bitch is fire. Mmm. Fucking, fucking mint. The only team that has the same squad from 2020 till now, uh, yeah, the STE roster, which is now Falcons, um, uh, Action Top, Nizaran and Icy. I Icy's new, but Nizaran Top and Action have been together since um, like 2020. Welcome back, Prish, Prish, Prish. Dos Miniotos. How much time we got left, Valor? Two minutes. Uh, w. Way to full play of nachos. Chat, what the fuck did I just tell you? Motherfucker is grubbing. He said, I'm gonna go get food. Made a full fucking meal. <laughs> buddy, buddy was, was getting a, enough food to not get back up for a while. This gonna put me down, dog. No, six. I was here. I'm gonna send you this. I fucking your um, meat, dude. Stop sending me your cock. God damn it, dude. I, you're supposed to fucking air that on the stream, man. Okay. Uh, look at your Insta DMs. My Insta DMs. I don't like this chat. He's trying to. No, it's the it's all the drop spots for to for today for a wrangle. All right, let's check this out. Let's check this Group out. Group A and B. It's the very first picture. All the northeast, northeast side. Nobody's any Yaz, Severny, Stalberg, Kameshki, Mansion, Shelter, Prison. There's no way three teams land. Pachinki. Yaz I mean, yeah, Pachinki. There's no way. Someone's gotta change. Someone's gotta go Yaz. Well, someone can go well, I'm telling Kameshki you this right or Severny. If if this is how it's gonna be, and and if it goes Yaz. If in hyper doesn't make it top five, there's a fucking problem. 
And Heifer should have the freest rotations ever. Same with whoever Glenn Zark. Dude, there's only two teams on the on the east side of the map. <laughs> yeah, Navi has like access to everything. Holy shit, I can't open this fucking bottle of hot sauce, dude. This is actually gonna be so troll. They haven't came out with the other uh, maps yet, but that actually I was like, holy shit. Why is nobody landing fucking Yaz? Holy shit, chat, it's starting. Oh my god, 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 oh my. Oh, hello, 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 lady. <laughs> hello, lady. Hello, hello, Puppy Gmail. Oh, hello, lady. My name is Carol Bombshell, and welcome Whoa. to the 2024 PNG O Brazil. <laughs> Today, we start the prelims stage. Oh, they gotta announce all the teams? Oh, NGX is at the very Shut first up. cubicle, bro. They're the way in the back. Let's get, let's catch up with oh, they're already in their seats. Never mind. Matches. Yeah. I thought they would announce the teams walking out or something like that. I guess not. Global Open Brazil. The time has come for new generation of players to make their mark on the globe. I put too much lime on my nachos. It's got too much of a lime taste. Online qualifier, okay. qualifier finals, prelims, not the, main event. the worst the taste to have, but you know, just uh, just just um, what is it? From Drowning out in hot sauce. Six, the registered teams fought oh. to claim the top 128 spot and pass the first round. These 128 teams went through the same format from March 8th to 10th, where 32 teams survived. Yo, Chad, I just want to let you know, my team made it to round two, and we placed like 44th out of, and we, we were, we were like so close. It was like five points from us qualifying to this. The only reason we didn't qualify for this is because one of the matches, Quancho, Nate, and um, and uh, Atomic all lagged out of the map, and they're like, there's no restarts, and so I had a solo one of the games, and then we just had terrible Santa games, but it was actually so troll, we almost made it. In other words, Chad, they're fucking ass, dude. So troll. And we were playing on like 150, 180 MS. It was, if it was on NA servers, it would have closed, but shit was troll. PUBG Mobile Partnership Program teams who get invited here to raise the heat from April 1st to 3rd. These 24 teams will be divided into three groups. The round robin format will good chat. They're gonna win the NA and then the win worlds. Who step into the PNG of Brazil main event? Next, these eight chosen young bloods, along with the qualifier finals winner, will face the that's actually troll, bro. I'm actually so happy for Snow that that motherfucker Robbie made it to. The main event. Bro, he's so tiny compared to Rob's. Have you seen that picture? Yeah. It's <laughs> gonna look like Nate and Wancho next to each other, bro. Prize money. Are you ready for the ultimate test of skill and teamwork? Then witness the contenders rise in 2024 PNG Brazil. What's up, everybody? It's Hot Jukes and re ready for some PUBG Mobile Global Open action we're in the preliminary now to my side on. i got none other than the 7 wg right. at dk7 right, how you feeling today i'm feeling great man I i'm excited especially dk cast the Saturday, english stream for uh, arabia response from t falcons uh, so, sorry sorry i just get that out of my system oh dude dk I, you were there with me brother how you feeling Ooh, i mean dude like if saturday is anything to go on we are in for an absolute show moving into today's action Man, dude, I think the Team Falcons are going to be coming in real You saw the team that made here. it for to main event, that missed it, we got beating XSTE. Yeah, down it's Snow's team. Just a couple days ago. No. It's like half of SPG. I think he's talking about from regionals. Oh. No, I have no idea. The spotlight. The true champions at the table had once again emphasized that in this battle of survival, consistency always reigns supreme. Even in a rapid-fire series of six matches. Meet the table toppers, Team HFIYS, igniting the day with an explosive pro elimination third place finish on Sandhawk. In such fierce competition, survival hinges and navigating from one battle to the next, and despite their firepower, they couldn't quite seal the deal when it came to grabbing chicken dinners. Yet You're talking about Snow's team? Yeah, bro, he's insane. Him and Rob's are actually such a crazy duo. In top four, Beyond their ranking, this team's ability to rack up Snow MVP'd that the qualifier finals too, I'm pretty sure, Panther. So 
even when Team Deathwood snatched the final chicken dinner, that shit flies for nine elimination seconds. Well, I am surprised though is fucking money makers in a qualify. Punching their ticket to the main event with a six point lead. Hot on their heels, the Brazilian Uprising's Team Death Wolves nearly stole the show with the blockbuster 16 elimination massacre. However, their initial inconsistency left them trailing in the second on the overall placement. Otherwise, when this squad plays their cards right, it's a masterclass on how to perform a massacre right. High expectations accompanied the Mongolian Falcon squad, comprising former stalwart members, also known as the Conquerors of Central Asia. And they delivered from the outset. The new Falcon scripted the demise of their you rivals. You see IC story the after they didn't qualify? In no, what was it? Match, they dismantled rivals like Zebra Masters with this. Did you call like his entire team racial slurs like Valkwood? Okay, what the hell, man? The remaining he posted. Fox racist, racist, guys. He posted, I'm heartbroken. Well, bro, yeah. They were one point away from qualifying. And it's actually crazy that a roster like that with with Koya, how do you say his name? Koya? Koya? They could never quite soar without a big lead. No clue. While consistency remained their ally, one chicken dinner and they um, could have cracked the top three. I can't even remember. Winning the fifth spot, Team Ina showcased meticulous performance on Rango. Fortified by favorable circles, yet credit is due. These youthful contenders who fiercely defended their fortress, punishing every intruder who dared to enroach. Following their second place finish, the team INS on Rango, team Rose. Yo, the goat Bray. High ground near La Drillera, He's one of us, chat. He's from NA. Don't get it twisted. Helpless, unable to throw Who? Bray. Bray from. Reducing the Bray's the goat. A tense waiting game where all the rivals could do was deny elimination points, but that still did not hold them off from entering the prelims as the sixth place team. The new Nepali coalition of Skylights and Raw Esports named its Team Hora salvage their fate with a third place finish on Orango. While their seventh place finish keeps Nepali hopes aflame, but no, they'll need to fight even harder to survive the coming trials. Smoke Gaming. Despite showcasing glimpses of promise with two fourth place finishes, found themselves teetering on the edge of contention. While their Dude, that motherfucker is shooting a 4x suppressed AK. <laughs> That's so troll. In the end, a single point separated Inco Gaming, the former Brazilian PMPA champion, from missing the prelims cut. While this new half roster struggled to recapture their champion form, their grit proved enough to keep their journey alive, if barely. The cream of the qualifier oh. rounds will now be joined by the global favorite in the prelim stage. The time has come to prove their I'm not following PUBG Mobile Esports for over six months. Just want to know which team is favorite coming into PMGO. Well, I mean, wow, I'm, I'm going to be biased. I mean, it qualified. Yeah, I, I mean, we were so shocked <laughs> that bit. Team Falcon at the last second didn't make it. But you know yeah, there were a lot of fuck actors from Mundo, too. Yeah. I'm going to be biased. I think, they are too I think them Enigma Galaxy is going to win this Cracker. bitch. So I think they're going to win it all. Um, that we know that's my team favorite um but obviously like the falcons roster the x ste rosters um a favorite uh furia the brazilian liquid team liquid um and then we went when we get into the grand finals nova esports the chinese team's a team favorite alpha seven no they're not favorite. they're they're trash china nova is so bad they're like 11th in the region right now they just they just washed Yes, indeed. Mean, bro, they got the go Paraboy right back. Let's go ahead and take it on over to the stage. In order. They're chilling. Yeah, but how are they 11th place after five weeks? <sighs> goddamn right. You're goddamn right. NGX just because of Coops? It's not just because of Coops. I think Ralph is a, like a really good IGL. And I think Lord is also a really Lord. good gunner. Mm -hmm. I think like they're like their only weak point. But like I, I can't even say he's a weak point. But like... Their worst player, and it's crazy to say, their worst player is like freak, but he's still a good player. Yeah. He has his moments where he pops off too. It's nice. Very well with Loden Gaming. So they are great teams, and let's see what the next day is going to give us. Some surprise. Dude, chat. You think some know. underdogs this, will win? This guy Underdogs right, don't usually win. This guy right it's here. Very rare. 
Wait, who? Underdogs? Who's the roster? No, no, just underdogs, like underdog teams, like people like teams that you don't expect to win. They oh. don't really ever win in battle royale games. No. Battle royale requires too much skill. Like you can get zone blessed, but when everyone's like really good, your zone blessed doesn't mean shit if you're ass. Like, I don't think there's ever been an underdog win. Right now, in there's only. PUBG Mobile. I mean, realistically, like, there's only. There's only three teams right now that is underdogs. And because all the rest are, like, big org names and, like, partner teams. Like, the only underdogs that are in this tournament as of right now is Zebra Master, Insanity Esports, Hora Esports. And Royals of War. Everybody else is like a Brazilian top team and partner teams. Freak over any NA pros? Bro, I'm taking Spec and Xenox over him. I think those would be the only two players to take over him. Dude, they need to get their sound quality correct, bro. Because one second it's quiet, the other second it's loud. What are some of the ones that stand out to you, DK? I mean, all right, chat. If anyone uh, guesses who ends today in first place, I'll give you five dollars. We've got Enigma Galaxy coming in as well for Group A. Or are or strong. Or, let me I, check the let me check the Wikipedia. I can't remember who's on their team. I don't know anybody on that. Rock. It's an Apollyon team. Oh, then they're all my ass. As well, which is, I mean, that's a team that I'm actually intrigued to see how they're going to be performing here. It's oh, it's Skylights Gaming. I want to talk. They aren't really that good. That team was barely able to make it to the prelims. They were able to out qualify money makers. I'm taking Sixless over Freak. If Sixless was in his prime, I'd take him over Freak. But the chat prime Sixless was very good. Wait, who's their, who's their fourth? Who's who's Saw X? Is that their coach? Name the Galaxy. Did you see that? Yeah, and then you know what? We just got to hear from Knight in regards to Team Liquid. I mean, pre. No, I'm like checking for sure now. Oh yeah, it's definitely their coach because they have Knight. They have Knight on Liquid's roster. Yo, chat. Sorry, I'm covering up Nova Hyper's roster, but I mean, it, it's it's Star, it, it's Starlight FS Batonic Caprice. There you go. That fool is high gourd. I'm not gonna continue. I don't. There's a guy named Obscure and Trash. There you go. And Rado Boy. You gotta get it done. They gotta get it done. Come on and hyper, right? Get some time. They could do, but meanwhile we got Team Kessel oh, influence rage. Prime and Coops is better than C9 Sixless. Esports as well. And there towards the end, look at that. We think about that six. I mean, if we're talking about hot here, like I never played like a global tournament in C9. I mean, this is. I just played like regionals and shit, or not even regionals. I played. We've been talking about this. Yeah, I played regional stuff. I wasn't in C9 long enough to play any global stuff, but if we're talking about like in my in in our individual era, like Prime Coops or Coops at any time is better than me at any time. You know what I mean? But like for our eras compared to our competitors, Coops is definitely not over SSG six. So it'll be the only one. He's like every every version of Coops is better than every version of me except SSG. If we're comparing it to our like enemies at the time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, what it also depends right on here. This is how you're gonna get actually. The point, the he had that one time and you know ten points for a chicken dinner. Like if it was Those placement points based, then you take. We're talking about sixes. individual. We're talking about individual. Especially oh, you know? yeah. Well, I mean, if it's not a DBS meta, like from last year. Maybe, you know. I think, I think Coops beat you in everything besides sniping. I think you're a better sniper than me. I don't know, I don't ever snipe. I just have games. So we start in Sanok and then three wrangles and then ending in two Miramars. I actually love this format, bro. I hate switching back and forth between maps. I'd rather just play the same map and then move to a different map. I better play Sandhawk last, because if I get smoked on Sandhawk because some cringe shit, I'm going to be depressed the entire day, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's also nice to get it out of the way. Nah, I'd rather have it last, bro. Because you can always RNG. Where the fuck did my hot sauce go, bro? 
Keep in mind which groups are going to be playing today. How'd I lose my hot sauce? A and group B. Group C. Sticks until I hate Indians. I hate every race now. Okay, dude. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't chat. I don't, chat. I don't know what he's talking about. He's on my channel. He doesn't hate anybody. I hate everyone. Dude. In game, in game chat. In game. He hates every team in game. Every every race. Every no no. Every gender. No, I do not. Every every height. Listen here, brother. Unless you're a, unless brother, you're. <laughs> I, do, I do not report. Unless you're I, five I, two I, million. I do not support. Brother, this I don't know this guy, brother. I don't know him, brother. brother. He's talking shit on me, game. brother. And that's where it can get a little bit intense. You Valak, know, is ICU you still finding players for PMSL? No, but uh, there's. Uh, we're playing scrims tonight with our um our like set roster. Uh, we actually picked up a player that. If you're an OG player, you would know who he is. He's going to be our last player for our roster. So I'll be streaming scrim scrims tonight. And uh, you'll find out who it is. Yeah, teams that I'm going to be looking, especially from Group A, I want to see what Navi is going to be doing. I mean, this team... I still have my night bot. Six hates you, Manny. I'm just a professional hater, Jack. I don't hate any specific race. I hate all of them. I hate people. last year, that roster... That's gonna be with them now, except for, for I still have my fucking night bot from uh, the yeah, spamming that shit, bro. Like, well, well it, it's like, like set for every 17 and 19 earlier, minutes, uh, and then it will go off when like 10 chats go off. So, and I'm too lazy to do bro. that to turn them off chat, so just don't mind the fucking night bot. Ignore it, you know. And loaded, so it's so crazy to say because we've been seeing so many of these teams been competing for so long. And DK, Yo, they're, think that these, they're the, you know, the, the NA teams, team, have a little bit but of none of them are NA players. That they're going to be so warmed up right. into this. What do you think? Starlight was born in North America, I think. Be able to carry forward a little bit of that momentum that they're able to build up. I mean, nah. let's see those yeah, insane plays coming in right on the very last match. Oh, six, I love you too. I'm hoping to see a little bit of that pull through, but again. It comes down to how these teams are No Chinese team. Uh, Nova, the Chinese Nova team is invited to the grand finals, like the main event. I mean, this is not a this is not a race. This is a marathon, right? We got several days of action, so I think there's gonna be a lot on the table for them here too. Mm, okay, seven. Who do you think's gonna start off strong here? Shifan should play instead. Oh, I mean, bro, wow. like Shifan did amazing in PMGC for not touching the game in like fucking a year. Game. Uh, like, if he actually, like, don't, I would be practice, like, surprised. he, a lot of I feel like he could be still a really good like player, a, a but, a I mean, he's doing, I see great, player he's doing great, he's doing great content, so I don't know why he would want to come back to playing pro. It would not be right. I think he just did because he had to. Yeah. So, they left STE, and 4MV got picked up by STE. Really? I didn't see that. I, I didn't know that. Pretty sure. Big old duck. I thought they just stayed at 4 and B. long enough to be playing at a no. of the quality of this, this motherfucker's trying to be like Ninja Chat. He has a fucking headband on. Oh yeah, because everyone that wears a headband is Ninja. Yep. I'm interested to see what's gonna be happening with that team from Ninthies. Wait, no, they're still in. But you have to be able to adapt. I thought they were still in 4 and B. And you know, speaking of adapt during the qualifiers. We saw oh, the actually Who did STE pick right? up then? I don't think they've the announced the roster yet. You know what? We can't leave this up to chance. We got to take the Falcons huh. out here and now if we want to punch our ticket. And I think that that was definitely the smart play, DK. Wait, did these, Wait, East left. This this, this preliminary really? is absolutely Wait, did East retire? Squads. But like you said, there are still Wait, no, East went to new rosters that are making, making things He played up. with Strength in a tournament, and then he played with Maptex Esports in a tournament. I don't know what team he plays on now. He just thought owned their team. Where's Coop's cam? You know, new uh, well, units here because they're right, they're like right there. Oh shit! We're start off with game number one. Game number one, chat. Oh shit! Wait, wait, what the fuck happened there? Well, and here we go, getting ready for the action. Of course, getting right down into Yeet. standoff game number one. Seven, I think this is going to be... Holy shit, so many people just dropped out of the plane. Right, that lays the foundation here. Whoa. I mean, uh -uh -uh. we see now that teams are capable of really closing up gaps wherever they need to. But I wonder just how much of a gap... I wonder where Nova Hyper is going to go. Right here in 
They I mean, usually go saw me, but <laughs> I used NGX to be is such going a there. Big fan of Sandhog just because of all mm. the madness, and I used to love where this, where we used to have this map located, which was towards the middle, because it would kind of give a break. Here is taking intense gaming drop spot. Liquid and a team right? are fighting. And so in that gap that you're talking about. Wait, Inko is fighting right now. Yeah, they're fighting. VP Royal player died. I think they're fighting Rolls of War. Teams that are from Brazil, they are usually the strongest. Could be oh, we gotta match up our times once it goes big stream. They're gonna be taking advantage right away. Yeah. We are seeing some teams already getting into a fight. The Valk is muting. No, he sucks a lot of dick, so like it gets a good jawline for him. It's good to see some early game interaction coming through, and of course, Vishnu looking down into would find none. What the fuck? It's a point of He's gay chat. Okay. What the hell? Nova, what the fuck is Nova Hyper split? Why is only FS in Hot 10 and the rest are at Heaven fighting DX? Like, that's the shit I don't get, bro. Hey, I trust him. I trust him. Go die! We're gonna be switching over though, right? You can see on the healing feed as well. Nine Navi, one man up after at game one. That's unfortunate. Right, what's your time? I'm gonna stop it. Uh, I'm gonna stop at 140. I'm not 140. Oh, I gotta go back then. Hold on, let me go back. Oh, wait, no, you just pause. You just pause. Then. I'm, I'm stopping at 140. All right, well, I'm at 133 now, so go to 133 okay. and I'll tell me when you're at 130. All right, we're gonna go and go three, two, one, go. They are, they are pros for a reason, right? They have the ability to adapt as they have to. Now, Team Liquid, of course, coming in with a, an interesting spread, though. Playing that 3-1 uh, positioning call. We can no see shit, no Let's go, Team one. Liquid. Shots starting to connect on up. Go oh, behind, forgot a kill. Good googly moogly. <laughs> Starlight could be the GOAT. Oh, gosh. They got a kill. Something like this happened. They see you paid like 20k for signing bonus and they say we got scammed. What the fuck? Something that we definitely need to mention is we already have a team that's already been eliminated. It's going to be versus pro. They are out of Sandhawk. Not the way Who just messaged me on Discord? VP already dead, bro. GG. Anything can happen. Right, they got one kill though. Or you can be gone back to the lobby as Navi's gonna be going back. Loud to the also the released the roster. Who the fuck is Loud's roster? Wait, ra Loud's in the fucking P1 in PUBG Mobile? <coughs> wait, really? There's no way. No, Loud, if Loud was, they would have, they, they would have been a partner team. They would no have, way. there's no yeah, way. They, they would have a Brazilian team as well. There's no way they don't have a Brazilian team. Yeah, they're, they're literally a Brazilian org, the, one of the biggest Brazilian orgs they're, in the world. They're, they're the biggest Brazilian org. That, there's no Are they way. the biggest? Yes, they're the biggest. Yeah, they would have to have like a top team. There's no way they're picking up some bombs. The two biggest Brazilian orgs is fucking Loud and Leviathan. Everything here, right? Regnum really gonna have to stand the ground if they're looking to progress further. They are, and I mean, we saw right there being too. being able G -G. to get those angles, being able to get... Yo, Chad, if you haven't subbed yet, make sure to give Valak a subscription, you know? On oh, God, I'm 20 away. He's 20 away, guys. I'm 1K, bro. Let's get it under 18 before the end of the stream. Valak likes it like that. This was a player that was part of S2G last year. It's a great nade, Mythic. That's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, Chad, Mythic and Ayala are, like, up there. I've been... Dude, I was on the I was on the mythic train before anyone else shot. I was saying it way before anyone else was. I called it, bro. I was telling you he was cooking and y'all weren't believing me. And then he was cooking worlds, dude. But now this is where Regnum Garia needs to decide which engagement are they gonna focus on. Are they gonna look to the three piece or maybe try? Wait, I remember Team Liquid is in loops, not loud. Yeah, yeah with the Team Liquid's the loops roster, yeah. not loud. But they're gonna have to be careful because the more time that they end up giving Team Liquid, the more that Team Liquid is gonna be able to just find those different angles as they're able to find right there. Cardozin just going up in the mountain, trying to find anything that is given to him, taking some shots and make sure that he relays that to his team and. Here comes the push, DK. Oh, come on, Wild 77K prepping up for some action. Because he gets you also. They got a nade for him. They can just bounce it off the windowsill to the top. The max back on full capacity mm. already. That mm. Mythic with a good angle. A oh, don't take this 1v1, y'all. Wait for your team. Wait, wait. Take it with your team, though. What is he shooting at? There's no one downstairs. Oh, they're already shooting boxes. Liquid's filming. Yeah. That's wild. That's wild. 
Mythic with two chat. I told you, bro. The goat right there. Game one already shooting boxes. Yeah, they gonna win. GG. It's over for RAG, bro. They're staying asleep for pick. They aren't waking up. Why do Brazilian teams like to take fights? Because they're just an aggressive. They're an aggressive team. Point system favors fights. <laughs> so they could. So Team Liquid could die right now with no place points, no kills, and it equals third place. Because they just wiped one team. So, like, taking fights is good now. If you can do it correctly without losing players. Or losing more than one player. Like, I'll take an off-drop fight and get four kills for one player, honestly. Like, I, I do that every day. Because with a trio, you can still function pretty well. You would have to play a certain playstyle that's not as aggressive as your initial playstyle if you did have four men. Damn, I'm a yapper, bro. My bad, chat. I'm is six gone right, right now. Is, not six, is, is Sizzle's doing um, that one thing? Sizzle's got exposed for being a fraud. Like, for what? He like lied about everything. Like he's not a uh, was never a pro. He's just some random dude. Looking at that like faked it all because he spoke Chinese and stuff and had like contacts <laughs> and so he picked some like he picked a pro that played like one season retired and like never like did any social media so he's not gonna know so like no one's gonna like you know and the Chinese people don't interact with us so like none of them will be like oh that's a fake guy you know so we never knew and then he got exposed, and he just disappeared. Never came back. Shout all I'm gonna say is, um, the top teams with the most kills right now are all Brazilians. What's happening? Chat, NA is literally Brazil. I don't know, I don't care what you say. We play against them in Americas, and like, they're us. At least for the time being, I mean, looking at Smoke, they don't have all that much to worry about, right? The a big chunk of the north is open. No one really pushing on them coming from that. Or any actually ass, or we just go against Brazil every time, you know? Think about it like that. Dude, we literally go against the best fucking region, one of the best regions. So it's like it's curling in a great position. They're just gonna keep holding this. So hard going against more than likely are gonna end up pushing forward. But don't worry. Right now, if my team makes it to PMSL Americas, bro, we're gonna be on the same fucking ping as them. And I swear to God, we better do good when we're on the same ping. The year is gonna go for this team now that Coops has been with them. For over a year, Synergy is definitely going to be there. I can't wait to see what they're going to be able to do and how Coops is going to be playing this year. Every single year, Coops has been getting better and better. I wonder why. Ever since he started yeah. I wonder why Ralph's asking them to on that loot trade. They're probably just waiting I'm, for first zone to pop. Come on, Coops. They always do this. This has been their strat forever. They always rotate late as fuck. But I think another good thing about uh, what we see in Enigma is that that experience from Coops is rubbing off <coughs> as well. I mean, not that Chat, hit the like button. If you don't hit the like button, you like big buff sweaty man. Being delivered there. Uh, don't hit the like button. Wait, what? Bucket. What the fuck did Bucket. I just say? <laughs> don't hit the like button. Nominally, but now hit the like button. Be the action starting to get packed in right here. Oh, let me see if my PC is arriving yet. It, it's something strange when it comes to setup. Well, PUBG M sponsor y'all if yeah, you guys make it to Americas. Here, being able to take some shots. Um, RLW. There's gonna be a big org that, TM that picks up an NA team the from, from that. The, PMSL NA qualifiers. You're wondering what Inco Games Chad Sentinels. I don't even so, know what Inco Gaming is currently doing. If we play good and impress the org, we we'll have a really good chance. We'll but, I mean, we have to. Be able to find a good we have to qualify spot. first. That's like our main goal right now. Fox, we're Fox, practicing to get to America. It's, it's not like a. a much, much better position it's not like a free, close. free trip. Well, even though like NA is like terrible and my team stay together, like it, it's still a tournament that we have to do well in. Because NA is like it's ass, but at the same time, it's ass because people do brain dead plays and like it can end up bad for us if we don't take it serious. You want to take a little bit of a backseat approach, right? You want to try and pick up that momentum and maybe even just bulldoze your way into a potential chicken. Yeah, I think it's, it's uh, definitely a time to kind of test out how some of the teams are going to be reacting. I mean, with how many hot drops we saw, it's just them testing each other out. Okay, if I do this, how are you going to be, be when reacting? Is the Wait, three EU teams out already, bro. What the fuck? Wait, a lot of these teams, it may be the, face, the first time that they're actually facing each other. So Wait, is that the only EU teams in the lobby out first? We go into the oh, you got NRX. NRX is the only EU team left. Here in the Sandhawk and hopefully take advantage of the madness of Sandhawk. Let's see how this one yeah. plays out. <laughs> how 
doing a little bit of a planning mission here. Just trying to get a good lay of the land. You can hear the shots now starting to pop, to pop off. So someone's getting busy with something, right? And uh, hopefully that something is going to evolve <laughs> into a little bit of carnage. Uh, NR also carnage. just standing around. Everybody <coughs> like the X SSG player, player Carnage? We're we waiting to see where this Carnegie, bro. Yeah, you can see Smoke Gaming just being on that, <laughs> being on top of that sniper tower, waiting to see who's gonna be rotating, relaying that information to his team. And right mm. now, I think a little, everybody's just gonna slow it down. You can see all the teams on the right hand side that are alive. Dude, why can't you not call? Like, did that not, not play? play? Sure you get or they just right no, they didn't qualify. They they placed below us. You have to make a rotation. And oh damn, they're fucking ass too, bro. What the fuck? Where do they they NA's doomed, bro. It's over. It's, it's over, man. They, they played with a K <coughs> member Gaming, in we're PNGO. Talking about earlier, we're talking about what they're um, going to be doing. This is the only team, if I'm not mistaken, and, the K Hyper that is still uh, in the blue. They're trying to make it Zach, the they played with the GK member, Zach, yeah. uh, Zachariah, or guy or whatever. Never heard of him before. Um, and and is not going to be doing all that much damage to the teams just yet. But I like the fact that uh, Koops and Rauf here from Nigma. They've been able to find a decent spot. I'm pretty sure they have a high outside zone still. They said they had a couple, like, terrible games, just off-drop games, I'm which is unfortunate. I'm expecting the heat as well. As we say it, it's going to be IW, uh, NRX getting right down to business. Yeah, next, true. Yeah, not being able to connect on those extra shots there to be able to knock the players from 90s. And 90s, honestly, got away with it there. That was a risky push, but he ends up working out for them. And they now have two players at least. How this top oh, guy oh, play different insecure. tournaments with different controls and still down? I don't think he plays with different controls every tournament, bro. I feel like bro takes his hands off. Right. He's got them chameleon eyes. They're gonna be looking a completely different way on their own. And now it comes. Yo, I that's insane nation. Can they actually get that? That's a swaggins on that team because getting the knock is nice, right? You kind of have stats in regards to damage. Zero point sixteen plays ass. Want to be able to start getting those eliminations, considering that they're on for some of these teams that are in Group A. They're gonna be sitting out tomorrow, and they're pretty much. Yo, why is NGX the highest of the zero point teams? This is like racism, right? Like, gotta be. Dude, no. Chavak doesn't know what racism is. He's fooled by. Oh. Oh my. Wait, Vitaly just oh. shit on. <laughs> oh shit, dude. I mean, they're gonna get the revive, but like, damn. Did him dirty, disrespected him. just got molly walked. Dude, chat, if I streamed Valorant, would you guys watch? Yes, bro. With chat, Valak. chat, me, Wancho, and Six rank grind Valorant while I have face cams on, making funny moments. Yeah, that's that pull views, chat. We'd be the next. Sorry like, for that, chat. We'd, we'd be the next like Sentinels. We'll like we'll grab like Coops and H to play with us. Five stack. Be kind of the. Gives them the option to get those easy eliminations, as you can see right The next Sentinels, he says. We're both for winning worlds. Dude, Coops is nasty at the game. And as we're seeing, oh yeah, Koops is like, plays the game a lot, he's good. I play with three different controls on five fingers and four different controls, four fingers in the same level, imagine. And here we go. See, I'm not gonna lie, Panther, that sucks, like, that's terrible. Just focus on one control so you can get at it. And have muscle memory. But hey, whatever works for you, works for you, man. Uh, with an interesting decision here, right? Deciding to try and rotate up. Wait, who died on Falcons? Um... Um, uh, no one. No, he's not now, dead. He's, right, he's just very low. It looks like his health. In. Like it looks like one of them. I'm dead. like, I don't think anyone's dead, bro. Like, no, well, just on the right. Oh, it looks like Jesus. Shit on buddy. How did you miss that DBS? How are you that bad, dude? This. Oh, that was Adrian, Adrian too. That was the goat oh, Adrian, damn. bro. You can't talk about messing. Damn. Goat. I'm sorry, Adrian. Wait, Falcon got the zone blessed at this spot, bro. This is the greatest spot to get zone blessed at. DK has an that compound's crazy for DK. And NGX is gonna crash them. Nice. Wait, no, they're not. Team Falcons, though, they played that so well. They waited for the right moment. They made sure they didn't make any noise, and they strike whenever they needed to. As Inco Gaming is just oh damn, Swaggin's not even on the starting roster for INS. That's tough. He's just not here anymore, apparently. I hope Falcons don't choke on last day. Yeah, freak knock, tough. Freak knock, oh damn. Just was feeling the pressure. But now with the barrage, Dead the too. From insanity, I'm not quite sure whether or not Nenebere is going to be making it out of this one alive. 
I mean, if there was ever but a they play that six you games to today, how many points do you think would be Nova Ifer is going to get today from six games? Nova, I can say 20. Here against Mo Gaming. How is this guy? Four point average. They're trying to find those spots. Wait, four point no, average. I think that's yeah. actually spot one. He needs to be careful as he tries to jump. Wait, Wait is it six no, games? Yeah, it's six games. Yeah, I give him a four point average. I'll give him like 25, 25 ish. Maybe 30 if they have one good game. It's probably going to be their good game. They got their edge zone. They got their zone. They got their zone. They got their zone. They got their zone. Oh my god. What is Ayala doing? Oh my god. And you lost that. He gets lucky as Sheep's able to get that off. Hey, all it could be the goat chat. Don't ever disrespect oh, him again. In charge, suspecting the punches. But this is the way Team Liquid oh, Carlos and Mythic just got smoked on the, long, long the flats. And they still have quite a way up Six of us do hate Carter. everybody. Bro, he hates everybody. Everybody. Well, who'd I hate him, bro? Dude, dude, he hates me too, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit, yo. Chat, he ain't wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Any any PUBG mobile team that he knows that like any PUBG to, mobile team any any friend that he knows that's playing in an official tournament he hates on just because it's content. I mean I would do the same. I'd be like, bro, I hate this fucking guy. Six Oh FS, what are you doing, dog? You're gonna get Nate out of the car. FS, you're not him, bro. Watch out for Marlon. 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 <laughs> Marlon, bro. Oh, oh Marlon, watch out! That's a good day. Wait, was it? I can't oh, tell. They, NGX, went to, they went to a. Are they in a single shack? Yes, they are. They're three men. They're three men in a single shack. Oh, okay. Alright, well, Falcons won the game. So. Maybe. I think the teams on the right side of the map are going to fight way too much to be a threat. Wait, what shack is that? Is that a shack with like a, a single entrance or is that like the double door shack? It's got the window in the back. It's like the one on the hill right there. Yeah, so it's the single door shack. Okay. I didn't know if it was... No, 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 no. They had such a good control. What do you mean? It's, yeah, it's the single door shack with the window it's on not. the back wall. I can't wait to see if they no? continue that. Then they're going to let those teams fight out. Yeah, I think so. It's not, it's not this shack, like the shack, because this one does have a window. Yeah, it's that one. The tiny one with the window on the left and the window on the back side. No, it's it's not that one either. It doesn't have like the stairs that you up into. It's just like. Yeah, no, no, I know, I know what you're talking about. This guy, dude, he's barking, chat. Jesus, get him on a leash. <laughs> dude, chat, whenever I don't have a response or don't know what to say, I'm just gonna start barking at people, dude. Like, what's stopping me? Like OKC, like the Thunder, bro. Start barking the when, they're, when they're doing interviews. Have you seen those videos? Yeah, I've seen some. Coots got a kill. How W shit? But it's try and rush up the hillside. You are making the noise as we do say goodbye. And now Donka, he's gonna be the last hope. It is gonna be the last hope. And then for Seaver Masters here, they kind of got away with that a little bit too, good too because that was a team lobby. that was just getting pushed back. They're definitely one of the best teams in this tournament. I'm glad that they I mean, decided not to engage you know, third early on. But they did get third in <laughs> BMG so. and not engaging into that fight. Now they still have all their four players alive, which at this moment is great to have. You know, being one of the most consistent teams of like all time, you know, I hope, I hope they're good. Oh, uh, they got traded. Oh, mm. they should farm some kills here. It should be like three kills for him. Yeah, someone needs to steal Marlon, bro. Yeah, in hyper yeah, someone steal my lawn, bro. Don't give in hyper the kill, bro. And they were they're able to make it. They they had two eliminations as well, but now they're trolling. Bro, they're actually so fucked up on this hill. I shit. hope they got those extra smokes because they, they should they should have grabbed that U as it's inside zone right there. Or outside zone right there. Down this little hill. Coops is knocked. GG. It's over. Oh, Ralph got the trade. Still you shit. I don't know where they're peeking. They can't really get any kills. Wait, Ralph got traded. What are they doing? How are they getting knocked in the shit? Uh, they're peaking right now. I guess they're trying to suppress people. SD has to come. I mean, Falcons has to come in. Dude, chat. Does anyone oh, else top. love the goat top? Ah, oh, get shit on. Get shit on. That one is gonna sting quite a bit. Top gear and a little bit carried away there. He thought that he was gonna be free to make that rotation. Is Red gets shot on too? Oh, they savior was ready for them, and now they're gonna start. Malik looks so happy, bro. I mean, this is like the first like international tournament of the year. Like, is it gonna be interesting to watch? There's a lot of good teams playing in this.
Making out of NA is like making out of the hood. Dude, that is the that is the best like analogy. Wait, you could be right. Yo, look, they got Marlon up and Marlon's about to cook him, bro. Baton dead. Oh, Starlight get this. Oh. oh, Starlight actually did something for once in his life. Dude, he's on a pubic hair of health. Holy shit. His leg's just taking out. He might get shot. Yep, he got shot. Wow. Chat, it's almost like I'm not retarded and Starlight is. Yeah, and they have chill. No offense or anything. In game. In game, chat. We're talking about in game. I'm, I'm happy to see it. Chat, I literally called it. Like, his legs are sticking out. He needed to crawl up more. When he was crouched, he could get shot in the head because of his height level. But if you're prone and you crawl up, you can't get shot from that angle. And bro just didn't put two and two together. Bro, who the fuck is this Zebra Masters team, bro? They're master and the zebras. Dude, that's what I'm saying. They're like some randos that just don't have any local videos, so I couldn't figure out who they were. This is like one of the only underdogs. Of which floor, it is gonna be Enigma, yeah, let me check their look again if it's the same team I think it is. Oh, I turned my mouse off. No wonder I couldn't move it. I can't wait to grind video games chat on PC oh my and go gosh. pro and Overwatch and leave. Chat, they actually did something that I love when they're casting. In PUBG PC, they have like the percentage of who's gonna win in game, and they finally added this to PUBG Mobile on it, like the percentage of who's supposed to win. It just it, it makes it more intense. Like I don't know, it makes it like better for a viewer to watch. they were able to spot action there. They're gonna let those grenades. Chat, what if I watch Valak through a window while he's sleeping? I mean, I do. What does Valak do then? I guess one. With the M4. Wait, NGX could win this game, guys. How did they get cars, though? I'm confused on that. Uh, no, they crashed. They crashed the shack with two cars. I don't think anybody talked. Yeah, but how did someone not shoot the car? Wait, the Falcons made it in. Coops the goat with three KPs, right? Oh, three KD, bro. That's what I'm talking about. The goat, the best NM player in the game, the best player in the lobby. That's what I'm talking about. Free Elo. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? <laughs> <laughs> special play, special player, special. Play. Yeah, exactly. that's what you need to do whenever you do have the the amount of players that they special have. Special plays, I mean, they've been able to control special players, area, even from early on. Special people. This team, five ah, Lord knock. They've been doing it so well, and now they got another knock right there. It's gonna be just <laughs> Tuesday, so Tuesday. Rebecca, could, Rebecca. Could clutch this up. It's gonna be a tough one, considering that it's gonna be a one before. But man, I would not be against Dude, it. This Coos one before the Zebras Masters team chat. Oh shit! With the one before clutch in the first game of PMG Open. <clears throat> I mean, that would be so amazing. Like, I I know Duke has the whole ta -ta thing, but you know, I I, I just ta -ta! the the whole thing. <laughs> That reminded me of that crack. Snapchat video. I get to say anything, but now, I mean, Coop, was able to pick up his teammate. <laughs> oh, Coop Ralph's could up. Be Ralph's up. Yo, he's Coops does have two mollies, bro. Way up, but he needs to be careful. I think he's gonna get spotted right there. A lot of people. Uh, oh, they trade Coops. It's over. It's he GGs. Gets he gets knocked now. It's gonna come down to Rove. Can he clutch up some shots? GG's. This kid's got his ass. The only team I don't know in this fucking lobby that just dropped the 14 kill or 15 kill. 15 kill win. I think. <laughs> how many games is it to go to the next stage? Uh, top eight go to the next stage. But how many times do they play? 18 matches. Three days. Wait, but each group only plays 12. Oh. So like, there's three groups. Each group plays two days out of the three, and top eight qualifies. It is not a bad day whenever you are able to start with 25 points on the lead. Oh, they're already at 25 points. That's actually like. That's actually and keep crazy. in mind, this team is actually in Group B, so they're actually and that's a Sanoc game, chat. 25 points in Sanoc, like that's back. really good. Play on the last match, so for them, perfect, perfect start for them. Ooh, more of a perfect start indeed. Interesting I mean, fact: North America has never won a, a match in a world. Just ran over everybody. Are you kidding me? This is a qualifying team. Really? A team from the qualifying yeah. 50 elimination. You couldn't ask for a better start. The best thing we got is X Heat winning a match in prelims. Sorry, it just kind of comes down to uh, Knights to never won a game. How can or follow it up, right? And Hyper never won a game? We have teams nope. Like Dukes and UK well, wait, no, and Hyper won a game, right? Yeah, I was going to say, I think they won a game. Like a yeah, yeah, they won one in a Miramar game, right? Yeah, I think they won a game. Right, they're the first team to win then. 
this is the dream. Nox, shut the right? fuck up. So, uh, no. I don't think you can Dude, really you know, it's cr I have Nox so blocked on every social media platform besides Falcons, YouTube though, because it place. won't let me well, block him. So I just time him out every, like, kook to the rest of Enigma Galaxy. You know, end up He's immune. Your hairline is cooked. It's okay. He's got that white dude hairline just like me, bro. That's why we're related, bro. Unfortunate to go to Adrian went out so early, bro. I want to see him shine. To go to Adrian misses the BS shots. History repeats. No team with first win never wins the tournament. I mean, yeah, what do you think about that? I mean, that's like 15 other teams, you know? Like, yeah, that's like... <laughs> one one game isn't like, you know... Oh, no, wait, bro. Early. So you what do you mean? That was like, good are, idea for them, there's PEC you know, and like PL, like Tempo and Cloud9 and have won games and like... I mean, at this point, I don't think he was like, in I think it was something that they just kind of had to react to considering are you that... I don't consider PEC. I'm talking about like global tournaments, like no invites. Anything about the hot drop is... How well they were able yeah, to react yeah, to. I mean, we saw Cardozo being up in the mountain, being able to get those off angles, and then being able to relay a lot of information. The synergy was just there, and it was it was. I'm gonna have a shock pretty soon. I don't think he yeah, was having a shock. Uh, no, six. He's he's on Titan. Nox somehow Titan decided to put Titan Gaming, the NA team, decided to put Nox on their fucking roster. Aren't they asked though? Then they're good players. Leave. Uh, they still have Endorphin and Crow. They, they really cool. Yeah, so they're good players left? No, Endorphin and Crow are really good. But they don't have, like, their other two yeah. players I've never heard of. Uh, uh, oh, Nox is a sub? Yes, bro. Why do I hate Nox? Because Nox is annoying. Bro, That's the only way you're doing. Panther, he is so annoying. He joins every pro player's streams and just talks shit and thinks and tries to prove every point he can. And just annoying. But I keep him in my stream because, like, I mean, it's an extra viewer, like said, and it, like, helps me out. How the fuck did he know? Oh, I don't know, Nox. Maybe because you changed your fucking name to Titan Nox in game. And you sent me an invite? Or... I'm going to be honest. I mean, because these, these are some monsters. On PUBG Mobile? <laughs> One day? Start off with 15 eliminations. Oh my the god. Nox, Nox, yeah, Nox. they're not making it anywhere. Right, yeah, so chat, um, my team doesn't have to worry about Titan and PMSO now. Uh, <laughs> What's up, brothers? <laughs> What's up, brothers? Once I tell Wancho that, that Nox is the Titan IGL, he's going to be like, ah, free Elo, free kills, free KP, special players, special plays, special plays, special plays, special players. Special players. Uh, what, is, wait, what is this saying? Special teams, Kusa, special players, special, special teams, plays, special plays, and special players, or something like that. Dude, did you see the video of, um, of, uh, of what's up, brother? In, no, of Sketch getting in. He got invited out with, to the Nelk Boys, um, and like did like a whole day with Steve Will Do It. Right off the bat, dude, I fucking yeah, I saw that video. I love Steve Will Do It, bro. He's fucking hilarious. So funny, bro. He gave where he, he do you gave, see the video where he's he's like sitting on the chair and like she's on yes, his lap yes, one of the assistants is just <laughs> yeah and he's like good job good bro, that shit and then so he goes hilarious. back to watching what he's doing with yeah. fucking like bradley martin's there yes, and shit too bro. that shit's funny as fuck bro steve gave him a, like he gave him a rolex and like like 20 bands wait who the zebra Steve will do it. Gave uh, when like when they uh, yeah. flew like, Sketch down. They gave the they gave Sketch a, a Rolex and twenty bands. Dude, I fully believe Steve will do it on like Mr. Beast money level. Like he's, I mean, I think he's he is. the only. The, bro, they're, he's they're definitely rich like, right now because of their full send pod. Like you know, they got banned on YouTube. Well, like. You know, just got he's that banned on YouTube, I think we've seen so um, teams but he like, still, you know, they talked about this on like a podcast, he still gets all the, re like That's he still gets a percentage, so percentage of revenue yourself. on their full send podcast, yeah, you mentioned not and then just a he gets a percentage of their like their happy dad some of those company, that and that shit blows a little bit more up, impressive bro. to me, the proactiveness. They were able to find themselves in a good spot. It comes to life? No. You know what? There's like Nobody hasn't been in life for 13 years. I, I was gonna count Titan as another good team in NA, but there's only like I, I, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna regret it because like I bet there's like good teams out there in NA. Like, oh, there are. There's gonna be good teams, but like like realistically, if every team was playing like at their best, like I'm not trying to be biased at all, but you would have white. 
RPG, Extreme Slayers, Nova Hyper, even yeah, though like well I don't really like them, but like you so know well they are a good team, and then us. I would say there's four good teams in NA right now if everybody was like playing at their best. Yeah, everyone else is pretty much cannon fodder. It's great. A chicken dinner with three eliminations is, is good as well, right? A chicken dinner with 15 eliminations is insane. You know, it's just like... Dude, when is Wancho waking up, bro? You know, those games Dude, he's in Mexico. Where, you know, if you don't get yeah, so but when's he going to wake up and message me? Uh, calling. Like that, yeah, double calling. Bitch. Yourself, I'm not calling him. Chilling, that's that's too thing, much work. You know, eighth place, first place, they're both... Yeah, when's this shit started again? Main event. So it's going to be interesting to see how they kind of no, trip yeah. on the gas here for the rest of the day. Dude, Chad, does anyone know when FedEx... Chad, does anyone know when the fucking uh, FedEx starts delivering packages in the morning? Like, what, you know? Just look it up. Oh, I'm not looking it up. This is what we got chat for, Valak. Come on. No, no, no. What? Use your chat to the advantage. FedEx. It seems like the Xavier really brings through that flavor out on towards the battlefield. So I'm really hyped about it. Yeah, I'm interested All of my uh, 9 a.m. drops with how many hot so, drops? 9 a.m. W shit. That's 9 a.m. my time. So it'll probably be 9 a.m. 10 a.m. your time? We're used to seeing possibly 10 a.m. my time? Well, would it be 9 a.m. for like everybody? My time zone too? Probably. Yeah, yeah, that would make more sense, right? Like, Dude, I don't know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Just shut Yo, in China, up. they start delivering at 7 p.m. Far enough just to not get your hopes up. Wait, I'm as far as I know, just to not get your hopes up, I'm only joining them for PMCI. What the fuck is PMCI? What the? Bro, okay, yeah, bro. <laughs> not oh, the pub PUBG Mobile control limitation or something? Jesus that, Christ, that he's, like... chat, he's playing, an, he's playing a fucking community like tournament with Titan. Oh. Jesus. Oh my god, this dude doesn't know how to talk. T4 tournament. <laughs> Okay, so or you didn't join them, you fucking you're run a tournament with them. Yeah, you're like you're you're subbing in a, a single tournament for them, bro. They're like <laughs> that's, that's all, dude. That's, that's all said, I have an announcement to make. <laughs> Shut up. Like, dude, that guy has an. That, that I don't think that term is considered AMSR. chat. Wait, how do I say? I don't think that term is considered a tier four tournament. So you have S tier tournaments, which is global, A tier tournaments, which is path regionals, B tier tournaments, which is regionals, C tier, which is the higher tier regular tournaments, but they're also official. And then you have D tier tournaments. So I think it would be tier five. Yeah. Right would be the proper. Wait, what are. What is PMSO in a close? That would be D tier because it's regionals. Would be tier three, yes. And if, we're on a, if we're talking Marcus, on a global scale, T2? T2, yes. And then T1 is like PMGC, World Cup, PC, PMGO. I like assume that. Well, bro, when you say, oh, I have an announcement to make. <laughs> what do you expect me to say? Alrighty there, that's how you get it done. So, I mean, I mean, what more could you really say? I mean, yeah, the great game one. Was, well, we're big chilling. You know, at this point, all we got to do is just ride the wave, and we're going to be heading to the main event. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh, you, you know what I was thinking in regards to uh, Zebra Masters is, do Brazil. I had to get one in, all right? I, I had yeah. to get one in. Th that one's out of my system now. Okay. <laughs> There we go, there we go. DK, do you have any other uh, slogans that we're going to be hearing for the rest of the day? Uh, nothing that comes to mind. Alright, so, right Nova now. Hyper, uh, for, for Wrangle is either is, landing but, uh, Lapovka, yeah. and, that's gonna happen, but... and um, Mansion before, Split, or they're landing, you know me? the Promorse Coastline. And then for Miramar, they're either landing Ballet or the top right of the map. Those two like cities right above Cruz, Torre and Camp Militar. To the hottest they actually right just now, said, like, really we're bitches, we're landing edge map. Love me some gay six. What the fuck, man? Bro, I actually, like, I'm kind of surprised in Hyper's not taking, like, a, a good spot. Because, like, I feel like Starlight is a very confident IGL. Like, I feel like he, like, 
do you think that I feel that like he would take like for them to try and um, know, really put their spot like confident drop spots. I, I, I never would have thought of like a like, never thought he would like choose to like land like top it's, right it's, of the map of Miramar. I guess Valley is a good spot, but that's part of their main. Some of the the teams that we saw hot drop are sorry. Oh, okay, okay. I, Lepovka no, I or Lipovka? I just say Lipovka. <laughs> just the first game um, thing. That's why I always say, and I was surprised that there were so many hot drops. I'm interested to see how many hot drops we're going to be getting in the first Aaron Gale, and I think after that, it'll probably just kind of, you know what, slow down a bit, maybe until the last day. We'll, we'll see some uh, team fights. I'm curious as fuck, but doesn't not Bio say pro okay, player yeah, well, for Titan? Going to take it out over to a quick little video from Real Me. I feel like Nox is just a clout chaser chat. Yeah, that's like. Yeah, that's all it is. He's a cloud chaser. Sup, Alec? Been a minute. I know, Phoenix. What's up, bro? How are you? Yo, chat. Latinas or, or Asians? I'm going Latinas. I'm going to have to go Asians, dude. I just love Asians no, so much. No, no, no. Listen here. Who made oh, white the... men belong with Asians, dude. No. <laughs> who, who made the Brazilian butt lift? Latinas. There we go, baby. Yeah, I don't like BBLs, though. Okay, well, then you're trolling. Dude, who likes fake ass? I want some real ass. I'll take some fake ass. Why? No I don't pick up EU players? That's what, no, that's what they did. Um, so Capri, Emo Latinas? Okay, that's kind of like good. Capri and left for Nova Hyper, and Crone and Dorfin are still on Titan, and they picked up two more Ukrainian players. Um... I played with them. I played with the Titan, the Titan roster yesterday morning in a EU tournament, but I don't know their names because like, one of their names was like I, and then the other one was like, D N Ago. It was like D N Ago. It, it wasn't Diego. It was I don't know. Danego. Six was in the anime girls. Dude, hear me out. Mikasa, bro. Thick Asian over Attack anything. Attack on Titan. Big goat. Emo Latinas, dude. I don't think I've ever seen an emo Latina to be honest with you. I feel yeah, like, like what's the chance of there like being an be emo kind, Latina? I feel like they'd be kind of scary, bro. I fuck with both, but I prefer Asians. Dude, chat. You know, you know what's a a good take. Blazers, I love me bro. some. Some blade blazions are kind of fire, bro. You get yourself, you, you get yourself like a, a nice blazion. What are you talking about? Like it's a drink. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. I didn't mean it like that, Chad. What the hell, man? Is there such All thing right, as a DK Latina game Asian? Two Aaron Gill for the first time. Yes. Are you stupid? In San Hawk, I can't wait to see. Well, yeah, because I about it with just ask the question. I, I, I guess I am. Getting so more hot drops. You can have like any race mixed together, bro. So there's definitely Latina Asians out there, like easily. I wonder what they look like. I bet they're like a Latina and Asian mixed together, brother. Come on, come on, use your brain. I bet they're. I bet they're beautiful. Um, I would definitely go for Yeah, the, no shit, bro. You know, I bet they're. I bet, I bet they're so beautiful. Yeah, no <laughs> shit, dog. But I want to see, you know, some added extra pressure coming through there. Blasians? Is that what they're called? Honestly, I would be surprised if we don't at least get just. Blasians are black Asians. We're talking about Asian Latinas. From all the hot drops yeah, somebody just said Lasians. Lasians? I'm not calling them Lasians. Or, That's, that doesn't sound good at all. Lasians. Or it could be like Latigian. Wait, no. There's okay, no, that's worse. No, that's yeah, worse. There's not a G. Never mind. There's... Wait, what's happening? INS? Wait, who's contesting Insanity Sports already has one player eliminated. In our X INS? TGA is Titan? What the fuck is TGA? Isn't that like the golf tour or some shit? It's fast to fingers first, right? Especially in the early stages. Oh, he's got an MK. They put they bum rushed this fuck. Oh my god, chat. Does he do it? I know exactly what Nox is talking about. 
Titan Gaming has two teams playing and, here we go. Here comes and PMSL be going for in a qualifier. One's the main Titan team, and the other team is Titan Gaming Academy. This motherfucker's playing for fucking Titan Gaming's farm squad. Jesus Christ. Forgot about that. Sanity Sports as he's going to be making sure he runs away out of all the locations that I'm in. Alright, we're going to match your times, Valley. Why don't you come kiss my lips? Wait, how are we still not matching? Alright, I'm stopping at 145. Hold up, I got to wait. 145? I'm way past that, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, what are you at? I'll, I'll stop on it. Alright, 145? I'm stopped at 145. Where are you at right now? I stopped at 140. Alright, I'll stop at 140. Timer's in the bottom left. Yep, ready? Three, two, one, go. Yep, yep. Are they Coops and DX or I mean, I know that fighting is Chinky, bro? Likes to go, so I'm curious to see if uh, any of that is going to be happening in the meanwhile. Bro, look at that zone. That's nobody, a fuck zone for everyone. Nobody landing George is crazy. I want to see what Virtus Pro are going to be bringing onto the battlefield because we didn't see that much from them over on Thanos. Oh my god, golly. Who knows, maybe if they see my talent in PMCI, they will let me play for main team. Nox, that's just not going to happen. Nox, realistically, how good do you think you're going to do it? PMC. PMSL, if you're whatever you call it. Whatever tier 2 academy shit you're playing or playing for. Fairly a new team. A lot of the players I have, I'm actually not familiar with. I'm not trying to sound like a dick, Nox, but like, it's just, it's playing. not like we're so gonna join the main team. Can we continue to see more adjustments? Just the fact that here, as everybody likes to call them, you don't speak team. Russian. Yeah, you don't, you don't speak their language. I mean, let's let's hope uh, they can find their footing. Unless they be talking in English only, but yeah. Uh, so their whole team does speak That's English. FFS. Um, when <laughs> me and Wancho played with them. Uh, but so, it's very broken Echo English. So Endorphin bear, doesn't even speak English. He just uh, crow yeah, interprets it for him, and he they hates ended that. Up sending one player that waited for the player of Hyper to get knocked, and then the Phoenix knocks his entertainment, bro. When we're bored of the early games. Two players, three players yeah, for real. Like I need control. something to argue Bangles about. Wow, it's like slow yeah. Game. You know? And I love. I don't dislike Knox. It's just he's annoying. You know. I can like you, and you be annoying. For a much better fight, that's gonna end up favoring them. Titan can all speak English. Nox, I would know because me and Honcho were going to play PMGO with Endorphin and Crow. Endorphin does not speak good English. Back into the lobby. Now let's see where this one is going to take us. Got three trying to defend their compound. But it seems like uh, Virtus Pro just slightly dying. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, wild as fuck for saying what talent. <laughs> <laughs> it is, and considering the uh, team right so now, good. we got a chance to see earlier the circle. They are so far away from it, too. At what point do you decide to just back off? Cool, bird, bro. You got one elimination. Oh, oh, chat, you fuck with the, uh, the fraternity sweatshirt, bro? SAE, baby. Chat, only, him and his boyfriend's fuck only, every night. Only North American player to be in a fraternity, chat. That's all I gotta say. And as you mentioned, kind of a kind of a weird flex, but it's still a flex, you know? Starlight's already dead. GG. Wait, two of them already. Well, there's two down. down. Ambaton. You can see them up on the hill. So Who the fuck is Capiz? That's Capriz. It's Capiz now. It's it's Capriz. Yes. He's the guy that we were talking and, and about. Like his PPO but looks like he's kissing at the camera. Oh, that's him. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Capriz is the guy that looks like he's kissing at the camera. Oh shit. <laughs> and he's more than likely gonna get I fuck with you, Valak. I fuck with you too, Pusha. You pushing P, baby. Hyper. Hell oh, fuck you, Valak. What? No. Dude, chat, see, this is this is, is the type of shit I have to deal with every single day of Sixes. Chat, he doesn't ever deal with this. Dude, I he's actually... Chat, he put drugs in my drink to make me act like this. I'm not like this normally. And now that hot drop turned yep, into I, pretty much I, me. It's still <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. Alive true. from each team. Yeah, we need to arrest this man. I put something in his in his drink. Yeah, he spiked my fucking drink. I spiked his drink. I went to the bathroom country. for two seconds, dude. Across the country, I virtually spiked his drink. Bro, what the fuck is? Why is VP running on the shoreline? Well, they didn't expect to get camped by Furious, so they run back to the shoreline, grab a boat, and rotate. 
the fourth car, right? I mean, they just fully encircling them. But speaking about encircling, we see a little bit of that now happening onto the this side. This Pachinki fight's going on way too long. They, they just need to rotate right? out. There's no reason the for me. Yeah, see, it's Freak a, is the first one knock again, bro. That's so troll. Down below. He's actually such a good player. The only thing that's wrong with him is he gets knocked first every single time. Yep. I just wanna... Just so cautious here. Yeah, one of the Dude, I haven't heard 7WG cast in so long, bro. It threw me off. This is the only thing, the biggest question mark that I do have for Enigma Galaxy. What is Verse Pro doing? They're existing. They were fighting um, Nova Hyper, the Polka, Yo, and Furia came yeah. third party yeah. from the yeah. South. Yeah. Yeah. That first engagement, and they're not going to be able to be happened, set. Though. That's when we saw one All I know is Nova Hyper and Korka. Korka's not making it out of here. Korka's dead. Did they He's dying his own. Or something, I don't remember this being being the shit. Well, every... Every team is going to change their drop spot for international tournaments. He said roster. Just because, like, oh, it's the roster. Yeah, no Viper changed the roster. And Furious roster no. is like a mix of all other teams. He's talking about Virtus Pro, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that no. Virtus Pro is the same. Virtus Pro is the same roster. It's uh, Demorte. That, the Virtus Pro's roster is Demorte. Yo, Phoenix. Appreciate the $2 dono, bro. I'll you $2. Yo, Chad, if you haven't dropped a sub yet, make sure to drop a sub. Balak is like 18 subs away. All right, let's get it under under 18. New best commentary duo sizzles and Balak. I'm pretty sure you meant to put six list, but it's okay. Because the Z is right next to the X on the keyboard. My name. I know, my, I know you were typing it on your phone, so it's okay. Dude, my name used to be Sizzles back in the day, dude. But uh, I was typing my name one day and I misspelled the uh, Sizzles and put six list. <laughs> and so uh, then I went to six list with two X's and then I went to six list with one X. Because I like the way it looked better. Why did your brain stop working back? Dude, I don't know. I was so focused. This is a fuck. Dude, look at this zone. Holy shit. Every single team's on the east that's side. That's fuck. Holy fuck. With the engagement still going on, guess what? This is insane. Yeah, fuck every team, bro. I hope they all die right now. I hope no one wins this match. Get a chance to see an hyper. We didn't get a chance to see Virtus Pro being able to rotate, and that's dude. What the fuck? If any team realizes that they can just go to the west side of zone, it's going to be true. Gonna no one's gonna realize it though. No one's gonna think of it. No, I mean, because you're gonna, gonna you no, assume. Bro, there's gonna be one team that's gonna be like, holy shit, why is everybody on the east side? Let's go to the other side. Of the yeah, zone. there's gonna be that one team on edge that wraps hard and just gets everything for free. Yeah, they're gonna be from oh, the north oh, side. I'm pretty sure. Oh, let me open the map up again. Or for the map up again, let me see. Yeah, dude, look, it's Team Liquid. Team Liquid realizes they're they're poking it to the fucking coastline. It's gonna be needing all the hope they can find at this point. Rather isolate. What are people complaining about zones? Now, what do you mean? What people? It just hits. What? <laughs> Talk about missing your shot or the, the shot not being able to connect. Like, why right do there? people come back to zones? Well, I mean, they just complain about hard shifts. It's like it's just this hard shifts are always like, oh happening. fuck, what do we do? You know. Oh, okay. But, they're a good team. Yeah, so they they changed the zone format where it doesn't hard shift after like third circle or something like that. It will center up basically to make it more competitive instead of like it like when it's just hard shift to ram sides, it's more RNG. Yo, top knocked himself. He probably jumped out of the car too early. One HP or the car was getting blown up or some shit. And he... Yeah. Liquid was the first team to realize to go to the fucking west side of zone. Smart ass team. Oh, I just popped my neck, bro, and that felt so good, dude. Yeah, still back over in towards lovely Pachinko. Navi should have picked up a better uh, roster. I mean, they, I'm not gonna lie. I think they're... Navi's roster, they picked up Ruck, and Ruck was a really good team. They weren't good at global, though. They fumbled outside of the region. Or good regionals, though. Yeah, it's like NA kind of like they're just a better version of NA. You know? yeah. Affecting these players when they do end up fighting, so they need to make a decision and they need to make the decision quick because if I'm not mistaken, right now Dig Savior is gonna be in the best position to hopefully find a vehicle in that garage. I don't think Nick Galaxy. There you go, Nick Galaxy. This is the right choice. Freak, no helmet, level one vest. I mean, Indix are second and fourth right now. They can take one loss game to assert dominance. Probably the person that loses is going to switch after this. 
Sorry, starting to Wait, why do I keep saying it up ahead of they a potential pick up the Falcon the Xavier. Xavier. This is a, a good strategy. But freaks That's what it yeah, so same thing with Falcons. Warriors. They're just after each other ass. Oh, come on, freak. Ah, God damn it. And does miss out on the hits. But, uh, well, it's keeping the Xavier kind of pinned down in the compound. It is, but as you're going to be able to see here, especially for Freak, he is not going to have that much heals. He needs to make a decision, and, and it, I feel like... Hey, what's your time about? Engagement is taking a little bit 40, too long. 40, 39. With how far right, I'll stop away at 35. from the circle they currently are. All right, 3, 2, 1, go. The, if I'm Nick McGalaxy, I would say, you know what? All right, we didn't end up... Nobody ended up benefiting for this. Hot drop. Why is Freak just still back bad, off. The Xavier needs to be the aggressive team there, as they are trying to make... The aggressive push Maybe here on the freak, but they could possibly end up exposing themselves here to the players that you were mentioning, like Lord, like Hoot. Oh, anything oh, can happen here with this engagement. And look at the heels that they currently are. Look at the, how, how their health is currently positioning themselves. These teams are fighting Butinki. Meanwhile, everybody's currently R O W on top of Everest. Go to position. They're taking too long, DK. Coops, 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 Coops. Coops, what are we doing? Why did you stand back up? God damn it. Coops. This motherfucker. He knows I'm watching, bro. He knows I'm watching. Bro, you, bro yeah, he was like, he was like, every single time, y'all viewer party me. I, I gotta turn shit. the stream off, chat. Chat, we can't viewer party. The de one of these days when we're not viewer partying, PMGO, he's gonna pop off. But I'm gonna like skip a day or something. Oh, Freak's about to get me. <laughs> okay. Personal hater freak is freak. He knocked himself. He knocked him. That's oh my fucking god. Freak KP for I and he. Freak. Wait, freak mollied himself. What is going on? He doesn't even get the kill. He doesn't get the kill because he fucking knocked himself. Both of these motherfuckers knocked each other. What am I watching, dude? These guys are some fucking bums, bro. Dude, freak, what is going on? Fucking bums, dude. Kid mollied upstairs and then ran into it. And then Coots gets knocked his own. Oh my god. Now getting knocked again because of the blue zone, and Lord is going to have to back up. He didn't even get the KP on. Oh, he's the KP on three. That's what I say. Holy shit. What is happening? Engagement. Lord. Oh, wow. And they get Bro, like. Bro, what the fuck is happening? Chat, I fully believe they got a drop freak, dude. I've been saying, like, he's their weakest link. There's got to be someone out there that's better. Freak is a good player. He just. Yeah, but, like, you can't be doing stuff like that in worlds, brother. Like, big boy tournaments. Like, you can't allow that. Like, regionals, you know, it's regionals. You can have one player fuck up and the rest three still carry if you're a good team. But when everyone's on equal skill level, like, you can't be making huge mistakes like that. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful grenades there by Perry. Oh, Ralph is able to redeem so far away. What the fuck? He took a bug and did, bro. He called it a day. He ended up backing up, and Nick McGalaxy is going to be looking at each other and be just kind of scratching their heads as to why they That's continue so on with just bro. keeping on that fight. Because now you know there's somebody. two more wrangles, and now you know and DX team, is going to be confident going into this next team that was starting off after Yeah, yeah. And you know NGX is a movement most likely. They could no, they're going to stay in that, that second place. Like not what you want to see there towards the top, as now we actually move towards where closer not to the, the place, circle. Freak, not teams that are currently not in the blue, like Team Liquid. There's a reason Xenox and Coops didn't work at nights, buddy. Like... Yeah. You got to and like spec, I'm pretty sure none of them work together well, other than with coops well. Did you just see what Nova Hyper did? Not really, I kind of like zoned out a little bit. So, Damn. And, um, uh, FS crashed like the, like the one stack building and the shack, like bottom right of crates. You know, like that shit across the road? Like, oh, see right there. Look at this team that we're currently looking at. Caprice was driving the team that and started ran off with possibly one of the furthest hot Nothing. drops all the way to the nice. east and they of don't the maps. They all right, let's see if Aragog can hold this. Aragog's pretty good. One of the only teams that's trolling. Coops road to airport. Is that his next montage circle? chat? And now you have other teams like these saviors. Coops did that be old. To airport? Oh, man. It, it, you know what? First day, first couple yeah. games. I'll, I'll give him a break. I'll give him a break. But boys, this happens again later on in the day. That's I'm just gonna be scratching my head. This was their game yeah, that no, they could have fucked up because they had a good game one, but it can't happen right. again. Too much of it is not that good for you. Sometimes a little bit of a taste, what I think, the would suffice. Speaking of taste, though, what the fuck is going? Why did Regnum Cario crash Team Liquid? Why are you running into the Molly, brother? What is going? What is going on oh. today? 
Mythic just won me four them. Wait, hold up. No. Wait. He got knocked. Oh. Mythic's the goat. And he has Ayala. I tell you, chat, I've been dick riding. I've been dick riding Mythic since the beginning, chat. I've told y'all. What the I, I think fuck? they misunderstood the term hot drop because I know sometimes when a molly slips, right, that could also still mean a hot drop, but I, uh, that's not what we were referring to. We were talking about the team. Yeah, I need to get even team. more high. I gotta take more edibles. Yeah. Yeah. On stream, you need to get, get higher up for, like, so you can yeah. watch the stream. Higher up right now, like, in my... Sit, sit up higher in your chair. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah that's sit up right. higher in my chair, chat. I gotta get high, high as fuck. Like, I'm, I'm, like, so high sitting up that, like, I can't even, like, think anymore. You know, that's how high in the seat I am. Too low right now. Gear too low right now, Trav. Too low. I gotta, I gotta sit up. I gotta like elevate, you know, like get that high. Get to the sky. I gotta be floating, Chad. That's how high I gotta get, you know, when I'm sitting up. Right. Be able to touch the airplanes. Exactly, Chad. Like Superman shit. Going now. It's gonna be Falcons trying to get themselves scorched up on Everest. Ooh, nice lie there by Icy. Oh, good thing. Oh, the axis just keeps on coming, and I mean, this is smoke gaming. Keeps on coming, just like me and your mom, buddy. <laughs> In a level playing today. Oh. In Falcons. Yeah, I might have lied. Don't have the like, high the Sanok game we was, like, out of them a good game to watch, but this Orangle game, up, I think it's just, I think it's really just a nervous. I think it's just the first Orangle game, and everybody's still filling out the lobby. I bet they didn't have any practice days. Yeah, this shit. I, I might be the zone too. There's so much open fields and shit. There's, you know. Oh my god. Falcons got zone blast. Jesus. Where we're just full sending because everyone's on the same side of the circle, so they're all forced to fight. Hear me out. I, I'm, I'm already seeing what's gonna happen. Ayala and Mythic's gonna 2v4 Furia. I'm already, I'm already calling exactly. it. I don't think, uh, I don't, I don't think Fuck, I'm gonna 2v4 you, you in bed. Snake, but, uh, you know what? Please feel free God to correct us in the. <laughs> for everybody currently watching, let us know in the comments what sound. Wait, what do you mean? 2v4 me. Think about it. Keep wondering. Keep wondering. And is within that circle. It's gonna be Inkle Gaming. I saw Inkle Gaming there towards the west. You know what? I know exactly a perfect analogy. Latin America bed, players. But I can't Choco say has stream. been all over the page. This man is, is, mm -hmm. is a one man wonder. He's been in NA, he's been in Latin, now he's been in the play too. here in the PMBO. <laughs> Very oh, very God. All right. Let me check. Let me check. Play here. Are they going to be able to do enough to possibly take over Everest, which is going to be a tough ask because there's two other teams? And one I like the way you kiss me. You I mean, at the end of the day, only time will tell whether or not they'll be able to pull off. <laughs> okay. That day, but all we're going to find out because they come. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep, and I'm behind you. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah. Yep. Dude, was, dude we just made up. We just made up a a, a meta, wait, an analogy for the urban dictionary. It's gonna be nine Z knocking on through. Utilities fly all over the place, and this is where I think. A little bit of separation. Inco like top 10 in the world. The They're always right, live but don't win. Really actively pushing uh, on I mean, the only way, like, in their own the top 10 teams in the world right now would be yeah, the top 10 teams that in the sandwich that they <laughs> from did not want to be part of. That, that's what would be the top 10 teams in the world. Since this is what you want to see. That was the last team. international Make tournament that's been Don't play just so defensive, especially since you do have another team on the other side. They're gonna make roll. Like what top goes in the main event? Uh, top eight. Here, trying to figure out where nine C's is at. You can event. see nine C's though cooking those grenades. If they can just get lucky and hit one, as they are being able to cause some damage, but they just haven't been able to convert it into a knock. They might be able to make a push. Oh, what a nade from Choco, oh, Choco. bro! Choco, Choco, I need a latte at this point. Here we go. Let's see whether Choco can land. They're also both with Too bad I live in the middle of fucking nowhere. Easy push on I mean, oh, so far, Royals of War. Fuck not Holding on to a I don't know. Chat, who, who knocked simple? I, I really didn't see it. No, kill fees for him. The ridge. Nine Z slowly just getting you know, chipped away one player after the other. No. Inko's top 10 in the world, they're always alive. Dude, yeah. Inko's, Inko's definitely not a yeah, top 10 in the world. Like gonna have the upper hand and get motherfuckers are cheeks. Been cheeks for a bit. That's gonna maintain himself alive. He's gonna have to back off. They were able to get some good grenades here and there, but ultimately when they ended up making that push, it ended up backfiring. If I'm not mistaken, I think they possibly might have ended up giving... Falcons, 4 kills, team liquid 4 kills. If Falcons do good this game, they could catch up to Zion. 
but one of the 90 players Zim had a one point game so position, and I would be surprised if it was actually Rose award that ended up getting that now yeah I mean it could be an interesting play though now also we do see Inko moving up onto the foot of that hill and I mean slowly oh the team God. starting to shuffle in bit thing. by bit we do see uh, next Rhea also looking for a bit of a spot as we have them moving in and hyper though they're going to be Wait. shipped out oh no, is still and they will not make it past that eighth position uh, Wales of War though I, I've got to say I'm quite impressed they are still holding yep. on to the top of Everest yeah, the way they were able to actually recover from that. Keep in mind, they did have one player that ended up getting knocked there from 90s earlier on. They're fully able to defend the push that 90s was going to able to do. And now they've, they've been able to reset, control a bit more of that area. Now they don't have to worry about anything that's going to be behind them or on the east. Yuri with two kills, they finally got points. They're going to fully focus on Team Falcons here. And they Still know Team Falcons is there because Team Falcons has been taking on fights. Wait, with they actually pulled up in such a good spot. Way into gaming. They got some of it too from Team Falcons. They can't get shot from above, I'm pretty sure, right? They can't say they're gonna find the last one. They can't get shot from far. Wait, and they still have cars. Wait, hold up, they're cooking, Loki. I mean, this is. I don't like the. I don't like the X in their names. Furia? Oh, they have an X. Falcons. No Falcons. Falcons. I don't like the X in the Falcons name. It throws me off because I'm used to seeing like the tag in all caps and then their name. I bet it wasn't the player's decision. I bet it is, but this is going to be a completely different right, animal. I feel like we're I'm, I'm having deja vu here, DK. We saw a fight like that earlier for Royals of War between 90s, but now it's going to be Team Falcons. And Team Falcons, we know what they can do if they do end up getting one of their players. I'm wanting a Bojangles, Cage, and Biscuit right now. I've never had Bojangles. Do I go to Bojangles right now, dude? There's one like three minutes from me, dude. Like, <laughs> I love Bojangles. Get what is it? It's, it's like Popeyes? country canes. Massive, considering oh. that they were really aware. like country, like country canes. canes. And now we're just oh, do they have like a basically what it is? As well, taking on some fights there. They don't have a spicy Wait, cane sauce. They got bojo sauce though. I just there from Furia. Dude. I mean, Imagine if Raisin right Cane's came out with a like, spicy cane sauce. That shit would go. That shit would bust. Falcon, or spicy tri uh, chicken. That'd be good. I bet they thought about that. Trying to play a different angle further down the hillside. So but Furia. Dude, I get the the supreme combo, dude, with the sprite. What move are they gonna be doing? Coming into the next phase. Yes, yeah, it's right. Yeah, a tough one. <laughs> Whichever move it ends up being, I, I feel it's like gonna be end up Sprite literally tastes to me like they kind of have a bit of a buffer. Oh, uh, Sprite's too good to me. The rolls of wars being at the top, kind of looking out for each other that they're not able to overpeak and maybe take some shots. Dude, every single time I have Sprite, I'm sick. So he's gonna end up getting eliminated. You know what? He doesn't. This is what I was talking about. They need to be. The only time I've had canes was when I was in Texas, and they fucking they took they closed the canes there like a year after I got in Texas, but. So I was in Texas for like another year without canes. What they're gonna do? They're gonna yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually make so sure fun for them. Cause like, they come in with a brew. It was my favorite place to eat, dude. I was eating it like well, once a day as well. It's fat as fuck, chat. It was like solid like 250 pounds, bro, cooking. Raisin canes, if you ever see me on a stream, a tweet, an Instagram, I'm so down for a sponsorship. Hey, Raisin canes, you can slot me out for some cane sauce. Now the pressure is on still. <laughs> Royals of War, they've now been able to secure themselves full elimination. Bro, I was like, they've not really I'm not really like an addict for candy for anymore, but like phases. last year, so I would literally go to Raising Canes bling, bring and buy like the... Like you it, could buy like it a definitely like, could, um, and I think another like change that we're gonna be seeing, and we're oh gonna keep God, an eye on as, the, as we got a chance like to see them earlier, can is gonna be Choco from sauce, like a bottle I mean, of cane sauce. I feel like this team's monitor just forgot like that he was even par on the had fight a, earlier <laughs> with everything that's going on for Royals of War, and Team Falcons might not even be fully aware that he's still alive. Choco could possibly end up surprising. Dude, when I was at my peak of fatness, bro, and and 19e when I was like 250, 260 at my peak. Bro, I was my peak fatness. This is when I lived in Texas. Had no one to cook for me, bro. I didn't have family that knew how to cook good meals. So I would order out, like, all the time. No, I mean, me and I don't even cook sometimes. But, like, we were lazy. So we didn't always cook, you know? I would hit him up. I would be like, I would walk into his room after shooting and be like, yo, you want to get canes? He's like, all right, bet, let's go. <laughs> and we'd go get canes. But, dude, I would I would order, like, Subway for, like, lunch a lot of times. And I would get two foot-long subs. And I would eat both of them. When I was at my prime, bro. I have enough for a box combo. Let's go get chains. 
I mean, you've never had Kane before. Adam, honestly, well, Phoenix, I'm going to tell you this right now. Back up, the first time you ever talked about Walter Ward earlier, being able to let the Ridge take like, care of all the nades that were being you're thrown. Gonna, like, Guess what? Get a, like, the Kane sauce. You're going to get a presence of what everybody's going to be like. rotating below them. Okay, you got to understand that Kane's is carried heavily by the sauce. But it's also still good without the sauce, but the sauce just is what makes it, like, Amazing. consistent pressure here on World Award. Yeah. World Award trying to make a push here, getting a little closer. But guess what? Action has so. Their cans only have a couple abs. I don't know. I order the same thing. <laughs> I do not change up my order at all. The exact same thing. I've never gotten anything but this item. Like. Extra toast, extra sauce. Exactly. For all I know, they don't have other items. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, know, like, I don't know what else is on their menu besides the I actually combo. don't know anything else on their menu <laughs> <laughs> other than the Kane's combo. You were, you were about the order. <laughs> I, don't I don't think I've ever seen anyone else get anything <laughs> but that. <laughs> I'm about to look up a Kane's menu. Kane's menu. I, don't, I, I bet they have a salad, but I bet that salad's ass, you know? Oh, wait, they have like tailgate. It's just chicken. Are they only just chicken? Wait, they have a sandwich. Yeah, they have a chicken sandwich. They have a chicken. Wait, that's all they have. <laughs> the only other item is a chicken sandwich. Yes, it's, it's only I did not know this until now, bro. Yeah, only chicken. <laughs> that's all it is. Oh, shit. No wonder I haven't seen anyone like get anything else. They have like 20 different variants of what type of, like, what type of chicken being able to survive some Oh my god. So, how many fingers is in a combo? Six? No, so the, the three finger combo is three chickens. The box combo is four. And then the Kaniac combo is six. Yeah, the Kaniac combo is what I would get. Alright, so I'm about to do the math on how many calories I'd eat when I got canes. Uh, calculator. For my team. Falcon won this game, bro. GG. I mean, it, it oh, no. Like Falcons is fucking back, up, bro. Alright, each piece of chicken is 130. So times that by 6. We're at 780. Creep cut fries are 390 per serving. I would get two servings of fries. So times that by 2. I bet their sandwich is made up by their tender slash finger. That's literally what it is. They put three fingers between two Two fucking Second buns. Place now and that's their sandwich. Possibly third they don't, they don't have chicken patties. It's really, they just circle. put their I chicken mean, fingers the in their two. sandwich. He's going to be able to spot one. He needs to be able to hit those shots. He's able to hit them, but yep. not long enough. Can he maybe get at least one of them? Oh, my God. There's a lot more other teams. And players He's already got shit on. Sky, what up, bro? How are you? There for Chaco, Me and Sex are just talking shit on what? you. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. And cane sauce? I will get four cane sauce. So I was getting around like 2.4k calories per, you know, cane's meal. Wait, no, I'm not even counting the bread. Wait, the bread's 140 a slice. And I would get like two or three pieces of bread too. Wait, I'm, a, I'm like... Chat, you want to hear a, what you should do? Is you get a Kaniac combo. And it, the Kaniac combo, Kaniac combo. The Kaniac combo already comes with one Texas toast. Right? Oh. Dude, Sky, my PC gets here today. We're grinding Valorant. We're yeah, hitting Sky, the mortal right Sky, now. We should three man, three man Valorant. We got, six. We got that out of the way. You know what? Let's get ready for the next one. We know we're more than Watch likely gonna end up being this in the new montage. No, like them, I don't like want this. Team Falcons. I mean, back to back. He doesn't want to chat. You can't force him, and he's gonna not do what you say. Now, how school bud? Great. I got straight A's right now. I just he gets uh, fucked by his frat brothers all the time. Dude, I don't even live in the frat house anymore. They sure could. No, my goodness. He takes it up the butt. Dude. I said that God we damn. might not see another um, 15 But yeah, the strat for, for Kane's. In game one? I lied. Uh, He's a liberal it's sissy boy. Okay. <laughs> it's 18. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the yeah, I guess the count. The count. But the What's strat up? for Kane's <laughs> is you get, just is you get a Kaniac combo with like, three yeah, toasts uh, and you make you your own sandwich. And you add, and you dip it in Kane's sauce. That's the You replace the coleslaw with an extra slice of bread. That's what you do. But what a crazy performance. And then boom. I'm 20.
They know 20 that they years guys old. Just, you know, lay back, this guy's six or seven. We need a virgin. He's like 39 years old. I'm literally like two years older than you. I don't know what happened by the way. Hold on. You can grow a mustache. I can't. I can't grow a mustache either, dog. It's like is what ended up getting. It's like peach fuzz if it was an adult, but never became actual hair. You know. Okay, Knox, that's just like the most stupidest question I've ever ever heard. There's right like here. That thousands, is tens of thousands of people that like go to way. college. 100%. It's all it takes, you, right? Just live a couple you have to have good internet for tens of thousands of There's so many, students. yeah. And then like, the game world, it's like, for a second, I thought the dumbest Taco question I've ever had. Like, I've ever behind, and, you know, third party... Dude, chat, moment, I'm not 28 or 25. 20, what 25? the fuck? No, 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 yeah, chat, he's older. He's older. You know, jump shot. God one damn. One of you, you mods, make a poll. Make a poll. Make a question poll. God oh, damn, chat. I ain't that. I ain't else grandpa yet. dropping 18 3.5k damage is kind of crazy, you know? Like, yeah, it's kind of nutty, bro. This week, what do you think? Combine nine C's, Globin, Fury, and Royals <laughs> damage, and those three Bro, teams like the dorms at are UMass are literally one thousand. Yeah, bro, dad, college Wi-Fi like, is, is, is actually insane. I'm not gonna lie. Like, gonna lie. like so my fraternity, <laughs> my fraternity <laughs> house Wi-Fi is better dude, than my like goodness, my house that I live in. Thirty-five hundred damage. When's the last time we saw a thirty-five hundred damage game? You could have the best. Doesn't mean it's still laggy. Right, literally, that's. Bro, like so, you have you know to have good connection because right now college classes every okay, assignment is online especially like the college that i go to right? oklahoma state struggled, right? every assignment I mean, is kind of online so point, if you, you know, don't have good internet for tens of thousands of right? students uh, so to do their online classes these guys are just then focusing on just trying like, to prioritize their drop what the fuck are you doing for maybe the main event in the future because i don't understand it sixless saw queen elizabeth uh, honestly be born i don't know man i Dude, don't know what sixless happened took, there like i, I was expecting flicks with like george DK, washington bro DK. He was there. All right, buddy. He was there when I watched Prime Jordan, dude. He was there when the first dollar bill was ever made. Six was saw dinosaurs, bro. He was. He saw T Rex. He looked at a T Rex between like between directly in his eyes, and he was that motherfucker. To figure out what they wanted to do by by the immortal chat, build like that. Right. Too late. There were not Sixless was a part of final like of the match. The, nothing happened. What's that them. one like Roman I mean, when like they strange, piled Roman, all their I mean, troops into a, the into the like wooden horse? You know what I'm talking about, Six? A lot in, in past yep. matches. So that was Romans? Sort of an yeah, like when all like the was it the Romans that like piled the, all their troops into like a sure. horse and then the gifted it? It was also like, the Romans who would plow the fem boys, dude. Good times. He dabbed up a T Rex dam. Dude, yeah, Six has been around since like like yeah, that's the only the thing I can think time. of. You know, at this point, is that these guys are trying to. And he's gonna be here, bro. Six is gonna live till like my my great grandkids die. You should like, feel like all right. He's immortal. Yeah, yeah, the Trojan War. Yeah, right? Six was a part of the Trojan make War, bro. Sure that come main event time, that he nobody's was gonna be dropping on us. So uh, oh, maybe. Juice. What? What do you think? Juice. Once we know the Greeks, what's it? The Greeks? Completely different. I learned it. The Greeks were the Greeks were the Trojan horses ones. And so the fucking yeah, Romans were the 300 wall people, right? Coming up here in the main event time, but we just with the whole movie after it, right? Teams will yeah. refuse to hot drop from each other because yeah. they know how detrimental it is. So, I mean, who knows, right? Maybe they got some bad blood, or maybe they just said, "Hey, we're gonna oh, fight it out." Oh, Team Falcons already gaffing. So we love to see. My goats. Here at the overall standings, and after a game like that, no shock, dude. Come on, Team Falcons on top. All right, if Team Talkins do that sound, I wonder what sound oh. the Seabras make. But you know what? We'll, we'll hold on to that one for later on. <laughs> As they no, Chad, to yeah, really right, follow up on their performance from the first I was like 20 away from 1K. Here. Now we go towards the um, second phase. Chad, if Alec gets 1,000 subs this stream, he'll twerk on stream. Dude, I did not say that. Chad, he said it. He wants to twerk for you. He wants to show you his ass. Yeah, Chad, actually, if I hit 1K, 1K subs on this stream, um, I Falcons, will the they post that a last thirst match, trap so on so Twitter. Beautiful, and I can't wait to see what they're going to be doing here. That's kind of gay. I was just saying twerking. Like, that's that, less dude, gay than posting a thirst trap. 
like posting a thirst trap is like cringe gay. You know, like twerking is just like funny gay. You know what I mean? Like, bro, everybody, everybody loves what, loves it when I post pictures of myself on Twitter. Back to back hot drop. If we do, then they have to be fighting for those so true. I've been getting like 20 likes of mine, bro. I've actually built such like a. I actually had like built like such a hot drop here coming up in the next year. I think some of these. You might even can always get, can always get bigger. Let me make 17 more accounts. That's what I'm talking about. Isn't it cooked, Valak? Um. Yeah. It's fine. We know you drop. Hey, look. But history class, I had a hundred in every year in history class, basically. I had like a 98 one year. I was the go to history. I fucking loved history. Yo, Sirens. Or Sirens. I'm going to make you a mod because, like, you're a goat on Twitter and, like, literally like all of my, my tweets. I mean, you can no say, for that, bro. You say we are making a mod because they ended up eliminating more and Phoenix, bro. From Phoenix Galaxy. donated, bro. But I wouldn't and be I need surprised more mods if Nick Galaxy goes to it again because it was so close and maybe tries to react a little bit faster. Keep in mind, Nick Galaxy, something that we even mentioned during that match, too, is. They play so well when they're set, man. When they're set, they are a very scary team. But whenever they have to make that first aggression, whenever they have to actually push to a team and they are not set, that's when it gets a little bit of a gray area to this team. And we saw that perfectly. Make 17 more accounts. Within that hot drop. Man, but TP isn't really a, a place these Why does Sky get timed out, bro? Uh, it said Why is Nightbot timing him out? Dude, Nightbot is on the loose right now. Apparently he was spamming Dude, you were spamming caps, buddy? Dude, Sky, what's going on, dog? Battle it out. I mean, we got teams use your info, inside voice, buddy. You know, make yeah, for real. Use your, use your inside voice. Like, this guy doesn't like, understand, bro. Like, tone it down. Use your inside voice. I mean, uh, that's, the, that's the interesting part of, you know, when the zones shift over into everything. Loud ass uh, person, again, not bro. A shift that we see all Sky's the type of person. Bro, actually, Sky is the type. He's really the only person I know when he talks, he just yells the entire time. And, like, I love it about him. You gotta, you know, hop on the boat, then off you go. Hey, you know what? Speaking DK of both, hairline is right? driving uh, me the crazy. The very pier hot drop. I know you didn't have that yeah. one on your bingo I mean, part seven. I didn't. I had a uh, primorph. I had Pachinki. And God I forbid I speak ones. with a passion, uh, yeah. huh? <laughs> Furb here was definitely not hey, on man. that list. And, uh, I, I, I had I had so much fun. Chat, if y'all don't know, Sky was I, my I teammate in Apex. Like, uh, uh, Apex Legends Mobile. Because they haven't played with each other before. He's the best mobile Why are you using my government name? Loud because I'm black. Got it. Yes. Then this one okay, will have well, to wait I, and see. But you know what? All the. All I didn't I'm say that. Stop fighting race in chat. Agree with it. Which is gonna be coming in tomorrow. Vampire e that, What are they gonna do after you agree? Be like, oh. Exactly. Oh shit. Oh, that's right. Uh, like, oh, oh, I mean. Yo, okay. Chip, hear me out. I actually thing. have a question. Okay. You're gonna hot drop so, Chips Ahoy, right? Y'all prefer the hard cookies, cookies hot or the chewy kind? If come tomorrow, we're gonna I like it hard. One. You like the, like you you like the blue that package of Chips Ahoy or the red package you know what, of Chips Ahoy? Awesome I fuck with Let's both. But my favorite kind is the chewy kind, and but it's not just the regular ones. It's the one. You like the chewy kind because you like to chew in tobacco. It's the one that's infused with Reese's. Okay, that sounds like crack. Like that's gotta be addicting as crack. It is. Depends on the mood, but usually chewy. Yeah, I really fuck with the chewy ones, bro. I hate hard chips, or just hard cookies in general. I like warm, soft cookies that are gooey, you know? Six likes, um, petite little ch uh, cookies. Okay, all right. <laughs> Says the guy that's a fan of Josh Giddy. Dude, what? <laughs> Dude, he beat yeah. the allegations. No, okay, he beat the allegations. He beat the allegations, he says. Chad, do you hear this right now? Dude, get him beat the allegations, bro. Chill out. Strategy to put you in a spot possibly How about favorite mm -hmm. chips? Okay. My favorite Doritos, but the purple kind. My favorite, my favorite. Yes, bro, those are good. But I also fuck with the Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips. Those ones are gas. Interviewer in the middle looks so nervous. It's not a. It's, a, it's the fucking translator. Sky. It's a translator, dog. Play what we do, and then we try to 
we try to go, uh, how's NGX doing I think they're sitting in like sixth place right now with 11 points okay communication is very important really okay so for the last question I want to know what what do you think were the key factors soggy or hard cereal well I mean you kind of have to like both now. because it's hard at first and then once and it's in the milk for so long it's time it's, it's soggy me personally I eat my cereal so fast it's always hard <laughs> Dude, like, full bowl like two minutes is gone. Bro. Like, <laughs> no, I specifically get a big spoon. Like, I'm talking about like a comically big spoon when I'm eating cereal, dog. I don't know. I personally, personally like eating my cereal with a fork, bro. Like a straw. I like to suck it through this. Dude, you, I, what? Did you, did you, when you were a kid, did you ever have like those those bowls that had like the straw connected to it? I don't remember. Lay's sour cream and onion are so good. The uh, the salt and one chips are good. You know the salt and the second word that I'm not saying. Vinegar. Oh. What? Salt and vinegar. Yes, salt and that word. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up because I have a speech impediment sometimes, chat. It's fine. Just... <laughs> okay. So this motherfucker, chat. Always gotta fuck shit up, man. Why? Dude, the sound quality is so loud and so quiet. We got two more Aaron Gales left, and then we're gonna finish off inside of Miramar. But you know what? With these rotating groups, I don't know if these teams could afford another situation like that. But we'll go ahead and see who's coming up. Chat, hear me out, Pringles. Just let it fly. Just let it fly, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's got we're playing Valorant. It's it's Valk saying it definitely. Whoa! <laughs> And they already cooked. Who cares? Oh, I, st I still got a place, guy. Yeah, he's still got to play like one more split, okay? And then he can start I, I saying still it. Got like, yeah, I still got a couple months in me, man. Me personally, I don't say it out of respect for everyone. I love each and every race equally. All right, chat, I want you to clip that, what he just said, and then go to the very beginning of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a changed man. He's a changed man. Two PUBG two He's a changed man. Two PUBG two games does it too. <laughs> Jesus. Chad, I'm 16 away from 1K. Make sure to hit that sub and hit the like button. I'm gonna be streaming PMGO every single day. And I'm streaming scrims tonight, pro scrims tonight, with our finalized roster for PMSL qualifiers. So make sure you tune in with that. Well, they announced in the second invite for NA. I don't think they're having one, but they're, and then they're changing it to three slots for the qualifiers instead of two. Special teams. What's special up, plays, brother? Special players. Tuesday, Tuesday. Rebecca, Rebecca. You know what I mean? That's the type of vibe we're feeling right now, chat. I'm gonna start every one of my Overwatch games with "What's up, brothers?" What's up, brothers? What's up, brothers? Madness games are on today. So we got. Oh shit, the girls' teams are playing today. Fucking. Caitlin's playing. Caitlin Clark's playing against LSU. Apparently, that's supposed to be a really good game. It's at 6 p.m. tonight. Caitlin Clark, the goat. But Paige okay. is even more goaded. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Men's, it's gonna be State versus Purdue, and then UConn. UConn's like Timothy. Introduce us to this next match, baby. Dude, I don't know any of these fucking players in college right now. Like none of them except Eddie, and then the dude from NC State. Burns. Are we gonna see some more hot drops? I, I can tell you one thing. 
We ain't gonna see it in Fairy Pier. So this six lane path's a little bit as too much as that. Latinas. <laughs> yeah, Dude. my T1 is Stomper, which I is love every insane. race. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping at least one hot drop, okay? Let, let's just keep the theme going. I mean, teams that, that are currently Nine not looking Z, good, that are currently trying to change their, their day, they might keep going for it. But if you do end up going for a hot drop, I'm hoping that we see and a Hyper's little bit more consistency West Coast. and a little bit more... Roll Tide, baby. Go Panthers. All right. Because some of these teams were just hot dropping and, and deciding to back off. Dude, Chad, I actually went to Roll Tide Country, bro. Just waiting a little bit too long for me. Uh, for spring I'm break, I went yeah, to Alabama for spring I'll, I'll break to because, golf I mean, tours. In, in the history of, of and, uh, global tournaments, it was right? lit Usually as these fuck. Teams have a very good not going to cap. Alabama is like, drop, right? the golf because shores, they like beaches, know that it's is not really nice. If you do a hot drop, you're going to There's a lot of shit you can do there. And we saw that happen from, I mean, two of the top teams in the world, right? So, um, it, it, when oh. I saw that, oh, wait. Oh, my God, it's a oh Millie Zone. Oh, my goodness. Here we go, baby. It's the PFG. Oh, wait, no vibe for Netland. West Coast, then. What's your time at right now? Military base, though. Uh, Let's go. I'm all I for it. And what I was actually wait. hinting at is that 215. in Hyper. I'll stop at 210. Oh, fuck. End up close, wait, end I'll stop at 210. I'm at 210 right now. Uh, 210? Yep. Okay, well, tell me when we get to two minutes. Okay. Close to each other, and guess what? We Count down so I can just start. Five, four, three, two, one. Wait, 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 Right. Um, so on uh, Churchill starts it all off. And Cruz gets what, first knock, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's that what we way, need. And then he gets knocked. That team has got to give up the spot for sure. But look, as you, what did I say? Right. You know, Coop goes on out, gets that knock first. Yeah, get first gets knocked back right in return. So let's see how the rest of the Xavier is going to play this. Nice little Molotov either. right there from Nate. And Ralph's about to get trying to open things up. Be two to the FTC. He's got that vector. Fortunate. Come on, Ralph. Come on, Ralph. Come on, Ralph. He's in trouble. Come on, Ralph. I think it is going to be a 2v1 situation as Coops is now trying to fend them off. Coops. Come on, Ralph. Player very, very low. Is it going to be? Oh, they're seeing Ralph. Come on, Ralph. Uh, uh, oh, man. No, man. But he did get them very low. So if Nick Galaxy wants to continue on with this fight, now would be the time to it. make that push. Yeah, and both players, both teams make a player sacrifice. So it's going to be pretty much a lose-lose in this situation. And, uh, you know, regardless of how confident huh. you are as a squad, I wouldn't want to risk it at this point. I really don't want to don't want to sit out and just risk, you know, on my main event life stake on trying to secure a, pers a particular drop location. So both these teams obviously want that central spot of Patinky. But at, at a certain point, Bro, it's unfortunate, to too, like, because like really it's not like one of these teams are a shitter team and they're just I mean, going to back off like both of these teams are very good. <laughs> kind of so they're just going to fucking keep point. contesting each other. <clears throat> both are very good teams, yeah. It's a hard fight to have, especially with such low loot. And they're yeah, right the next, they're tied in points right now. Like, do end up looking at the leaderboard this is actually so right. cool. Those two teams are sixth place and seventh place, and guess what? They're tied with the exact same amount of points. And then eighth place, they also got 11 points. Nine and ten currently at ten, and, and all another one on top of that, Jukes is that Group A that Nick Galaxy is going to be part of Group A. Group A, they're not going to be playing tomorrow for the Xavier. They are going to be having to play tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken here, with me looking at. Oh, at that's the, the only good thing though, the that the is that they're not in the so same group, so they'll have tomorrow, to change it themselves. It might for be one a day. little bit easier for these teams, and then come on the final and day, so it might be a little sure. bit easier on this on these teams. So I don't know. Why they are so team liquid already with the go to keep on taking day. this hot drop when it's really not needed. Yeah, we like I'm gonna liquidate your organs. organs. As you were mentioning, should one of those teams just drop on their secondary spots and close no, so Phoenix. Them. And now, get the NGX and are starting to the Xavier were more than are both the highly the respected good teams. Yeah, the only reason why and they're not like when you're a top team in your region, you're not gonna be like the pool goes going to your secondary drop. Yeah, you're gonna main it, you're gonna land at your main drop. So, like, if they're if you're talking it's just about unfortunate because they're both you know, from different and regions second, and they're both top teams in their region, so they're just going to land where they're comfortable right? landing. You're going to yeah. really kill yourself on the leaderboard. Right now, the goal is top eight. 
So, so just maybe have you to, have a little bit of flexibility to kind of like have to maximize really the points in other maps that they don't land on each other. And so like Miramar, but, the last I mean, two games still, are going to have to be the, 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 the games event. where you know one of those teams are going to have to go about The way these groups are going to switch up. Six, you quit YouTube? I just don't have a PC to stream right now, so... Once I once my PC gets here today, I'll start streaming uh, PC games and stuff. Me, I don't know if I'll stream mobile. So. I, would see I don't really like playing mobile games. So like has PC games, though, I'll definitely right? stream. Then you can kind of do whatever you want. Chat, what do y'all think about Warzone mobile? On that, Any y'all play that? that? There's still a lot me of personally, games play, I don't like it. Still very risky. Unfortunately. Yeah, and this is when it gets a little. Unfortunately, it runs like shit. Now what's happening here with the hot drop? I, I'm starting to get. And just feels bad. Again, right? They're they're kind of. Trying to feel out each other, trying to figure out where they're truly camping, where they're setting yeah, themselves up. The fifth best but now, the this is all the time that you're back wasting. Off Luckily for I them, mean, yeah, the exactly. circle is going to be and within NGX reach. has never not but landed Pachinki, so they're going to they end up with so. this fight when they have to actually move into the Absolutely. into the end game. Look at what Versus Pro is currently doing. They're making sure that they make oh their God, way Navi to the actual priority island, in which the is water. part of the they're, they're they're dead. because they were they have already been spotted. But what I'm what I'm trying to allude to here, Jukes, is whenever that final push does come down, whenever you do have to make the decision to okay, where are we gonna park ourselves within mm -hmm. those final circles? Everything more than likely is gonna be taken. You're gonna have to push in without any scouting, and it just leaves you in such a bad position. Wait, puncher you might end up actually is four such points a good from position. elimination points, which are good and all, but it, it could stop you from just having such an amazing game this early on in the PMGL prelims. Hundred percent. Oh, 100%. GG. First look first here at Navi. This is all the way at Novo, so this is Virtus Pro makes a swim, and they got caught out. So they spotted them on that swim over. Now they're going to be in big trouble. I wanted to see. I want to see how they're going to approach this one. And as you can see, Milky Way is like, nope, uh, going up on top of <laughs> that pier is not going to be a good idea. But he's also start, well, he's maybe going to go real close to it to try and get the bear. But it's not looking good. No way he goes to the same spot. No way. I don't think so. I mean, King has such a good spot there from the top that Milky Way is... It, he's going to be screwed regardless of where he ends yeah. up going. <laughs> Just camp it out, and I I think... Oh, no, he, he wasn't spotted. Okay, I thought King maybe did end up spotting him there, swimming closer towards that... Uh, that dead player from it's not really team, for phones. Now, yeah, I just don't think is, it's off and on. Here for Warzone Mobile is off and on as well. Phones. A team yeah, that really they iPad decided to land right very close to an hyper. I thought that we were going to end up getting that hot drop again, but they were forced out. So in hyper, you could say they end up winning that hot drop because now they're more than likely going to end up taking control of that area mm -hmm. in Lipovka. But Virtus Pro put themselves in such a bad situation here as they just decided to go for the swim, not even try to loot, not do any of that. And now you have another team uh, in... And if I'm not mistaken, this is insanity. Making that push, they've been able to lose. They've been what able in to at least get some equipment. Where are they at? Wait, themselves. where did that oh, team yeah. just? Yeah, Virtus Pro. This is obviously kind of like one of those, you know. Um, Six. What the fuck? Where did they just go? Just last. What was that team? Place, right, just like an emergency. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let's just go ahead and let's swim. Uh, 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 and uh, it's just not working out yeah. for them. Did they so wait? Did they add something to the melee base? To do here, they look. Like they did. One of their players. They added a fucking like a port. But I mean, I could on the south side of melee base. You're gonna go for the swim, considering. That it's the military base circle, but it's a it's they added like a mini a crates where I and I seeing a whole bunch of squads start make that rotation on down to this island. That was south of farm right? No, no, that was south of military base. I didn't even know that they added those buildings. Sitting a bit of a bridge camp there on the west. That shit right there. I don't mind it. I never knew that was a thing. Able to dominate that last match whenever you guys were set up and take on fights as well. So possibly. It could, we could end up seeing a, a good performance here in regards to Team Falcons when it comes down to eliminations. And now, back to this fight, it's just dragging on so oh, long. Oh, back so in the Milky Way. Milky Way is just trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to even be able to survive this? As ooh, one of the players, one of his Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Lore. Now we switch over to Zeke Savior. One of good the players shit, baby. By Lore from Nigma Galaxy. Oh, right, perfect name. Oh, that's a beautiful Wait, how name. Oh, he Koops, ate push that, that motherfucker. One. Do not let him Eric heal. Eric is in trouble. Coops realizes it. Here he goes to get the finish. He's only bandaging. Freak. Get and out. Get out of here zone. Here comes the blue What's going on here? So Nigma Galaxy pushing. trying to finish this out as soon as possible because this is the Millie Circle. Like I said, it's a lose lose. They're gonna be so late trying to get to this zone. Dude. But you know, if any team can kind of pull off a miracle and a crazy rotation, he doesn't have first aid. Just pushing. Yeah, beautiful uh, Molotov there Honestly, by Perigene, allowing himself to get that extra time to possibly get some more heals on his way. 
and now Paragin that's been there, bro. Direct. I mean, I just we haven't them. had a military base. That's what I'm talking about. Galaxy Galaxy great, great not. Player. There you go. There. I haven't, I haven't there had a military Galaxy base that one player that I needed to go down they there. So to I just didn't know that, that was there. That circle is not hurting us much, but that's good to know though. It, they need to start thinking ahead. They need to start thinking of what's gonna happen whenever they do end up making that push. And another team finding themselves here in a bad spot in hyper, trying to make their sway map towards Navi. And Virtus Pro. Okay. Legacy teams just trying to avoid. Oh, uh, it's sixty at looking at a hyper right now. Hyper, trying to do that little yeah. pay on over. Navi's about to get. They're dead. Be yeah, they're dead. Navi knows. Free like, pickings. Exactly Let's go zone. fishing, Navi. Navi. He's trying to swim over, so they say, you know what? We'll just chill up here, go fishing, and so. Oh, hot tubes! Yeah, literally caught what I was saying, bro. Having to dive Dude, down I should be a caster chat. What do you think? What do you think? That hot drop. Caster Valak. Yeah, Xavier finally huh? ends up conceding there. He got to be a Galaxy. pretty ruthless Nick caster if you ask me. Be happy about that as what if me and Six was casted in a... Than he did in the previous that would go, that would go crazy. Now they're going to be able to focus a little bit more towards yeah. their circles, making their way in. This motherfucker Six is Navi, so sleepy. They're just chilling, man. They're just... Oh, yeah. uh, keep swimming up. Maybe. Keep giving up digital manipulations. You're going to help your knee. Now he's fall asleep. You never know. Look at that. Even the pop-up. Blue's gonna come Don't worry, in bro. Up some points. And I think Baton's gonna I'll try carry to the boats and the logs for the rest of the stream. The Don't you worry. Navis at all costs. The rest of it hyper. Oh, getting actually spotted out. This is just worst case scenario. It, these these swims are so difficult, especially when you have teams just staring at them. Not to mention, I mean, there's also been that that update with Cheer Park where you can literally just practice shooting at you know. Yep targets in the water so these guys are ready to go you know it's crazy too they definitely are and i think this is one of the main reasons why i know i know goddamn well starlight and vod and review wanted to go towards right? the bridges because they knew and that there were going to be some they some know that virtus pro happening, even lands that was milta bridge, and navi lands fucking great as well from nine seas on the east and if you're seeing the kill feed that navi Falcon, and virtus pro are fighting it's going to be a fucking crate so you know virtus pro is getting knocked because they try to swim across point they're kind of focusing on here furia thought the best idea was to do the exact at, at same thing that Virtus Pro did, uh, what point which makes zero fucking sense. On where the circle is going to be, which is now the complete opposite to them, and it's going to be a little bit more towards the East Bridge. Yeah, this is a great game to learn from, though, for sure. I mean, I think oh, for, yeah. <clears throat> for all teams in general, because when you have a, a military circle like this, you know, a lot of teams figure that that swim is an option. Navi accounted for that, Mesh's and they were literally just soaking up points on yeah. that rotate. So I think a lot of these teams that went for this swim... Are gonna have to realize that yeah, the bridge sucks, but we have no choice at this point. Like we either go down the bridge and try to get some points the hard way, or we swim and just go out anyway with nothing. Yeah, I mean, if you're in the bridge already, I think that there's no <laughs> there's no going back for those teams. Like you were saying, they just have to commit. I'll to order it. six Navi food and coffee up for him to stay awake. At least one player there from in hyper Capri is gonna stay alive. Oh, I'm gonna say no. no. One more player alive. Now stay you know the what? fuck Being up. Being able to exit out of that. We got unscathed with three we got eliminations. Like, they're three, gonna be happy this about match, this. This match three. We got Milky this match Milky Way. Three Dude, more matches. Milky Way was able to, to find fight. his way or, in uh, here and also bro. the elimination feed. We see Coops and Nigma Galaxy and your PC is gonna be here. As they were rotating in, late. Are your, uh, oh yeah, in, like, there they go. Hours, so you gotta stay away so, from I mean, that. We talked oh, about how yeah, like, Xavier lost Fuck, that. Both bro. teams lost. Come on, Coops. He just always did. Here soon as we watch. What's going on here, bro? Victus Pro go down. I mean, that's the right play for Navi. I believe him. Down. Get every elimination point that we can. They got four KD. Nilly Dumb can be unpredictable. We have this side of the circle all to ourselves. Let's soak up all the points. Yeah, I, do I'm good in totally not Mark shocked that they're gatekeeping in stage three here. Another point on the board. Easy, easy for Navi. Uh, they baited me. They baited the teams too. I thought Navi was gonna be backing out from this. I thought not they were gonna lie, be happy like, with those three eliminations. Boy, they were not. Chat, they're like, okay, like, you know what, Gunso? You go I don't figure mean out it, but like it's like at the same time. Like, are are I mean it. Mean, it. I mean, bro. We're gonna like to if you read me, if you did your bot review, right, right and you know where people land, so right and now. you see them yeah, fighting, so like, the zone, like went on over you have an idea of what's happening Millie, during that fight. Leave for sure. Oh yeah. But since that zone stuck there, they say, yeah, why not? I wish I could hear Starlight's comment because he's the guy. I wish like I could hear thought process on like what he wants to do. Easy points and. Now with the zone starting to like close, so they're gonna troll. definitely How have to they start die. getting they moving. Have died like some that. of them in their vehicles, trying to bridge predict where the circle. Go north, right? Imagine, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Hey, we still got some of the bridge to play. It's possible. We do it. The nine seas is gonna have to make that push with two seas most gaming, and we also see a fight here now happening between Fury and Falcons. This is the fight that's been 
waiting to happen for quite a while now. Team Falcons currently having the upper hand. Icy Ooh. with the easy shotgun sends him back to the lobby. And guess what? For Team Falcons, base Let case me scenario. They're inside you, the Valak, circle. I got, got the four eliminations. And they're going to be able Sorry. to pull reset here. Oh, oh man. Though. These guys are set up pretty. We just happy uh, to be here. So let's see Dude, how they end up here, bro. Enough. Meanwhile, Team Liquid. Dude, getting punished a little bit here from 9Z. six will bring the vibes, bro. Well, I'm going to have to bring I will the bring Valak to yeah. his knees, okay, if you know what I mean, so, chat. Dude, here we go they again, man. In the it's like, right now. Nice shot there it's like Marco. every 10 minutes, bro. The flyer. They definitely want to get this fight done sooner than later. And that's going to be I, it there. I, I fully believe Hyper ever since I've met Sixless, he's had a crush on yeah, me. For in a hyper for this. Uh, liquid no, no. All right, Val, I'm going to break the news to you, buddy. No. I don't have a crush on you. <laughs> I only like guys if they are 6'6 six, six or taller. That's why I haven't dated a dude yet. You are a short king. But you're not a tall king, unfortunately. What if I like, you know like those one souls that you see on TikTok all the time? That's not making you 6'6, six, six, buddy. Dude, no, but like, I can gain three more inches. I'll be like 6'1. Bro, like, like, you're still shorter than me. I'll be like six one six two. Come on, wait, right, how many inches? Still shorter than me. Yeah, yeah, I'd be six two by the military circle. Oh, yeah. You know, like this. Sometimes these guys are no, going to have that. Don't I get no dog? What's up, brother? You know what I mean? What's up, brother? Bolt action buff that I've been praying for, but we'll see. If that does end up happening, but you know, we are seeing some of these long range Fucking fights. Asshole, man. Sorry like, for cussing. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on here? Yeah, this you know, flipping B word. Right. Spot. They're going to have to hold down for now, as they're also keeping an eye on Inko from that ridge line, because they could definitely spoil them for sure. Now we see Inko spoil some of the other teams' uh, rotations as well in the earlier matches, as we do see Smoke trying to get a little bit of an advantage here, see if they can maybe spot anybody. And 9C <coughs> actually being able to position themselves to the point where he might be able to take some shots there towards Inko. But you were mentioning, he needs to be careful. Zebra Masters is currently there within that breach. And then Navi, we saw what happened earlier with Navi. They still, they, they ended up with seven eliminations out Crazy. of that Duke. They couldn't ask for anything better. And now Team Falcons are finding themselves here in a tough spot. As if the only two players, Icy and Top, if I'm not mistaken. One of my favorite things to do is see teams that struggle on the first couple games just come out swinging, you know, and Navi yep. had the perfect scenario, right? I mean, th th I will say, right, that that was the perfect zone and situation for them. So the, but the thing is, they took advantage of it, right? They got seven yep. eliminations at the start. Now it's time to step Ooh. on that gas and come back strong Navi because, pushing up you know, with how many intense teams are here, number. you do not want to get Falcon. stuck on that, Top? you know, seventh, eighth position towards the end. And I'll definitely oh, talk I about see. that I see. more. Here in the future, as we see the Falcons, oh, down to one player, oh, it's just icy left. He's deaf dead. He's got the player. worst off of Snakey too. How proactive Navi is being here. They're looking to try to third party. They're looking to try kind to. Kind of surprised that they didn't. Oh, Inko is about. fucking chilling, man. Does bad Jesus. at the start, but then they're able to Aren't they just the two men though? Navi could definitely yeah, do that. Nobody Seven eliminations. That's already way higher than anything that they got close to in the previous two matches. As in the previous two matches combined, so. they only ended and up with team on the bridge, eliminations that Zebra Master, they're actually So if they too. can continue on, we could see them at least there the within the bridge. top eight with the way they're currently performing. 100%. They're going to have to start getting moving though really quickly though. They are trying to decide whether they want to stay back and get these points or you know try to get into this circle the problem is the timing of it when do we go and make that push Jeez. they get that point on the icy. that's the one that they were looking for now it's time to could start be getting the game going. that all the other and teams catch up on tough rotation they make they could lose a couple players in this process it looks like they're gonna try and just hug the circle but they're gonna run into the squad here in a second let's see if gonzo can make it out alive and it Oh, it'll, it'll come down to that. Are they going to be trying to breach in or are they going to be just playing it slow? That's what we're trying to figure oh, out. Oh, I love this Navi play by Navi. Like they, They're just taking they right in front of NRX. Like they might be feeling this hot. is perfect. They currently have eliminations. They're currently being able to third party. You might end up making that extra push as next Ruya, all four players alive, waiting and seeing what's happening here. They have vehicles. They have that transportation. They're going to be able to rotate a little bit easier than oh. with some other teams. Navi taking on some shots. Oh, Gonzo not being able to fully knock there. Shit. But guess what? Exter. Exter is there, and he's going to be able to get that knock. He's going oh, to get such that a good spot. elimination. Shit, now it's up to I nine for Navi. Uh-oh. Meanwhile, Z-Wolf, oh. though, with that M16. Oh, he gets his head popped off there, but he should be safe to get res. 
but that was a perfect shot there for Lancaster to be able to crazy. give the team a little bit of relief in that situation. Nice suppressive fire as well. That's exactly what he wants to do. Just make sure he doesn't get knocked and wait for Gonzo to go and push up in that scenario. But he's getting shot his back. Oh, not able to make it. And that's that off angle, that crucial spot. Take it away from next Ria. Navi has to be careful now. Yeah, this is perfect with what you were talking about earlier, too. The, it was just going to be such a hard push there for Navi. I feel like with what they got right now, they're definitely going to be happy with the performance of this match. And this guess is what? 9C. Now we have being able what? to push up. This was a team that we saw them wait, wait for the right time. We saw what they were able to do. We saw how proactive they were able to do in the first game. And now they're taking on the fight here with 9C. As he's going to be able to connect there with the grenade on Chaco. 9Z kind of troll, no? It could make it a little bit easier for them to make that bridge. Seaver Master as they're making 9C back uh, up. 100%. This is the second game, right, where they get a good, solid position. They I mean, they were the playing that dip, but fucking Seaver Master's got... Dude, this is, this is really what I... Good game. This is actually I mean, such a good position you know, two, three from fucking this kid. Like this, and that's enough for top eight most he literally sees everything. As long as they do at least these That's actually so troll. Games. So Zebra Master is definitely not looking to let off the pedal in this situation. Yes, Sada with the risky positioning. It's on the third place. Let's go. Fuck Lashaw. End up fighting them. He could be extra exposed. I All my know. homies hate Lashaw. Sure, he tries to third party anything possible. As now he's gonna be adding another elimination wow. to their tally, bringing it up to eleven. If this team can keep it going, we might not be seeing sixteen. We might not be seeing eighteen. We might be seeing twenty hot juice. It's totally possible here at this point. They are rocking a three man, and they're gonna get this player here. Aragod's in trouble. Oh, actually, Ooh. not. Wow. What a beautiful knock. And now that here comes the rest of Worlds of War. Oh, Navi's in trouble. They're on the back foot. Axer's pretty low at HP. And Navi's Gonzo's about to die. So they're yeah, they're gonna done for. All the angles. Yep. Dunzo. Player up left. And that oh. is going to be it for Navi. Honestly, Navi, good job. Good job. That yeah, was we'll that was up. a great match for Ooh. you guys. Nine oh. eliminations. I'll I'll be fine. I'll be happy with that. Sorry, chat. Yeah, crazy amount of eliminations. Unfortunately, you know what I mean. Zero placement points, which yep. is crazy. <laughs> Stage six. They went out with zero placement points. But Bro. heck, when you get eleven, chat. Like could that, this so be help the out for sure. zebra masters? Go ahead and see where the rest of the team. Who's gonna win this game right now? Second W. Oh, it did. And I have no idea I who the you. fuck any of these players play. are. But if because they're just the spotted, goats. You're gonna end up getting knocked. Luckily for him, I think he's gonna I, end up getting picked up. I, I love Latom because of Wancho. No, 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 no. Getting some more angles here. Wancho's in it, buddy. We claim Wancho. North America claims Wancho. He's one of us. Wancho. Wancho's is whitewashed. Yeah, yeah. He's a purebred American. Yeah, Wancho's whitewashed. He learned very the national anthem. They did get uh, off the United States. Flag allegiance to the flag. I don't know the anthem at all, if I'm being honest. Not even the national anthem. That's the. Yeah, I'm about. I'm sorry. That's the. That's pretty interesting. Tar Spangled Banner. Not the national anthem. Bob Springsteen and Hitter. That's the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, Wait, he said he is that not our anthem? Could be clear. <laughs> Doubt it. I'm out of here. Wait. You know what? I, see, I hear a lot of my brain over there. Let's, I don't know. Let's just Maybe. back up a little bit. Is this Far Spangled Banner not the anthem? On top of that, they have <laughs> I thought that's the shit we. Anything I thought that's the shit we sing, bro. Before like basketball yeah, games and stuff. Down to how Wait. Is the war gonna play? Is like in the land of the free, home of the brave? That starts singing Banner. Getting a little bit more intel on the teams that are. Shit, I don't know. I don't know the lyrics. Fuck. No <laughs> I don't know any song lyrics, but you think I want to know the Star Spangled Banner lyrics? <laughs> Are we even Americans? <laughs> Fuck, dude, I'm a wannabe. <laughs> Probably like Latam was because of B4 way back then. I'm pretty sure B4 was Brazilian. I, I, I could be wrong. Nice little team play there. You yep. see them throwing some smoke for their teammate, trying to get him out safely. Because, yeah, going underneath. I'm surprised, yeah, he's not going underneath that bridge. Maybe that angle is yeah, taken away. He just wanted the he just wanted the reassurance for his team. Okay, he he was just like, guys, guys, you, you remember me? Yeah, I'm still here, and guess what? I'm still gonna go under the bridge. I just decided to make you guys waste some smokes. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it was a little bit of a bait and switch to make you know teams focus on top of the bridge. I don't know, right? But here he comes down to go help and support his teammate. Maybe trying to get some shots on Inko from downrange. Next zone's about to pop. Where's he gonna go though? That's the question. Hey, where's the SMK from? Let's see. Sing oh, the national man. anthem, Valak. I, I think the winner could Oh, be say, can you see? 
Wonder. By the way, I'm here. Making the ankle a little bit. I don't know this. Like someone, someone on. And he does end up going a little bit towards Kiba Master. What's up, brother? Okay. okay. Yeah. Now Something else on there. So there's gonna go, come down to Rolls of War. They, I mean, they have so much control. They, they're gonna have to possibly start fighting smoke. Is that how? Is that how Sketch does it, uh, Chat? Like he like fucking said, next, we were just, just like. This bear what's up, brother? He like twingles his like fingers back and forth. Some swimmers still out. What's there? up, brother? And that's gonna be from Insane. What's up, brother? How we doing today, brother? Points on the board so far. This one's not gonna be a good one. Yeah, Zebra Master saw. He's like if Trump was a kid, you know. For the floor. But it's, it looks like the inevitable is coming for him. You can't tell me they don't talk similar, bro. Gonna get as many points as they can. I will make this country Point better, brother. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> he can't tell me that's not He can't tell me they don't the same. That's like... <laughs> Brother, listen to me on this one, brother. Listen to me, brother. I will make this country, this this country better, brother. brother. Hey, when the dogs win, win, brother, he cried like a bitch, brother. Special plays, special teams, special plays. Vote for me, brother. I will be making special teams, special plays, and special players, brother. Every Tuesday for Rebecca. You know what I mean? Dude. It's actually not even two players anymore. Tell me, that's just not Trump is Let's go. Oh, like, let's go. Like, what are we doing parties, here? They're gonna get third parties. Oh, really shit, trying to make sure that the timing of this is perfect. Only fighting is until absolutely necessary. Not a single shot landed as well. He just like me. There's still 43 seconds left on the clock. They can afford to take these shots for now. But if that zone pops away from them, they're gonna definitely have to push the issue. Uh. Ro could take third place Ooh, pretty easily. That, that's the problem right there. Trying to overpeak a little bit yeah. too much. Going for that jump. Seeing if you can maybe see where that player is going to be hiding at. Could get end up getting you caught. Royals of War needs to be careful. They're they're truly taking... They might end up taking on too many fights here. Jukes as Cold Goat is far away from his team. And if a grenade hits here, they're not going to be able to back him up. Look how far away he is from them. Oh, there we go. Z will finally getting spotted out there. That looked like mm, a nice nade there on the Nunez, but he only gets chunked a little bit. Mm, that good shit. Looked out. Nice yeah, shot go. there, though, from Cold Goat. And that's perfect timing because the zone is closing. There's no way he's going to be able to get that res off. No way. He's going to go Wait. for the run over. What? What is happening? Holy shit. Cold Goat's this fucking kind of wild. I'm he's him. Uh, Let's go. And oh, they killed him, though. Hey, it worked, though. There he's He's squad, fucking him. So they He's Timothy. I'm the Timothy, brother. With four eliminations. No one can stop me. Will actually, to be able to get the res off, I think they might be able to, right? They yeah, will, they can but that. The vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was catchy. That, that was a little bit. <laughs> that player was feeling himself. He's like, all right, you know what? I got the knock. Let me see if I can get the other one for the highlights. A little bit too much for my liking. But guess what? Luckily for him, he does have the backup of his team. And now they are going to be controlling an even bigger area here at Zebra Masters. We got two players there from 90 and Smoke Gaming still having their players alive as well. Honestly. I feel like Royals of War, with the way they're currently playing, I feel like they might end up taking this game, too. It's, it's, it's going to be hard, though. And the reason why I say yep. that is because they have brought all the attention onto themselves. You can see almost every single team staring at their direction right now. So Royals of War... Hear me out. SMK has them. the best like, chance to win. They were able to clear that out just on time, and they still have everybody up. So they're definitely in the most right, dominant position. You can can their dude hit a fucking med kit, dude? No, Jesus actually, Christ. There you go. Actually, yeah, they're, uh, they they're chilling. This fucking Nino. On point. They have they the whole top fight a little too early. Smoke is going to come in in third party then very easily. Exactly. They definitely have the best chance of winning. Smoke too. I'm thinking about the 9C players. They're being so quiet there that if Smoke is not able to spot them and actually start shooting them and maybe knocking them, I think 9C could possibly end up surprising here. Royals of War. Anything can happen, though, when is this kind of madness. You have... Two teams with four players alive, actually three teams with four players alive, and then you have the oddball of 90 yeah. trying to clutch up another top three situation with not all their players alive, just two this time, so at least their chances are going to be a little bit higher. We saw what happened earlier with 9C. They were able to surprise and get that second place with Choco. Myth has a VSS. Oh, He's going to unlock his it's inner gonna come six. Back to who gets the first knock here. Oh, and, shit. It is tough. I, I like 100 meters from here, one of the games I played when I was on C9 is I, I like cooked like six people with a VSS while on the grass in a prone fight because they just couldn't figure out where I was. VSS would be. He's starting to throw out all of their utility. Meanwhile, like 9Z, not trying to move a muscle. Pretty hurt. Yeah, Acer. Yeah, yeah. Same match. Nope, I'm not going to leave this to chance. Smoke getting one of the players. M16 was so fucking OP, dude. There's no way I should have won that. Are going to start pushing Royals of War. 
And here they come. That shit was demon mode gun. Oh damn, he took two days. He's pumped that we've been talking about. Vino, so Vino's a fucking pimp. For the push. That's a shot Never mind. And that's a little bit too far away. And stop hitting Yeah, him. that's a little and wild, bro. Around and guess what? So I'm telling you, SMK has the best chance to win. Being able to third party this fight. Oh, Tab easy, bro. He go over and kill him. Down. And they're gonna be able to it's like a man, brother. You know this wait, guy. Wait, there's literally two people are fighting Team Zebra and two people are fighting ROW. Bro, what the They absolutely fuck? just, yeah, they held perfect control. They steamrolled. They didn't, they didn't mess up a single play, dude. Jesus Christ, and ended with nine kills. Special teams, special players, special players. Special players. That is how you get it done. That's what I was talking about. You know, like, me and Putin had a very good talk last night. We came up with a lot of special players, a lot of special players. A lot of special teams. And I do love to see Smoke recognize the situation and act on it. Why does he have a piece of duct tape on his shirt? And that was big chicken dinner there for them. Yeah, look at them. They're happy. He just kissed him on the cheek. That's kind of gay, bro. I'm like on a cap, dude. Oh, it's kind of it fruity. You can't have any reason. It's a Nike logo. You can't have any branded. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Branded shit for people here. Boy, they definitely end up so just duct taped this shit. Yeah, they said, yo, take this, cover it up, and make a decision so well. Oh, shit, I'm mad. That was a great. Take a look here. At the highlights, and it started off so strong, you know, with another hot drop situation here, Seven. It was, and in this one, we actually had a winner, though. But did we? Did we, DK? Because Nigma Galaxy ended up getting eliminated before they could even get to the circle. I mean, dude, it is. It has been such a day coming through here. It's just like, you know, again and again, they try to contest who's going to be claiming that tricky spot for themselves but i gotta say this match was just filled with wave after wave after wave i mean we saw navi kicking up the storm we saw uh, the zebra masters kicking up the storm but at the end of the day i mean smoke gaming they just had it cooking they were they, they were Chat, all i would like to say just waiting for the is right i just time. took i mean even from my uh before that that was one of the things that we were talking about yesterday they were just my grade came back the other teams got a fucking doing. hundred on it you know that some pimp by fucking am being a fucking did. i mean we, a so we fucking athlete fashion so it's not good military finish and it was no surprise indeed i do like the fact too that at the start of the day or at the start of this game we saw so many swimmers right i'll so kiss my homie swim all over, on the lips and we finally saw a team decide to shut that down we did i mean with navi with the way that they were able to play it there even yeah, though no navi didn't end up being there towards the towards the top Nine. I think they ended up in eleventh place, if I'm not mistaken. Next That's why you're currently not seeing them here in the in the first. Next round. question, brother. Damage, smoke gaming, twelve hundred. I mean, the way they were able to play this out, twelve hundred. Dude, ninth to twenty fourth gets five k. W shit. Here we go. Now Woo. this is what I wanted to see. Almost two thousand yeah. damage and eleven eliminations there for Navi. Crazy. Main event. Let's probably go for the main event. Some damage, but you know, three fifty six k. First place to one hundred k. Yeah. I think it worked out pretty well. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, they would just, they would just lurk it. Chad, you have already subscribed 14 subs away from 1K. It would mean a lot. Then, because as soon as I hit 1K, Navi, they just kicked into gear. we're going to start just moving just and grooving on this channel. Place, so I see you know what I mean? Keep putting up what I'm putting down. Wow, and we actually see Six get the MVP here, Seven. Not surprised. Hey, Not I got the MVP, chat. Honestly, even though they didn't end up getting those placement points that we were, we were hoping they would. With those eliminations, they're happy. They're gonna be. It's gonna build up at least a little bit of confidence there, especially after back-to-back -back first two matches, 15 plays, only one elimination for them to have this kind of turnaround, take advantage of it, being able to secure those elimination points and move themselves up higher in the overall leaderboard. They're gonna be happy with that as we're gonna be going into the final Aaron Gale. 100%. One Aaron Gale left here for the day. Let's see where everybody stands on the leaderboards here. As we take a look at this match ranking, meanwhile, yeah, I mean, look at that. Smoke, 19 total points. We're seeing uh, quite a few of these little squint sponges here uh, at the start of this tournament, Seven. We are, and what I'm seeing right now is that even when though six Navi ended up with zero placement points, DK. Yeah, why does everyone think I was Asian, bro? Them overall for the match ranking in third place. I told fucking uh, Monica that I was Chinese or half Chinese, and she believed me for like months. Exactly what they did, placement points. <laughs> doesn't matter to them they just go in for the aggression you can see, no 
I mean, this is the kind of change-up that we're looking at, right? Royals of War, Smoke Gaming, climbing up 6 and 10 slots just in one game. Man, this lobby is heating up so, so much, dude. 10 placement jump, just like that. That is how you get it done. Remember, folks, it's top 8 at the end of this that end up making it on over. And we still have an entire group that hasn't played. So, um, I think these teams, Seven, need yep. to play at an all-time high here. They cannot let off the gas here. There's still so many teams that play. They can't get comfortable with these rankings. Sixless right can twerk yeah, with really one can. leg. I mean, smoke gaming, Dude, uh, I think you have a hidden talent, Six? So what the fuck? With the way they were able to yeah, I'd be twerking your face right now, dog. With one leg? Nice. With one leg. But then they're going to, if they, for some reason, aren't able to follow up the performances, they don't think put up of, I, I think I have an idea of which leg the final day, is, you know what I mean? they're not even uh, going to be playing. Okay. And we've seen what happens Probably with that your, before. Uh, we, see, we know what can right happen, leg. the surprises that can happen with that. So I think they're trying to take destiny into their own hands and start performing good. We want to see more consistency, though, with Mo Gaming, because before this match, I think they were in 14th place. They weren't having a great day. So a good bounce back here at the halfway mark of day one prelim. Yeah, can't get comfortable with the leaderboards at all at this point. Like you mentioned, every single time we've seen this, we've seen a, a player not make it on in. But meanwhile, guys, we have an offline tournament coming up here soon. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. And maybe even get yourself a nice little avatar frame here, DK. We have an Ooh. offline tournament yeah, so coming wanna, soon, I chat. See a little bit of those avatar frames yeah, coming in here. Through. But you know what's the interesting so. thing that I'm noticing so far? The top, uh, the game. past three winner winner chicken dinners that we've seen. Right? What it's fucking teams offline from tournament do we have? It's mm. not the teams that have joined us now in That's the new true. group here. It's only been qualifier teams just rolling with a bunch of. Do not know. So you're saying qualifier teams are better? Or maybe the games that they had on Saturday has been helping them out, which is something that ah. Hot Juice, if I'm not mistaken, you brought that up at the beginning of the day. I will say uh, Team Falcons is better. Okay, yeah, they, they've proven that. They've proved that on the global championships that they are better. So, I mean, uh, they started off strong here today. That's why we see them at the top of the leaderboards. But I'm happy to see teams that, because you know what? You can't always hope for a great start, especially when it's your first time going against these squads. You yeah. might struggle, you know, in game one, game two. Uh, two teams in particular that I see struggling on purpose is Enigma Galaxy, right? Like, what are and ND Xavier like this is the last Aaron Gale of the day um DK do you think they're gonna do it you think they're gonna see one last shot drop I mean based on what we've seen in the first two angles uh Aaron Gales I would not be surprised if uh they do it again I mean at the end of the day I hope that it's it's not gonna be the outcome but I mean who knows right some of the teams they just super determined on locking in that position it's like you know, whatever the zone brings, they're like, oh. you know what, the Trinky is our place and we're going to defend it, even if we have to chunk them some blue zone to do it. Seven? It's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> right? I it's 1-1, one, one, baby. I, Somebody's going to take it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I see it as 0-0 oh, oh right now. It's not looking too good for either of these teams. They're getting punished, you know. But, you know, one thing that I, I want to talk about, Seven, was, you know, let's just play theory, right? All right. Uh -huh. Let's just say I am right, and they're playing this. To try and secure that spot for the main event, right? That lo that drop location. Yep. Do they not realize that top eight is the goal? You got teams like Falcon crushing it, right? Yep. So many of these monster squads crushing it. What happens if you decide to do this and leave yourself in that seventh, eighth place position? Could we have that qualifier, you know, slot where they just said, you know what, we don't want to see these teams. Who knows? Let's go ahead and take that over to an interview. We'll talk about it some more later. We had the, the player for Smoking Gaming who just got a chicken dinner. Okay, awesome. Uh, congratulations for this last chicken dinner. Okay, so I got a couple questions for him. <laughs> I'm, right back. Know the first I'm gonna go find good for your team. something to eat with milk, as in like cookies. I'm gonna find some fucking cookies. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it or some type of shock. Congratulations for the last chicken dinner. Dude's got a point. I mean, yeah, it could get to the point where Falcons gets a, a really big lead, you know, and if they don't want to see Nigma Galaxy in the finals, I mean, they'll take, they'll, they'll drop on him and try to kill him, you know? That's, that's like, uh, it's just the, the way the game works, you know? You don't want to see a top team in the finals. If they, if you can gap where you're safe and secure yourself a spot into the finals, I mean, you'll get 
get targeted if you're close to not qualifying. So incredible. It's just and this was the second just, chicken the dinner for a Brazilian the PR, team. You know? Does Anything we think could Brazil have the dominance here? Esse segundo chicken dinner para um time brasileiro, você acha que vai ser tudo bem daqui para frente? Com certeza, né? Além de termos a maior quantidade de equipes representantes, né, no nosso país, então, é, além disso, né, nós estamos jogando há vários dias, como eu disse. Então, já estamos acostumados com essa casa aqui. É isso. Yeah, we have but DX and NGX fighting now, over and over so is this in the top eight? No, no. I mean, it is, but you know. Good. Awesome, awesome. That's, okay, so like I said earlier, both of those Brazil teams, so Pachinki is their main drop, and the next they're match. very so like the neither of those teams exactly. are going to leave. So it's just who can come out on top All and right, they'll have guys, to be better in like Sanok and Miramar. So. But of course, you got to give a big thank you to but I don't see either those teams leaving. Pro Plus, um, the elevates your Pachinki. photography experience with 120x super zoom and your performance in games as well. Check it out today. Four fucking cameras, like, dude. You think you would think that you would only need like two lenses on a fucking phone? They're like, slap fucking four on there, call it a day, dude. It's gonna get to the point, chat, where iPhones or phones is, is literally the whole fucking backside just gonna be one massive fucking lens. That's what it's gonna get to. Where it's, it's literally gonna get to the point where it's not just this, it's the whole back side of the fucking phone is gonna be a lens. And you take a fucking photo like this. You just hold the phone like this, you just tap, and it's gonna. Dude, I, I see it say, coming, bro. I love the new game mode seven. It is just so yes. fun. It is crazy. I've enjoyed it. I also enjoyed that if you do end they up add more fucking lenses to phones island, every uh, single fucking year, bro. There, it's insane. It, it will revive you. You know what? Because uh, I've been getting my cheeks slapped in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, as a matter of fact, I got, you know, I'm getting warmed up. I've been playing a little bit as well. You can actually get revived twice now. So it's kind of pretty crazy here coming up. But man, you know what? Uh, still a lot more action that we got coming up, guys. We'll be right back after this break. Why don't they ever even consider using iPhones or turnies knowing what players knowing that what players mainly use? Is because um like the company Apple that makes iPhones has never reached out to PUBG Mobile for a sponsorship. The reason why we always play on Androids or like the reason why lands are always played on Androids is because Androids are the the ones that always sponsor the PUBG Mobile LAN. We've never, there's never been a scenario where Apple sponsored PUBG Mobile um, before. Because, like, realistically, an iPhone, an iPhone is not supposed to be a gaming phone, right? An iPhone is supposed to be like a modernized phone for social media, pictures, videos, um, you know, so on and so forth. It's not a gaming phone. That's not what Apple was intending to make iPhones for. Samsung, on the other hand, has made phones specifically for gaming. So that's why they always choose an Android um, for sponsored LAN events, is because Androids have gaming phones, while the iPhone is not considered a gaming phone. Itu apa ya? Semua tim itu udah merata sih dari segi skill dan apapun itu. Dan gua rasa. PMGC ini bakalan PMGC yang seru banget karena semua tim itu udah jago banget. Mungkin momen yang nggak uh, bisa gue lupain itu waktu uh, jadi World Champ di Malaysia tahun 2019 itu itu salah satu yang apa ya momen yang paling gue ingat banget karena semua orang juga tahu kan kalau tim gue dan gue bisa buktiin kalau kita tuh bisa loh juara dunia nggak cuma di region kita. <tuh> We got three minutes till the next match. Tough. Karena juara itulah tidak pernah menyerah. 
Ain't there a Samsung that has like five lenses? Dude, probably, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't be surprised. Be surprised. Top has emerged as the MVP of South Asia Championship. Your MVP, Stalwart Esports. Give it up, Jakarta, for top. Uh, all right, dog. Check Jin chat right now, dog. Bro, you for real an op, motherfucker. I'm an op. How to put Gotta that shit in him. the Jin chat, bro? <laughs> Caught me lacking. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Dog, the way you said it was too good not to screenshot. Like, no context on that shit is fucking great. I can't wait. Motherfucking bro, you aired my shit out, Chuck. What's this TikTok? Okay, okay. <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's like, it's like you get? what you did food was. I got some. Three people easily think the top players are playing their best for money. Kaiser, I don't think so. I think Kaiser can be one reason, but each player will have another. Oh, uh, I got some graham crackers and milk, bro, and it went hard. To audiences or other people, somebody wants to take the fame or reputation as a pro. Red Air Sixus was the most so beautiful PUBG player. I don't know. I was a really big fan of the uh, of the uh, the white haired Sixus. When the fuck did I have white hair? Or like you bleach your hair? You oh, like cross the tips? Hair? Yeah. Cross the tips? No, never. Just had bleached hair. And I did have white hair when I was 17. You call me a, a sexy 17 year old? Okay. You fucking weirdo. I'm always, I'm always catching strays, chat. It's like fucking every day right here. Off here as well. Would you expect that here, seven? I honestly would have not, but I'm not surprised because of what you guys were saying earlier, which they have had a lot of matches leading up to this. So they are in a way kind of warmed up. They know what some of the other teams were going to be doing too because they have already faced them in the match, in the previous matches too. So not surprised, but I am. Pink hair six <laughs> and yeah, Omen I mean, days. It's just so crazy to see some of the different strategies coming out here at this uh, top level. Apex six was one of the best sixes. Ready to go, DK. What stood out to you? So I was far? peak fin boy. I have to say that push coming through from Navi down on towards uh, that Sosnovka Island. I mean, 11 eliminations that is a pretty aggressive push. I mean, Wheels of War also they doubled down securing those double digits. But for me, the most impressive one was the performance coming through from Navi. But I mean, it's I, I'm not really surprised because looking at the at the roster that they have is a roster that uh, you know I've seen Yo, over what's up, in rewind, the region. So 
I know how, what, how, and what they can kind of do. So yo, 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 yo. Start getting that talent once again. Starting you know the last we're wrangle match, well, chat. We will we see Enigma Galaxy finally Wheel fucking win against DX worry, and, and Pachinko? Mark coming up, so make sure Probably. That, I'm saying yeah. One, I'm saying they're gonna fucking steamroll in this game. I'm saying they're gonna touch him inappropriately. Dude, no, we did not say that. In game, like Valak would touch certain people. What? Shut up. I don't think we got dude, to wait to dude, no. What is gonna be the dude, what the fuck, one. Six? <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> Sorry for cussing. <laughs> Did you hear him? He's a bad influence. Chad, this dude Six is literally like brings out the worst of me, man. It's insane. <laughs> Enigma Galaxy and D Xavier looking to settle the dispute. Right, as you've said, it's 1-1. One, one. It's one Yo, is that one SMK one guy AFK? And get that extra point. I think Where? it would be so great if the zone even sent it up. The bottom the of the map, dog. And I think their Enigma Galaxy might actually end up backing out, which is What's your time at? I'm stopping at 215. These two teams are going to be fighting against each other. Keep in uh, mind, I don't have a time. We're going to continue to say just for yeah, people that went. might be tuning in just now. Group A is going to be sitting out tomorrow. In group B, Wait, like you already see zone one in the final day for day three. So no, this would be about two fifteen if they were to fight each other. And I don't think I literally no. don't wow. see a time. It might actually oh, dude, forward. you are so ahead of me. Only able to exit with just All right, four and I this time. pause at two fifteen. Three, two, one, go. Let, let, let's just decide who's the potential king for this. What's your time at? I mean, it's not enough. Right? They want to plant their flag. They want to say, yo, this is our show. 20 seconds. Back to it again. But let's see. When I started last time, I fucking got to give me the loading to I want to see fight in the land. You want to see people throw hands IRL at the land? Bro, I bet somewhere in any esports team, I bet there's been a fight between teams like IRL. I bet somebody's had to throw hands. They're waiting for it. They know that they're in there. We've seen what happens when those Molotovs are thrown. And it's usually, it goes bad for the person that throws the Molotov. Uh, well, luckily for Rose, he's not going to be making any type of push here. But this is the problem. These two teams, you know what? At the beginning, it's okay to be able to take a little bit longer as you guys are trying to feel each other out, trying to figure out and get info where everybody's going, where everybody's rotating to. But you just don't want to get into that stalemate. Yeah, I mean, stalemates, oh, definitely not the kind of play that we want to see. And I mean, we did have a little bit of that back in the first, Aaron Gale. So, yep. uh, oh, let's see if there's any come changes on. around on this one. Come but on, interesting enough, right? The rest of the lobby, come everyone, on. they just kind of going their own way. There's a let's, big let's, 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 Lord, what's team. going on, Lord? And here Dude, we go now. Farajan trying to find oh a little God, bit of magic. Pushed. And Lord just quickly managing to pull back into the cover. Just enough to be able to hide there, and something oh, that we got to keep in mind too is please. these teams, if they do end up engaging, it, it could be very slow too because they are within the circle, and the circle it's not shifted anywhere from to the to the west or the south in military base. They are gonna be put in a good position here. So whoever ends up winning this fight, if they for get some reason, Perigen and I know Jukes is gonna be hoping that this happens. The fight. Like is Perigen their best player? The team that wins doesn't end up losing players. They could actually set themselves up in a great position, but oh, that is so easier doing, said than done. DK, come on. I mean, it's gonna be. Uh, this is supposed to be prime coops, bro. Like, lock it the fuck in, focus the fuck up. Like, exactly the let's same do this. Points. Lock it the fuck in, get some pussy, you start fucking playing like a man. Right, right. This is where boys turn into men. Like, let's let's go. Yeah. Let, 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 let's lock let's lock it and now that we're men, I take my under pants down for men. Like, they might be able to. Let's go, Josh. We can do anything. Go for men. Let's go, Josh. Like, come on. What's going on here? Not that far ahead from them. Uh, I need to see yeah, a, Joshua. I need to see. A, I need to see like a ten so kill game from the goat. For right now, it's, it's, it can I need to see a fifteen kill game because he's a fucking loser. He needs to get fifteen. So can't even expand on, on what could happen with these two teams. They just somebody needs to win the engagement. And if we're looking at the map here, I wonder if maybe any of the teams rotating with the way that the circle might be set up. These teams could actually be setting themselves up for possibly a third party if anybody just comes close enough to Potinki. Now that we're men. I think it's going to have to be... That's what uh, I'm talking about, Coops. Good shit, Josh. Because, yeah. Come on. I mean, we know what Digma and Come on, there's one. There's one, baby. He has an S12K. He has an S12K. Let's go, Coops. Come on. 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 Come on.
with the swoop and Dude, he got two of them. It cracked he got two of them. The Dude, I, I said it. That was Chad, I said it. And GX is going to steamroll in this game. Down, They've had enough of DX's bullshit. Player, nobody gets knocked. Somebody got really close, but they didn't end up getting knocked, so they don't have to waste time there on reviving him. And now they're going to be looking over to Perigen. Oh, Perigen. where he's at. There is a DBS. DBS. Perigen's just going to oh, be waiting Lord. patiently. I think they might have an idea that he could be in here. As Chua Kong is keeping an eye out. I want to see Goose versus DX IRL. To come behind Dude. Freak would 1v. Right oh, there's the third knock, are. baby. Get come on, Koops. 1v4 their ass. Now it's all riding on Chua to see whether or not they one v fucking for their ass. Show them that, that you're the best fucking NA player in the goddamn game. They've already had oh, you're, you're, you have NA on your back. Yeah, he's oh, leaving like a pussy. That's what I'm talking about. And it almost ended up being devastating there as they have already lost three players in guess what? Nigma Galaxy smells blood in the water. They I'm know talking that they're about, taking this one done player with the and bullshit. they are full sending it. This is the like, statement that guys. they want to send. You know what I'm saying? Dude, he has that fucking dog mentality. They could be trying to send a statement. If they do end up making it to the main event, they will continue to fight for And Ralph gets knocked. And, and there's again. How does that what? happen? With the third party How does that happen? How does Ralph fucking die? What the fuck is going on here? Nick Galaxy not being able to flush Why are we not pushing as a four man? Are gonna be coming through. They got Dude, a little bit too aggressive. That is like end up paying that is so unfortunate, bro. I mean, Chua might, might Ralph should might have not died. Wait, <laughs> wait, MB might play today. And I mean, they gotta do something Who? because or tomorrow. MB against OKC. His oh. first game back will be against OKC. Yeah, so here we go, our That's actually a gnarly fucking game. MB versus Chess. Oh no, Lord, do not get fucking through. knocked, bro. Ooh, Chua. Lord, trying to don't do it. Position, get the angle, Freak? It is gonna be Nigma just trying to swarm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chua. What's happening? Oh up. my god, he almost got oh, the board. Okay. Chua okay, alright. Alright, alright. Oh, if he got knocked, by the way, both of them died, just saying. What I don't get is. I don't think Coops even Why the had fuck an angle to be able playing? to actually back them up. So it could have been in the back. Right? Like, almost turn who's Freak there? Like, there's Dude, no right, way Freak gets knocked in the back while we're watching. Coops is the best the, fucking CPC player on the team. And, and now the good thing about is after later. three matches, Nick the Galaxy might have possibly gotten this right because they're going to have enough time now to loot, position themselves, and the circle is on their face. Yeah, they got to look to bounce back from that one and come back with a few things to show us. But in the meanwhile, Ralph might be special. Be full rotations being I mean, the I feel like he just didn't know where he I mean, was, but like, Felton if you don't know where he was, to stick together as a team, right? Like, of where but then again, Nygma. like, uh, Royals I can't really say anything. Again, a they're a global team. So Obviously, to like, they'll make stupid Nygma plays, but like, Ralph should have died there. I mean, look at Royals, right? They've got these compounds covered, so if that zone... Coops gets three kills and the rest of NGS can barely handle one player. Yeah, that's, I mean, they do with that fight, yeah, that's really what it looks just like. Just the extra time that they're going to be able to loot, and I mean, how much loot are they going to be able to find? I'm just glad they won with the fight. What's been that going on like with all the fighting that that's been happening there? Some of the other I'm teams might already be setting up. They're going to be passing by, and now Nick Galaxy is going to be game. forced to just kind of push is, out this of this. They're going to have to find a way into that circle. And you were mentioning Wolf of War. Now deciding to back off and go a little bit more center. All the teams are deciding to back off. And just play that center style as Virtua Pro, a team that just hasn't been able to have a great day, currently sitting in last place with three points. This is another team that could benefit for some elimination points. This is a team that could benefit from any points as they're truly oh, w dying. Damn. Yeah. I mean, they've not even had any taste of uh, placement points whatsoever here today. So they are hopefully not gonna lie, a bit of a chance for them this round. Trend. But it's E Team Liquid. Yeah, I'll never take steroids. getting ready to I make a little bit of something happen over here. But I was looking at that at, at the that convergence the update for Sensor Lord. Right? It is life. good to be like the first team there. But if you just get like inundated with so many of, like, other heart teams conditions you can in on your position it is going to become like, a sweat fest so it, it's quick so fast. astronomically high that oh I yeah and then you're kind of doubting yourself you're like okay do we want to yeah i would take sherwoods but it would, would give me some insane acting angle. you start doubting everything that you might want to do as team falcons team falcons is surely not doubting anything they know they have a team here in front of them it's going to be rules of war and they're looking to possibly at least get one knock if anybody gets knocked here it's going to be bad news for rules of war because we know team falcons 
We know what they were able to do earlier in the first area. <coughs> we got some knocks on them. Sorry if you don't they're, like they're my voice, WM7NG, bro. Okay, who I thought, I thought Tonka in the first table was going to end up getting knocked. Yeah, we almost heard a bit of a katunk right on that one. But, I mean, Falcons, I'm pretty sure they shop in their talons after each and every <laughs> year. Because now they're getting ready to cook even oh. more action, getting ready to push on through. And I like the slight distraction from the rest of the team, just kind of keeping that high ground. Drawing the attention what to the, the Royals of oh, the side, but they're great getting fucking very name, close. Bro. I see Knox. Managing to nearly walk on fire. They're back now. They realize that fucking... Somehow surviving that he is going to be getting up, that cement face right there because, boy, that that saved him. I thought that was right on him. I actually thought he was going to get knocked too. But now we're talking about third parties. Team Falcons, they know that they're not going to be able to make this happen. One of the players is currently knocked. I see it's knocked. Is gonna be a top no, your voice here. is low. Do they go for it? What I do you mean? Do I need to turn my? Revive, but they need to be careful with any third parties that they might be lurking. Wait, like around. it's low on stream? But I mean, if you're if you're honest, like Royals of War. I don't know, bro. I'm confused. That they they can hold their own, and so far, I mean, ooh, they're not backing out of a fight. But Zebra Master, I mean, who needs ammo if you just use buggy? Run the opponents right on over, but this is going to be an absolutely essential play now for Virtus Pro because, as you mentioned, they need the points. They've only got three points on board, and they cannot afford to go out at this at this stage. They definitely need those points, and it's him a little bit there of a question of what Virtus Pro was going to be doing. They weren't sure if they were going to be making this push. Now my they're going to be fighting. Mike is here. low Super on Masters. stream. We've been able to yeah, see I what Super Master's been able to do. DBZ is going to be out, and guess what? It's light work. Super Master said, "Okay, you guys want to challenge us? Guess what? We're going to be able to eliminate." Is it better now? Be hello, 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 hello. Go back to being on your. Hopefully, it's much better now. This is going to be towards the bottom with no play. Oh my God, Val, are you doing that? I'm about to finish. Huh? And that is a scary team because tomorrow what do you say? they are in group I B. Said, tomorrow going, can be the boy. last day. So tomorrow they need to have here, big an boy. amazing day and hope and hope that that's enough for the Hopefully that's better now. Not gonna be playing. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty tough one for them. But I like what Zebra there was doing. I mean, you know, none of them in the savannah and Zebra is gonna whip your butt. But uh yeah, let's see what Royals of War do with the Bet. Falcons are attempting yet another push, the full squad. Just holding nice and steady. No Z up on the front line. <coughs> looking to find a bit of an opening here. And this is going to be essential now to see whether or not <coughs> actually get that opening play. Because, I mean, they are just a few points ahead Ooh. of Royals of War. I mean, I say a few points, but it's about, what, 16 points difference there. So they could definitely benefit on just widening the gap, especially going into tomorrow. But this fight is yeah, still going on. Benefit on that, and also benefit it's on out. having to move closer to the zone because now the zone is not on their favor. Now they're gonna have to decide this a little bit faster. And I'm actually enjoying this for Team Falcons. Why they is Tonka playing they're outside? They're gonna be able to bro. knock He's one right there, himself. be able to confirm it, and now they're gonna be focused to the other players that are at the top and try to make this push. This is what I want to see out of a team. Make sure that you know what you're gonna be doing. Make the push for it and be steady with your decision of what. Tonka you're shouldn't have got knocked there, bro. That's troll. They were able to use a lot of the grenades earlier on, and I think that's going to hurt them because mm. now they're not going to be able to throw nades. But it doesn't matter because you got action there with the shotgun being able to switch it back and forth. Damn. To RL, and then on top of Good that, golly, great uh, heavens. That was a clean back. wipe by Falcon. Oh Target knocked. Everything going on and everything going and on. why okay. is Nova Hyper pulling up they this fucking They have the shack. worst positioning I've ever seen in my life. Uh, why are they four stacking this watching? fucking shack? Dude, he oh. can't even nade over the hill. Dude, what are they doing? You can see a little bit of a bench coming through on here. Holy shit. Oh, no. That's our NA team? This is our fucking partnered Jesus NA Christ, team? Chat. Jesus Christ, chat. Let's all pull up to the shack that's the most easy nated little spot in the fucking game. Why are we doing game. this, Oh my god, dude. No one takes an off angle to the other shacks, you know, beside barn. Like, that would be the goaded spot to take. Like, no one's there. Like, oh You know what's crazy, god, too? What, you know what's crazy, too? What is before they even pull up to this shack, they can outrender the fucking compound right above the port. And it... And it got zoned. They can they can outrender the the compound right above NRX from where they were, and they could have taken that shit for free. They could have saw if there's no people there, no fucking cars there. They're fucking. They're they're just. I don't even. Dude, this is actually so sad because like I said at the beginning of the stream, I don't want them to do good, but like 
I don't want them to fucking embarrass our region. Like, what the fuck are we doing? It's actually, like, so depressing, bro. That is dude, like, chat, all I'm saying is I don't want to ever hear anyone say Starlight's a better IGL than me, dude. That shit is actually you so any true, version of me, and I'm a better IGL. Yeah, or if he called for them to pull up, dude, like, I don't know. There's no way he's that dumb. Though. And you know what's crazy, too? Is they didn't even lose oh in a gunfight. Those motherfuckers got naded. Three knocks. They, they, all just, they, all, they all decided to pull up on the same fucking spot, bro. Like, what are we doing? Oh, no. Coop's got naded. Jesus Christ, GG. Who's still up? Lord? Lord? I believe in Lord. I believe in Lord. I believe in Lord. Let's go, Lord. Oh, he died. GG. Nope, he died, buddy. He died. He died. And this <sighs> to be the biggest question mark for me when it comes down to Big Galaxy. As we see an engagement God here, damn it, man. In Navi. We saw what Navi was able to do, by the way. I'll go it's back fine. They, they, they went out with six kills, so they're at least going to be at 21 points Galaxy, now. But let's see what happens with Navi and Super Masters. And they're, they don't have to deal with Super fucking DX landing on them anymore. They're going to be playing Miramar these last two games, and I feel like they're going to do good these Miramar games. I have a very good feeling that they're going to do good in the Miramars. Backing it up, but here we go. Neil Zeta does find a quick elimination, quick point on board. We see Gonzo now just trying to. Shifan's reaction, Nova Hyper is priceless. Bro, I I bet Shifan's saying the exact same fucking thing that me and Six are saying. That is that was the most that was the dumbest fucking thing Nova Hyper's ever done. That's the dumbest play that's happened in PMGO so far. I don't know what the fuck is going on in their brain. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick, but like that's just not a good play. I don't know if they thought that there was only one person there or like what their thought process was, but that just like that wasn't that wasn't just a logical play to do. Oh, what a what a fucking shot from Navi, bro. Ah, uh, he got shot from through the window by Ayala. Being able to spot him, knocks him, and that might be just a turn of locks there for Cybermaster as they could possibly pick up those two. What is it, a 1v1 right now? Yeah, I mean, for Navi, it's now down to Gonzo. Let's see whether or not Gonzo is going to be Gonzo. Ah, uh, one get knocked. Now, continues to fly on through Zebramaster, just mounting. Oh, no, no. Forge, what are you doing? They can still be an opportunity. Oh, you should have your teammate. God damn it. It's going to be Vitsen now just bumping in some nades. You could have picked up both of them. House. So far, both teams now he could this guy's special. He could have picked up both of them. It's going to be a 2v2 if both of them get that pick up at the zone now. Well, Liquid chilling. Slightly ahead of them. That's some case so chilling too. For Team Liquid just lurking up to the north. It'll be another good game for them. Ayala's going to be able to farm the fuck out of Zombie Masters and Navi, whoever wins this fight. Oh, he missed the fucking nade. The second one connects though. Wait. How the fuck is he not not? Oh. That was a perfect nade into the kitchen. Valak, who is Nova, Nova Hyper's IGL? Starlight. Shotguns are coming out. Who is gonna get the first knock? As there's so much more going on here that we don't even know if they can even see each other. They can definitely hear each other, but they can't see each other. My manner is gonna be able to find somebody. He's not. Oh, what a fucking angle from. Antino. Minetti. Oh, oh, they should realize one got knocked. They, they've knocked him before. They know the team number. They know the team number of Navi. They should realize there's only one up. Both teams getting hit, then landing shots, but now it's going to be the hunt down, the chase down. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That's good shit. Good shit. Team Liquid gets a kill too. That's perfect. Shifan hella disappointed and confused. I mean, bro, I literally said this. I said this from the very fucking beginning of this roster. That the, the, the roster that Nova Hyper has right now, like, when I first saw it, it didn't look like a roster that was going to mesh well together. It just, it, on paper, on paper, it looked good with Shifan and FS being from PMGC and then Baton and Capriz are good players. But Baton and Capriz have broken English. I don't know what, what FS's main language is. 
And then at the same time, Starlight's an IGL, and Baton is an IGL from his previous team. So they're going to have fucking mixed communication, right? And it, it, I, personally, I didn't think that team was going to mesh well together, and right now it's showing, because they're doing plays that a normal, a, a, a top team shouldn't be doing, and it's di it, it's very disappointing to see that what, what Nova Hyper is doing. And stop eliminating Why did they leave Arabia? I think their con. Uh, I think Nassar's contract just just ran out, um, so Starlight came back to NA. But like, this is so disappointing from them. This is not how an Iper should be playing. Like, they all are very experienced players, and the play that they just did was very disappointing. Looking to see if they can find a little bit of the action as well. Zero Master, also not a team to discuss just yet. As you can see, Ayala taking a little bit of action here. Going to see what the act what the play now is going to be. Furia just actively moving around. Trying to figure out what is going to be that next best approach to take. And well, currently opting for a 2-2 two -two split. And it could end up working for them, at least in regards to the scouting. Especially when this circle pops up. It's going to give them at least some more to work with. And look how much space they're currently controlling, dude. Too. In regards to Furia, they were controlling all of that northeast. Luckily for them, they're gonna have two players very close to it Artusin and Kayovsky. Damn, they're only Xenox was signed and, and stayed. Uh, Coops stayed as well. Coops is in a. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, yeah, I guess Xenox from Nassar. Yeah. Coops signed to R8. Um, and then J7 spec and Starlight came back to NA. Let's see if Smoke is gonna be causing um, any danger. Speaking of Smoke, so yeah. we've got a lot this of. It's gonna be an interesting fight, though. Here. You can see it's either Smoke Gaming or Falcons just starting to put up as much coverage as they can find. But it's going to be, of course, a little bit of a barrage from the Smoke Gaming side. Yep. Trying to see if they can maybe find an easy pickup now at the expense of the Falcons. Yeah, and I think this is when they slow it down a little bit. Even though there's a lot of smoke going around, they're trying to film each other. You can see Kunha there being very close to action. And I see at least getting some of that information. We do have two other players there from Team Falcons that are a little bit further back trying to get that off angle. And see what next three of players might be doing as well. Because that team still had all four, all three players alive. And they could definitely end up third party in this fight. And here comes the push. Action now making the push. Top. Merced. Making sure that they're within the compound there to back him up. And here goes Action. He's going to be able to spot one. No, he's not. That's his teammate. Oh, I think they Ooh. noticed. Ooh. I don't think they noticed each other. Okay, wait. Right what the right fuck did I just... Crazy because he ends up working now in the favor a little bit there of Team Falcon. This motherfucker action just prone on the balcony. When this motherfucker myth was there. And they just didn't see each other. <laughs> what? I mean, what the... What's going on? Smoke Gaming coming out of nowhere. Oh my god, and they die. Into the side of the I don't know what the I mean, fuck I'm watching, like chat. Gaming, they could be opting for a back -to -back There's game. been so many weird things they that could. has happened they, they definitely could. Gonna in be these first player, four fucking games. And I can't luck. wait to see the rest of the fucking tournament pan out. Chat, if you haven't already, subscribe. I, last time I checked, I was 14 away from 1K. It would mean a lot. First place team, by the way. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I just think Action just didn't realize that there was a guy in squad house. And he didn't look to his left. Because, like, usually a player wouldn't be playing on the left side of the balcony. You would have, like, you'd be playing, like, right in front of you. So, I bet you just didn't clear behind him. And I bet the door, when he opened up the door, it blocked the left side of the balcony. And he just ran. He was like, oh, shit, the balcony's clear, right? So, and he was focused on the three stack because there were two people in the three stack. Locking in. They spotted one of the players there from the Smoke Gaming. One down, two more to go. They're waiting. They're waiting to see if there's going to be a chance. And guess what? Guess who else was waiting? Smoke Gaming was waiting there. They were able to spot somebody and they're able to trade. Now, can they pick up their teammate? That's going to be the biggest question mark. And throughout all of this, yes, Smoke Gaming, you were able to eliminate Team Falcons. But guess what? Not going to lie, have DBS. Uh, you probably might say DBS ruins the game. Because they still have all their four players um, alive. yeah. So it's like yes and no. Um, DBS I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually ruined the, the slow pace, pace um, strategical yeah, thinking I of a game. 
right there with uh, you can see slowly that for very but allowed teams to play more aggressive a bit of something or some which there. is a good and bad now. thing like you want team you, like you would want your team to play aggressive but you don't want to play him like it's a weird aggressive right because the dbs is a broken gun and but it's still a very if you're going into a team fight I mean, no against, really like, let's say you have two teams, right? One team's running full SMGs yeah, and one team's running full DBSs in a CQC fight. Numbers, I'm putting, I'm putting money on the DBS team every single day, just because the gun's broken. If they, like, they did multiple nerfs on the gun, but it's just, it's a gun that they should put into the crate. It's a gun that that should be like as rare as the AWM or you know the fucking the Famox. Like that is not a gun that should be a normal competitive gun that should be in the meta because uh, it's just like you can't compete against it. It's literally whoever shoot whoever presses their shoot button first wins the gunfight. And there's more getting eliminated too. There is no aiming. You don't have to fucking aim with a shotgun. But it is what it is. You have to adapt to the meta. It is just hot heated action all over the place. I mean, whoever moves out gets spotted by all the other teams. You can see Nick Korea now trying to find a little something up on the ridge. Team Liquid trying to spread them. Every PUBG player hates when get wide but by DBS. But we'll use the DBS. Well, when the meta is a fucking gun that everybody hates, like if the meta is a DBS, everybody fucking hates the meta right now. But the only way to like you can't beat the meta, you, you can't beat a DBS with an SMG. It's like like in 99 or 99 times out of 10, you're gonna lose a fight against a DBS if you have an SMG. So the only way to play against or to play against the meta is to use the meta. Like I guarantee you, every single pro player does not like using the DBS. Yes, but the only reason they use a DBS is because it's a fucking broken gun. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially with this, with the shift now favoring Furia so much, uh, you know, they just gotta play this one next level, right? To just I mean, it, it's a it's a fucking like high-powered 14 bullet to shotgun. Ooh, like, but that is gonna be a good stuff. Finding what the fuck? Play up into next Korea. One down, two more to go. It does seem like next oh, let's go. Let's go, Furia. This is the game they needed. Furia's going to win this fucking game. I'm so happy they finally are able to have a good game. Yeah, and it's definitely Furia Esports team to lose. Because at this point, with the way that they're truly set up, a series of events would have to happen here for this team not to be able to clutch this up. They have the circle. They have the advantage. Smoke Gaming is going to have to push out. Who knows how many smoke, smoke, what smoke in Gaming has God left. They've been able to have to fight so many teams earlier. And as we're talking about Smoke Gaming, guess what? Next three are trying to peek a little bit there. There was a lot of players dead from their dead. Good shit, Kowalski. They could possibly require, get a little bit more equipment to their name as we're seeing so many smokes going around. But then Smoke Gaming trying to third party that everybody's trying to go for it here. What is eight zone? Anything as you do I'm not going to lie, Fur yeah, SMK could, could win this fucking game. SMK is more closer to middle zone oh, and a bit of a strife to they have a like I mean, I'm they have a better position, position than fucking Furia. So it's being deployed. Furia. It's great to kind of cover up your position, but it also oh my. If you can't this guy is such a good position on Furia. It's actually insane. If he crawls this so tree, he could just sit there and rain nades on Furia and it's that's going to be it's going to ruin their game. That's a good knock though. Getting out, getting caught out in the open as Ninho gets dropped. Two players left, and this could be the opportunity now for Furia to lock in that winner with a chicken dinner. I really wish Furia would clear the right side. Kunha is truly going to be behind them. If Kunha can get behind this tree, he's going to be. Oh, Gusta sees him. Gusta sees him. But he needs to be careful because they've been able to spot him. And guess what? Now that's going to give a heads up to the other team. So whatever surprise he was planning on doing, yes, you knock one player, but the surprise. Let's go. That's what we needed. Good shit. Good fucking shit. Shit, Adrian. The one that they were hoping they would get the off Come on, Adrian, don't fuck this up. It comes down to miss. Good miss shit. Oh, That's what we need. Just not gonna be able to clutch it. Furia was just too much, way too much this game, DK. With the That's what we need. All right, Miramar. See if NGX can make a comeback on the fucking desert. Play out of Furia Esports. Yep, it was the fast of the Furia just swooping on in, getting them their hands on that winner, winner chicken dinner. And doing so with a very, very impressive performance. What a game! They just, they just asserted their dominance in these last few phases. 
they have. I mean, and this is what we want to see out of these teams that might try to make it to the top eight, right? Try to make it to that top, th the main event. They need to have this type of performances. Furia definitely being able to do it. But, I mean, other teams were able to perform really well. I feel like with Mo Gaming, what they were able to do against Team Falcons. Dude, Juke, that was a bit of a surprise to me. I thought I, I actually thought Team Falcons, it was going to be easy. But, boy, they got lucky. <laughs> I th yeah, I thought they had it for a second. But, you know what? I mean, you see teams just desperate at this time. I think a lot of them are realizing that, hey, you know what? Especially with these groups coming up, it's possible that we don't even see this top eight. Yeah. I mean, it really is. I mean, if the Falcons up with so many points, I'm sure we'll see them there. But uh, for a lot of these squads, we might see them get kicked out. So, I mean, you got to put as many points on the board as you can. You can't let off the gas. And if you see any opportunities, you got to be able to take advantage of it. And I will say, speaking of taking advantage, it's about time we see one of the partnership teams get a chicken dinner here, DK. I mean, it was about time, right? They got to show us why they made it all the way here. Of course, Man. Speaking about showing us, like, I think taking a look at those three to four highlights could also really help in getting all that info. Coops with the right clutch here, fucking three-piece on DX. Oh, God, man. Galaxy it's time for him to fight, fucking heat up, man. But then at the end, oh, it, it just backfired. It backfired for them when they try to make that push. And you know what? I'll make that point again that I wanted to make earlier, but I wasn't able to make it because of all the craziness that was happening within that match. That's still the biggest question mark for Enigma Galaxy. If they do end up having to make that push or crash into a compound, chat. You're seeing not fair. There's 22 of you in here. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. 14 away from 1K, bro. That's a milestone I've been wanting to fucking hit forever. And it would mean so much to me. Like, actually, it would mean so much to me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this fucking uh, live stream. Please. It would mean a lot. You know, I don't like this at all because let's just say they put themselves in that seven. And I appreciate y'all watching, bro. It means a lot. Day for their, of their yeah. gameplay, right? If you are Team Falcons, if you're one of these teams that's on top of the leaderboard, you have nothing to lose, right? You could decide. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, chat. I'll be right back. Main event, right? Yep. So if I'm a strategist going into this, I'm telling my team, we don't want to be near that seventh, eighth place spot. Because who knows, our last day, our last day, last game, they could just literally hot drop us every single game and make sure we don't make it to the top eight. So we have two Miramars left. Honestly, for teams like Enigma Galaxy and some of these other ba major squads that have a lot of potential, you got to make something happen here big time. Yeah, it's, it's starting to happen more and more, too. I mean, we saw it in qualifiers, right? We've also seen it in PMDC when SEG decided to use, you know what, Alpha 7, you're not going to be winning anything here in my country. Mm -hmm. And they decided to target them, too. As we look at the damage draft, but expanding a little bit more there on what you're kind of hinted at, uh, Juke, the best thing for Team Falcons is that if they do finish off this this day playing really well and they end up within the top three, coming on day three, because they're not going to be playing tomorrow since they're in Group A, coming on day three, they know exactly what they need to do to get at least within those top eight. And that's when that big question mark comes down. That's when those, those theories come down that you're kind of hinting at is, if I'm Team Falcons, Enigma Galaxy, Maybe not able to make it to main event. If I'm able to push them, maybe uh, send them to the lobby a little bit earlier. I would definitely do that. All right. I mean, because we know what they're capable of for sure. Meanwhile, look at this. Nick Fury coming up big time there. MVP. Beautifully done right there. Five eliminations, 800 damage. I mean, we're just seeing some absolute frag monsters coming up here, DK. Oh, I mean, kind of ultra going ultra and above. Just pushing on in. You just got to love this, this whole performance that we had for, for the, I mean, the Strangle, it was just so hot. It was just so, so intense. And if I'm seeing it right, it looks like they already played to the three-piece, right? That's what that you see showing there. But so, well. I mean, that is a pretty crazy play, though. And I mean, look at these Elums, though. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Good to see Coop still up there. Top it as well. No surprise there. Mystic, though, from Team Liquid leading the charge so far with 11. That's what I was actually saying. Yeah. Wow, because I'm not Only surprised. You, Valak. Austin had some players up there next to Valak, are you here? Nultra with, with the 10 eliminations, but Mystic, I mean, we just saw Valak. Team Liquid actually starting to put up those my, matches. Am I here? Team Liquid has been able to is get Valak some eliminations here? here and there, but for Mystic, this is great. Hello? Beautiful. Think Chat, are you still here? Lines up Chat, did he hit stream? Getting it done with 17 points, and uh, looking down the line, yeah, as a three man to be able to put up that kind of. Chat, where the fuck Valak at? Pretty, pretty crazy here. As Navi down with three points as well, going all the way down the line. 
And, man, we're starting to see some of the same teams struggle every single game. And D. Xavier just getting taken out in Erangel. That's got to hurt big time, Seth. Yeah, if I'm uh, D. Xavier, you take a bad uh, shit, bro. going into the next Miramars, I'm looking to not hot drop. You know what? <laughs> I got my ego checked already as we look at the overall ranking here. It's Team Fox and Sierra at the top with 48 points. Keeper Master. Keeper Master has been playing so well. And, I mean, if there's two, three teams so six five, five, that nine. continue to perform really well, it's going to be on the teams that are going to be coming into tomorrow. Oh, let me check the scores real quick, Chad. Let me Mystic check them. Uh, because what we are kind of talking about there earlier, DK, if, mm. if you're looking at Mythic, right, if you're looking at Team Liquid, if you're looking now. Oh, the full sleep, bro. How are you looking to finish off this this day? Considering that they're gonna be sitting themselves out, you're gonna be looking for those wins, or you're gonna be looking for consistency. Well, I chat them back. Right, Nick was in ninth so place. Win, Bro, right. this uh, guy. That would be yes. the best. The best way. I said I was going to the bathroom, uh, chat. I didn't go to fucking it's, it's sleep. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna lie though. Chat. While I, I went to the bathroom, I pulled up fucking cheap on stream on my phone. And I watched his reaction on Nova Hyper. That motherfucker was pissed, bro. He was like, Dude, he's like, these goddamn fucking bums, bro. He was like, he was like, what are they doing? What's going on, brother? Oh my god. Hey, chat, by the way, that's our fucking partner team right there. What do we do? <sighs> Fuck. There no teams to shake your head at. Jesus sure. Christ. Uh, yeah, uh, wait, remind me. Uh, Vampire Esports. Boom. Good Esports. Fireflux. Mm -hmm. Aurora Gaming. Influence Rage. Team Kessel. Horror Esports which they've been playing in the qualifier and we already seen what the qualifi qualifier teams have been able to do. And on top of that, they get to watch VODs of this team's playing. And then on top of that, you have Death Wolves. So... Yeah, if you think it's gonna get easier, it's not gonna get easier. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, especially the way we've seen some of these qualifying teams play. I mean, we might see even Death Wolves come out strong tomorrow. Anything can happen. That's why you don't want to leave anything up to chance. That's why I'm so surprised that we've seen so many hot drops here today. I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta keep on ripping it out, right? Hot drops eventually, hopefully, will change. Into Bro is mogging the I viewers. Don't quite know about the hot drops that Six. What the fuck does mogging mean? What I do to you on the daily, buddy. Chat, can somebody explain to me? What is, uh, what is mogging the viewers mean? Yeah, what is, what is mogging, chat? I hope he's not, I don't, I hope that's not bad. I hope that's not a bad word. You know what, I kind of want to put us on the spot here, and I'll go first. Do we think Can someone DX give me the definition of mogging? Maybe. <laughs> okay, I will say maybe, but they have to make sure it doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. only possible, but if they even get the slight, if I'm, if I'm on one of their IGLs right yeah. now, and if I even get the itch that we can get hit, we, we gotta leave. We gotta leave right okay. now. Let's go somewhere else. And speaking of let's go, let's go on over to the main stage for an awesome interview. My goat. My goat, Kowalski. Welcome, I've killed that motherfucker before, chat. Portuguese, and after that, I'm gonna translate to you guys. Uh, três uh, mapas em Erangel, vocês só conseguiram um chicken dinner. E aí eu quero saber o que que vocês estavam lutando, o que que era mais difícil para vocês que vocês não estavam conseguindo encaixar o jogo nesse mapa. Bom, as primeiras partidas a gente diagnosticou que a gente estava muito tempo no loot, luteando dentro do gás. E a gente, consequentemente, bateu nas trocações também que a gente não poderia ter trocado naquele momento. E nessa última partida, a gente sentou ali, conversou a respeito e encaixamos o jogo, conseguimos trazer essa, essa winner aí hoje. Ok, então eu tenho perguntado as três primeiras matches no uh, Arrangel Map, eles só ganharam um chicken dinner. So uh, I asked him what uh, the team struggled the most in the map. So he said about some positions, some safe zones, but they did the reset with the team. They talk a lot with the team. Bro, that fucking video is peak that you just sent me. Finally got the chicken dinner on the Arrangel map. <laughs> so my next He's on me, brother. No oh, shit. A gente viu muitas coisas, vocês muitas vezes no uh, final de safe de muitos mapas. E aí eu quero entender o que estava faltando para conseguir encaixar oh. o endgame. 
Bom, era dar uma respirada um pouquinho mais ali. A gente chegou, igual eu falei, a gente chegou com, tomando gás, miado, e a gente chegou, respirou, pensou melhor do que a gente deveria ter feito, e agora a gente encaixou, graças a Deus, é, é isso. <laughs> okay, my last question was, uh, we have seen many times Furia team in the last safe zone, but they couldn't secure the end game. So why was that happening in a row? And he said the same thing, it's like we had to talk, uh, we are, were not comfortable in some safe zones, we are getting a lot of damage in the, uh, the last safe zone and that um, messed it up. Bro, this motherfucker haunts us awake, that's Six. That's okay, that's Fuck really is he at? Thank you so much for the interview. Muito obrigada pela entrevista. And that's it, guys. And we're back there. Awesome interview there. Always good to hear the players' perspectives here, Seven. Last two matches coming up here. And guys, make sure you go, of course, check out this new update. It is just awesome. So many different options. Treasure lies where the fun begins. Huh, bro. I this like the portal crazy. thing, by the way. I, I oh, yeah. have to mention that the portal thing is nice. <laughs> Dude, that's what's so fun. I mean, to be able to go ahead and just drop those portals, just boom, zoom across the map. Yep. I love it. I love it. So definitely go check it out today if you haven't already. CK, last two Mirror Mars coming up. All right. Mm. Um. We talked about some hot drop situations. We talked. What team in particular do you really want to see come out strong here in the last two mirror marks? I'm not gonna be biased, but maybe I'll be a little bit biased. I'd say uh, Enigma Galaxy, right? I, I want to see. I want to see a play, right? I mean, can I turn up the stream volume a little bit? From my home region. Yeah, so I got you. To see a strong performance come through from their end. So I'm gonna be looking at Enigma. I want to see what they can bring out onto the desert field. Better now. Since we're going by Hopefully. Hold on. Let me get. Let me. Let me get this defibrillator ready. <laughs> Come on, in hyper. Where you Come at? <laughs> Let's see it happen. And hyper is another team for sure. One other team I'm gonna go ahead and pick is I'm gonna go with Navi. You know, Navi have been kind of hit and miss a little bit lately. We know what they're capable of. I think that we need to see a little bit of consistency from them here in the last two games. What do you think about that? Yeah. Bring in Karya. There's so many teams, man. Like so many teams, right? Pietro is so good. <laughs> Oh, so good. Well, let's go ahead and take it on over to a quick break, and we'll be right back. Chad, if any of y'all want to know what college is like, see this? That these are all my assignments for the week. I got ten assignments this week, and that's all I got for the whole week. I only got ten assignments. Shit's so troll. I can finish all of this in one fucking day. Which is, I'm probably what I'm gonna do. After this stream, I'm gonna knock out at least, I'm gonna try to knock out at least five. Um, I'm gonna try it and knock out at least five of these fucking assignments. Um, and it's so troll. I'm chilling. This is actually a really easy week for me. This past week that I just had, Jesus, it was so hard, bro. It drained me of my schoolwork, and I'm actually happy that this week is like, that this week's actually gonna be kinda easy. I've been needing an easy week, bro. It's fucked, man. College has been kicking my fucking ass lately. I fuck with this song. What's this song called? Probably Down, 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 probably. 
when I add it to my playlist. It's such a vibe. Who's y'all's full roster? Should I tell you? Um, it's myself, Juancho, Nate, Zuko, Atomic, and the last player is a secret that y'all will find out soon. He's a familiar face. And I'm happy to have him on my fucking team. Go chat, Miramar. Let's get it going here as we're heading on into the fifth match of the mm. day, and this is a very important one here, DK, because I mean, we got a beautiful playing path. There's no excuses. It's time to put up or shut up. This could. These are some of those championship games, I think, for a lot of these players. Yeah, you gotta dust off those barrels, clean your shoes, and get ready to head straight down into the desert. Get it cooking. And I'm. I, I mean, I agree with you, right? This. It's down to this game to see kind of who's going to be making it up, at least into the top eight for today, right? Tomorrow, um, I think it might become a little bit more challenging, seeing that we've got an additional eight teams that will be joining out onto the, the battlefield. So, yeah, it's I think we're almost at that make or break, at least for these two groups, if, you know, with today's points. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's going to be tough because I, uh, I just hope that none of these teams are, are confident with their place on the leaderboards right now because... Some of the teams that are going to be sitting out tomorrow, they're going to go from being, you know, chilling in, you know, fifth, sixth place, or maybe even fourth place right now, and then all of a sudden they're in twelfth, you know? Mm. So, not a, not a position you want to put yourself in, so you want to get as many points on the board as possible. I'm looking at the map, don't see two, I don't think I see any hot drops. A southern circle! <laughs> this is going to be tough for these teams. Yeah, but I think it's going to be uh, a first come first serve, especially seeing that we're heading further down in towards uh, Tumacera, uh, Minas del Valle, you know, anything that you can kind of get set up ahead of the competition there could definitely pay quite a bit of dividends. Moving in GX and DX again? Phases. No fucking but way they're landing on each other in Miramar 2, bro. No. no. Who knows? It could even still pull up further, right? It goes all the way back into Picado or even into Los Leones. Yeah, it's totally possible. Totally possible. It can definitely I get having two extra right. subs, but why not just on one since main roster usually just play is the main? Is, it's, it's pretty bro, to navigate to. you don't know how many times so it's... Really bro, and, you, know, head that location, maybe you, you to that want to go inside. into a tournament as fast as with possible. as many players as you can each other, um, <laughs> on a Are roster. You kidding me? And that's just pure fact of... I mean, three rounds wasn't enough. If what, what happens like, if something happens with me, right? Well, or something happens to Juancho, to or day, if something happens uh, to two well, of us, right? Two we have to be prepared to and, uh, have people Nygma play for us, right? Because if something happens for two to two of us, happen, you know and Somebody we only have one sub, we'll just get DQ uh, from the tournament because we don't know, have enough players. Uh, so that's why it's so nice to have a six-man roster where you know, if something happens to two of us, we'll have two more players that can go in. And that doesn't mean like having six players doesn't mean all six of us are gonna play it's I mean, it's just it's there to make sure that both these squads can go home. if something happens to anybody yep. on this team that we'll have right? players so, to I play mean, as fun is hot drop that's is, that's the whole reason we have six players i've always like, loved having six people on a roster because uh, you hear that voice crack that was kind of fucking gnarly 
Um, but I've always preached having six players on a roster, just the fact that, that main event. So you know, the higher you, try you have a better team already, connection, you have more players, stage, more more opinions within the team, a um, more perspectives I mean, within a team, today, and you know, it's it's nice to have a bigger be team because you get to talk to more people, you get to have a more social team. You know, it's just. You know, considering the bigger the team is, the bigger right the, the your team feels more of like a family. So these teams That's what I like it. Because like if you just had four people, like it's like shit, man. Like there's only four of us. Where you have six people. Like my team, I have six people. Six, they're like uh, there's six members on the team. We have two managers and a coach, right now, no and we're a we're just, we're, really we're just a big we're just a big family. So like that's no literally like we what we've told each other. Like we're like a we're a family at this the, point. The like galaxy, we've grown a bond from over the hot, years we played with each other, and the lobby, right? we know each if, other's if like favorite like we know each other's favorite food, like what we ate, what we dislike, like. I don't know. It's nice having a big team. And you know, shut down their chances of, you know, shut down us having to be able to deal with them in the main event coming up. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if you look at the law of averages, right? Realistically, the top three from each group could have a really good chance of making it through, right? Just based on points. It's actually fucking um, hilarious so that DX yeah, and NGX are just, just landing on each other the whole playing. fucking time. And I mean, for today, Enigma, for DX, they should be so troll. They are super, super capable. Right? So There's fucking no droll. For them not to sit up in that top eight. Well, we can say that for everybody in this lobby, essentially. But you got to step it up, right? You got to go to the hardware store, go get a, a bag of cement, and then just solidify your position at least at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. The way to do that is to by avoiding hot drops at all. Come on, Ralph. Right hot. here. You can see Enigma Galaxy. Damn, and I only wish to be a sub at that level. Hey, man. Right so much more difficult. Every I grinded my ass off, and you, Jesus Christ. If I can grind my ass off to be in P1, like anybody in the NA scene can grind their ass off to get in P1. Because you know who I am, bro. Like, I am lazy. Like, I am very lazy when it comes to doing certain things. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I don't know. And I procrastinated a lot <laughs> getting into the scene. It's like, <laughs> you know what? And then I finally was just yeah, like, like out of game lock it to what? fucking Valak. You gotta get you. And so, uh, yeah, at some at some point, they need to grind my ass for the longest time to get to where I am. Uh, and I'm not, even, like I'm not even. Like, them, I'm not even like. I'm not even like. Get back in towards zone because looking at how. Nigma currently is situated there. I'm is not happy where I am right now. Really like, I wish I was better. You know? For them to make that breakaway and get towards that far southern side even. But, uh, yeah. Where are the Brazilian like juggernauts? Uh, the way the INF is isn't playing today, and Alpha 7 is invited to the main to the grand finals the the brazilian juggernauts in this lobby right now is furia which is in sixth place team liquid which is in seventh place 9z which is in eighth place and inca which is in tenth place um and then you have smk which is also brazilian third place and you have one more Wait. Nothing too yeah. drastic has happened here just yet. The Royals of War, also curious to see what their performance is. There's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of, there's there's right? a lot of Brazilian teams a, playing a really in this group right now. All right, today you have board. Zebra Masters, SMK, Furia, Team Liquid, 9Z, Inko, like, I wonder what's been cooking on their end today. Only three points in total mm. across five matches. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah, it's gonna take seven. A, a you have seven Brazilian teams game. playing. That's a two games here today. At the end, if they want to stand a chance here at top eight, because I think nine is, is nine Z Latam or are they Brazil? They're Brazilian. Okay. Right? There's not enough matches to really, you know. I didn't know if they're Brazilian or not. That it's impossible to catch. I mean, even for a team, you know, like VP all the way down in sixteenth. Let's say they get a can elimination chicken dinner here, right? Uh. Put them all the way up to like almost eighth place, just like that. Yeah, yeah, and then they just got to clean up a couple games six. So, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what the what the approach ah, is. I lost I mean, six. God damn it, Chet. I say yesterday, but in the, <laughs> day three of the qualifiers, we did see G -G. such a drastic what? shift coming into game five and six. Right, so 
we know definitely a team like the Zebra Masters, they have the capability, but looking at their current positioning, there's no real need for that. I think it would be more just for bragging rights at this point if they were to look to play something like that. But the team slower down that board, they Ooh. definitely got to lock it in. I mean, DX, uh, N Hyper, Insanity, Voters, this is their opportunity to go get those ladders and start climbing. This is a this is a huge opportunity though for some of the teams here at the bottom. You got Insanity who went to that hard shift side, real heads up, nice and early. So they're very centered up in a very dominant position in this circle. You got Victus Pro as well, not in a bad spot. Navi coming in from that edge. Meanwhile, you got Enigma Galaxy because they stayed so long up north are going to be coming down late again. So we'll be interested to see how they decide to play that. But you know what? A nice couple hard shifts down will definitely mix things up for sure where the fuck oh, is yeah. nova hyper at we are as we saw they also still have his cover but a ground but i'm curious to see oh my uh, fucking god i forgot they landed in the top right of the fucking the map of zone. and this zone went fucking south in. that is but a little bit of that they're not, they're not the having a good fucking day right now in as Gonzo i'll tell you what right down to it. i'll nice tell you what god damn it nova hyper is fucking nhp is turned into fucking one hp bro Fucking yes, brother. No, the hyper yeah, in a partner yeah, team, brother, is doing ass, brother. Holy shit, man. What the fuck, brother? Sorry for guessing. Fuck, man. They need to lock it the fuck in, bro. This is game five, and they have 10 points. And they're supposed to be a really good team. Yeah, especially also, they're looking at kind of the position that uh, Virtus Pro now find themselves in. There's, there's quite a few angles playing in eye stages isn't and isn't it like having connections and friends basically how well they can um, adopt these yes angles. and no so the way that my team came together is I mean I got <laughs> I got dropped by my previous team um, bop so I don't know if you guys remember a long time ago I used to play for a a crypto company called Boring Protocol with Fate, Fanboys, and Kais. And, um, I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I did not perform how I was supposed to. Um, even though I was, I was the top fragger for the team, I'm pretty sure, or I was damn near close. Um, I didn't perform how I was supposed to. And ultimately, it ended up with me getting dropped. Um, and that was my first, like, official pro team I played on. Uh, and so... Yeah, I then built a team a with Juancho, Sixless, uh, Solitude, and Russell. Big, big into this and that's the same time that Apex, Apex because, uh, Legends Mobile came out, and I just didn't care about PUBG story. anymore. So tough, tough when, when I was in K19, I just did I not mean, care about the Pro League. Map, right? um, team so after that, I kept the PMPL slot from K19. Right, and then I picked up, uh, I was solo, and I was like, bro, I actually want to take it well, serious. I picked you know up a I whole say, T2 like, team um, called J4F. Of the Many of you know that right? team. It's had that Nate, Zuko, Clown, so Snow, and Trick on it. Teams that are weaker, are and I took that risk. I was the, I'm pretty sure I'm the only, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm the only existing player as of right now. That he's taking a risk with a T2 you know, team. And it's not gonna be easy. now that fucking, yeah. like, those players it's, it's on the team that I picked up, they are coming up Trick, at the, at the Zuko, point, but, and uh, Nate well, are now Heinkel, all top though, players in North America. So I, like, I got really lucky. That, uh, and after I now, picked up J4F, we had a head, fallout, went to TP, played with Nate and Zuko again, with Quan and Chronic. We had a fallout again. Stayed with Nate and Zuko. And I was BX like, you know what, like, we on, we uh, should pick up fucking Wancho, oh, and we should bring going. back Six. We played in Passion oh, Fruit, we did amazing in the Pro right League, and then we realized that myself, Wancho, Nate, and Zuko were a great four together. Uh, we, we all have the same so um, expectations within each other, we all have the same um, goals, and we all mesh well together with our vibes, and that's how our team was made. I really, I took a risk with... A T2 team that I didn't know much well about, and now they're my best.
best friends. So, it's it actually kind of cool, my story, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really, really thankful for the people that I got to meet. Uh, with Nate and Zuko, They're amazing people, Don't and then obviously Wanter is my day one. And he is so lucky he made out of there safe, because that could have been an instant knock in thirst. But unfortunately for Zebra Master, Ooh. that play wasn't able to happen. But they're still not going down. They're not just laying down. They're going out with a fight. Who here. the DBS fuck is knocked out. by Nova Hyper? But Ooh. that there is Two were knocked. Them off, so Team Liquid. Zebra Master eliminated there in 16th place. Where are they fighting at? It's looking good. It's looking good. Dude. But of course, the Xavier not out of the woods, right? Because uh, Team Liquid now so pushing up. And Hyper massive. knocking on the door. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> they have to now just keep rolling with the punches. Because, what are they doing? I mean, we're talking about them needing points. This is the opportunity for them now to secure an insane amount of eliminations. And big boy, do can they use them? That's for sure. You can start seeing... The Xavier, yes, yeah, starting to put it on that work onto N Hyper. N Hyper down to just two. Yeah, this off from K19, right? And, yes. And uh, their backup was against the wall here. It looks very, very familiar to what we saw earlier. Meanwhile, you got Team Liquid right there on the edge. Definitely not something to shake your head at. But Ayala might just leave this to the zone. See, uh, how, how's NGX doing? I wonder if he's gonna call his team who? to try to gatekeep. And, and, still and, and get this fight here like or prioritize the Looks like two of the team and trying to clear the rest. I mean, like Ayala position, I think the gatekeep would make being it. very aggressive towards Ayala Nova Hyper. Just, it just doesn't seem like they can resist temptation, right? Up comes the hit. They do find Capri's one down. Ooh, but the elimination gets stolen by D Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> the Xavier said, I'll take that all day long. Thank you, Ayala. I said, I'd do a check later. That was nice. And Ayala's got that mini out. He's going to see this rotation coming. Now he knows he's in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to take some shots down range, trying to play it safe. Ooh, get beat up a little bit. You can just see him. He instantly turned towards that car. He's like, uh oh, did I make a mistake? Well, Tries first to go for the knock. I think he gets one. He's going to go for the quick so third. Got gets it. Up, Huge but made point up here. Now, now here comes the rest of the team. Oh, 100%. To come help out the I, I gave. Well, like, I'm not taking any credit for this. Really I just, now, Bergen, I took a chance with a team that I didn't know anything about, and they, they proved themselves, you know? know like, it was kind of insane. A team that's never played in the Pro Anaheim League in their first the split playing in PNPL, they made Americas, like, that, that was like, it was a great uh, feeling for them, and they had a blast doing it. From Levis would be huge. If he can make a crazy comeback play, that's that's usually one of those moments. Heard YKG trying to pick up Wancho and take him to another level. Um, YKG has tried to quick. pick up my whole team. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> YKG tried to pick. Uh, wow, uh, what a looked shot. at me. They looked at me, and they looked at Wancho. Now speaking of which, Lauren, this but, is the Falcons also um, going no. up alongside Nick Ria here. Mm -hmm. We we all had a we ought to talk as a team. We want to stay together. So we are. Um, YKG didn't just reach out to Wancho, they reached out to me and Nate as well. And uh, and none of us are joining YKG. And look at this. But this pro now is just getting absolutely bullied here by the side there of Nigma Galaxy. I saw you first playing for TP as a sub IG on Americas. Yeah, I didn't. I was a sub. And TP, um, just the pure fact that I was still focused on baseball, and I was really, I was really like workloaded on college. Um, that's why I didn't play. Yeah, good follow up. Good follow through. But Oh, Enigma. Oh, oh, come on, Coops. Oh, getting a bit of a Got bite enough. out of the pie there. Nice angle. See whether not has two kills or has one. Potentially make up. But and I hyper mean, out again. Just such a controlling position over that of Nigma. Yeah, and you can just see Nigma Galaxy. Uh, uh, both Nigma Galaxy and D Xavier just seem to be kind of one step behind the rest, and that mm. could be kind of like a that that I could see that easily being a result of those hot drops, you know, because mm. you're you're stuck, you know, playing so still for so long, it kind of gets your head in a different space, and then when it comes time to really ramp things up, you could be just one. step Step behind the rest of these teams that have been playing a normal game, warmed up, ready to go. Where's John? Uh, centered uh, up. I think that's what we're seeing there. Cause 
Coops the last one up. From that last push. They a little See bit what Coops can do for the for the boys at NGX. Yeah, I, I I tend to agree with you on the the whole hot drop topic. I mean, doing it once, it's good, it's fine. You get out of your system, but continuously staying there, you kind of bring something else into your into your playstyle at least for that moment there. And I mean, uh, Coops, as capable as Coops is, this is gonna be a very very difficult play to pull off. Especially, you know, hot dropping four games on one of the only couple days that you're going to be playing. Yeah, Coops driving on in, trying to find a shack or something, forced to pop out the vehicle, and it's not looking good. This what was crazy and funny as fuck was the beef between J4F and Team okay. Queso. Sure does it. Man, like good old Team Cheese. Standing up, ready to get good old the Team Cheese. Ring. God damn it, Coops. Unfortunate. Yeah, yeah the, the, the J4F... And Team Queso to, beef to was kind of funny. It definitely was a. It was at the expense it was a of funny period Galaxy. between my but team now, and both Team Queso. The richest teams, right? We are down to our top ten to see who's going to be clutching our very first Murmur. Because like that was my first PMP Americas, and that was my, starting starting that was my to, like that was our whole entire team's first Lord, Americas. Like we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. And uh, <laughs> we started beef with Team Queso, and the whole Team Queso community just sent, like, pretty sure Zuko got, like, I'm pretty sure, like, Zuko got, like, 50 DMs from Team Queso fans, so did Nate, so did Trick. I, I didn't get very many because I wasn't playing, but, like, yeah, our whole roster. Uh, somebody in my chat was talking about the J4F and Team Queso uh, beef. When we are like me, Nate, and Zuko's very first PMPL Americas, when like we weren't doing good, and then we just started landing on Team Queso. And then Team Queso, then Team Queso's fans started commenting on all of our montages, talk, like sending the clown face emoji. Team Queso fucking sucks. That bunch of fucking bitches. Calm fucking team. It's Team Cheese chat. They should kill themselves. No. In game. No. I yes. In game. In game, buddy. Come on. Where, where's your mind at, dude? Where is your mind at? Thoughts on tacos, lovers? Uh, uh, I, I don't have any thoughts. <laughs> to be honest with you. It's a uh, thirty-one, thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-five, twenty-four, twenty-three, twenty-two. I'll stop. I'll stop at eighteen. Stopping at eighteen. Stopping at eighteen. Nice voice, Greg, buddy. Yeah, sorry. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up, brother? All right. All right. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Okay. Seventeen. I started. I started. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Okay. Get it, 10, dude. You can count. Nine, eight, down. Eight, Jesus. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Zone pop, dude. Center zone, dude. I love this. I, dude, I love these zones. Centers up every time, bro. Like it's it's so much like easier to play into zone because you know like kind of where zone's gonna go between stages four to like eight. <laughs> so it's gonna keep centering it, which is very nice. I'm I'm glad that they finally changed it to where like it's not a fucking hard shift every single time. We are going to be seeing Nick Roya potentially pick up a few more items. Nick Roya, though, they've been backing it in. Yo, Cartazone so living on the fucking edge right now, baby. Yes, they have wait, not, been. wait, they yeah. How do you say his name? Cartazone? 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 I think it's, I think it's Cartazone. I could be wrong. He's in a, he, he's in a good spot between a barrel and a fence. Right now, he's just trying to wait for hay bale the fence. Two minutes on the clock to be able to decide. And I'm stuck between a hard, uh, rock and a hard place, or wherever the saying goes. Worlds of War aren't moving a muscle, though. They are very, very content with where they're at, though. They might get into it. An... Why are you so excited? Why is your name I Love Coops, dude? Uh, get off the main PP. I, mean, I don't know. I'm excited because, like, I get to watch PMGO prelims and viewer okay, party with that, with that, with that, with amazing fucking people that watch, you know? Yeah, and an amazing co-host. An amazing co-host named Sixless. What are you talking about? 
Let's go, brothers. Let's go. Let's go, brother. We are going to be looking all across the way up north. Things have quieted down. Dude, somebody special might special, special players, special players. Somebody in my chat was like, uh, or is it that? Somebody in my chat was, they're talking in Shifon's chat right now that uh, everybody's saying in HP, more like one HP. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about, brothers. Our they got them good with that our, one, brother. Our 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 NA partner team, brother. It's not they in can't HP be one anymore. HP. It's one HP, brother. That's what I'm but talking about. But they're never about. one HP because they're always fucking dead. Amazing co-host that just that just woke up from a nap. That's what I'm talking about, brother. It was a banger 20 minute nap. I'm rejuvenated and ready to go. This is a huge opportunity. Special teams, special players, special players. Tuesday, Tuesday, Rebecca. Rebecca! Oh shit, if I actually want to hit that shit. Yeah, we definitely have some type of autism, dog. Oh, I mean, it's gotta be some type of something, fucking, dude. dude I, you just now realized that? <laughs> There's no way dude, normal actually, people are just chat, acting like chat. we <laughs> Me and Six were kind of talking about this, but like, it was just a joke. How, how, how many people do you think would show up to just a podcast? Of me, Sixless, and Juancho. Just talking about random shit. Just talking about whatever chat wants us to yeah, talk about. Whatever topic, topics. Because I feel like us three could come up with some pretty peak fucking content. Let's start with women. No. 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 Uh, Tony came no. to shred with this thing. It's just become such a I don't know how I feel about that. He's a pock he's in the pocket, brother. He's in the pocket, brother. You see the, uh, the thing I sent you on Discord? Yes. I did. He's on me, brother. He's on me, brother. We will make this country great again, brother. Vote for me. Have you have you seen that one that that one fucking uh, what was it that one like uh, clip where it sketches like I'm a one man army Kim Jong Un brother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh god, bro, he has the funniest clips in there. That motherfucker is hilarious. He may have enough time to maybe get one up. The other person's got to crawl even further. But luckily for them, I don't see any. Very good good positioning going into the sixth zone. Has eyes on them, so they might be able to get it. They could take second place, honestly. Yeah. They win this game. It's giving spectrum for real, for real, dude. I mean. If you're not on the spectrum, like, are you having fun in life? Like, exactly. Like, like, do you want to be normal? No, you don't. You want to have fun. I think I should use should start commentating tourneys more, dude. Obviously. Are you kidding me? Who wouldn't want to have ICU commenting? Like. A pe so people's tournaments, you know, like, like what's going on here? Meanwhile, Team Falcons are trying to press the issue as well. But look at this, Furio starting to make that push, and they're gonna have to do it right out in the open. Dude, does Furio win back-to-back -back games? Yeah. Are they fucking yeah. them? So far, they've been able to turn this against the side of Navi. Are they becoming the Furia everybody wants to fucking see? Never mind, oh, fucking Gusta that. gets <laughs> not, bro. Did you? Gusta Le Verge, or whatever the French say. Me Gusta Ali Verge. Dude, I love watching, like, actual competitive tournaments like this. Like, 22 people live, stage fucking 8. Like, this is what we need in NA. We need this. Show me the money. This is a big opportunity for these... Fourth, fifth, and sixth place team. I wish NA was as competitive as turn like this, bro. I don't think I've been in a fucking lobby where there's been 22 people zone fucking eight, bro. Eyes are locked on them right now. They're in trouble. What's up, Joanna? How are you? Yep. But y'all definitely need face cam for all players, bro. Chat. As I was thinking, like on this left side, like right here, it's just like me, sixless, Quancho, right? 
Dude, like, what else can we get? You know? Maybe have, like, a special guest, like, Nate. You know what I mean? Big Nate just pops in. Okay, time to shut him down. Nominal time you got me pretty often silence, but I mean Regnum Garia going rock in a full squad. We've got five eliminations up. Things are looking up and up and I mean they've made it all the way up in towards the top four. I'm I'm curious to see how the Worlds of War are gonna be looking to play this one because he thinks this game six. again this time around just looking so strong. Probably on SMK now. Worlds of War and that is on the coming through from the side of Furia. All right, cool, good talk. I think Six was fell back asleep. I don't know how the fuck he does it, but he just does. I'm right here, brother. Never mind, brother. He's here, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Man, this guy is deadly in the bad man 14. God damn. Get the couple and get the knock. Knock that motherfucker. Reload's gonna get that finish, but Sis, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and keep my eyes on the front. No, go to Adrian. And start to put a little bit more punishment here onto Regnum Karia. Regnum Karia are in big trouble because every single squad's looking at them right now. Yep, positional, positional speaking, yes, they do find themselves in a very sticky spot. I mean, Wales of War now having Nate the Nate can't be on face cam, his whole background before Valko. That's not true. Getting their hands on that me and, me, Nate, and, uh, and Zuko have been on numerous VCs where we all have our cameras on. He actually is a, like, an actually, like, really good, like, Only well, we have the background. He actually has, he has a really good background for like um, a face cam because it's really just a blank fucking wall like this except like there's none of that shit It's really just a blank wall back there Aragod had to hit the floor real quick because smoke was looking right at him from that other angle Meanwhile, you know, try to go ahead and get that nade going Oh yeah, good kill oh, Holy shit oh, Wait, what's your time? Kill. Mine's two minutes the needle right through those tires and What the fuck? Mine's Wait, so was that like a whole minute ahead of you the entire 154, time? 154, 153, 152, 151, 152 Do you count them all Uh, 147, 146, 145, 144, 142, 141, 140 Okay Royals of War. Yeah, Dude, the obviously Bray's team. Are you shitting me? Never mind. So they do seem to have quite a bit of a Actually, I have no idea. It's like weird, right? right? Because like... Be like Chat, make sure you hit the sub button. The they both right have the high ground and they both have the low ground at the same fucking time. Obviously Royals of War. Can you tell me more subs? Got it. Uh, right. So wow, a massive, massive game there. Yeah, did my internet go up, bro? What the heck? I need 12 more sub subscribers, brother, for 1K. Hello. Sub to my channel, brother, if you haven't already, so I can get the 1K. It would mean a lot. So they are definitely making the prelims their own as they are just looking so confident, so comfortable, and of course, packing so much heat out on the battlefield. 14 elimination chicken dinner as well. I mean, these guys are flexing. They're feeling good. Look at that. Mint said, hey, check out the name, baby. I'm ready to get on into the finals and collect some of that big price pool coming on up here. As now, we're going to go ahead and bring a back seven. I know you were watching the game, brother. What do you think about that one? First of all, let me talk about smoke. They all right, sub. Yo, sub, creep. They did earlier when they first got their chicken dinner, and that is pretty much just wait for the right time. Let all the other teams mm -hmm. fight it out, and when it's the right time to strike, they went for it. And also, Ring and Karia, Silas, the, the trigger discipline that that man has, I would have shot so many times and just absolutely <laughs> exposed myself, and he waited for the right time and was able to clutch up a lot of good eliminations for his team. That was brutal on the side of Team Insanity, right? And they had a really good position. Brother, hello, brother. My internet cut out, brother. Out for Silas in the back, just like a brother. Can you hear me? Right, ready to strike. And What's old up, boy, brother? KT, TK. Oh, What's man. up, brother? It, it, it's so difficult to fault, right? I mean, the commitment is just there, the aggression is just there, and oh, we, we keep on seeing surprise after surprise. But you got to give it up though to uh, Team Liquid also finding some. Pretty impressive plays that we've been seeing, at least in this Murmur. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, smoke. They were just smoking this lobby. Oh boy! Ooh. 
Goodbye. One Bye. more game, chat. Does Nova Hyper get more than five points this fucking game? No! Jesus. I'm along the lines of six when your PC get here first. Okay, the first one, you know what? Get it out of your system. I don't know, brother. Okay, Let me check, brother. See if it's up for shipping, brother. All right, now you get the fourth one. Come on, brother. It's not even there go, buddy. It's not even Pachinki. It's now Miramar. You didn't even have to do that, considering where this teams are currently out within the leaderboard. And considering that this team it just says out for delivery, brother. Enigma Galaxy, they're not going to be playing tomorrow. They're gonna when have a day does break, so maybe they have a bit of a leeway, but the Xavier, they are going to be playing tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be their final day of the prelims they need to make sure they start performing to be fair though for dx they were at least able to save face a little bit by getting those five elimination points chat if none of y'all know or knew um for match three nova hyper posted on their uh story that uh they got 14th place with zero points um in match three if any of y'all were wondering and you have to have a um, bronze for last game. And even just then, making sure if y'all wanted to know yeah, how many points they got on match three, it was a uh, fucking game. zero. But especially when you leave, uh, when they did that, uh, um, how many points they need to pass you. Wait, no, that, no, that's game four. Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely you have to because let's go, the brothers. Day, these teams are playing for a spot in the top eight, right? You gotta, you gotta break up that fight. DX, Nigma, it's done now, right? It's done. It, it's been fun, but now we got to see someone hunk it down because, as you said, right, DX, they're going to be playing tomorrow. They're not going to be playing in the last day. So, Nigma could potentially play a major, major upset coming further into that. But, of course, when we're talking about upsets, I mean, Smoke Gaiman, right? Ooh. They've just been playing such an upset here today. They've been crushing it. Two chicken dinners on the day. And look at this. Ninho with seven eliminations in this one. Look at that. Just tapping away <laughs> from long range, keeping those peaks nice and tight and man that is how you get it done there seven yeah it is and to be fair brazil overall the older brazilian and teams what's that now four as we're going to be going into an interview dinner winner from smoking game we have here <laughs> yes <laughs> okay um na 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 Fine, what kind of face cam are you using, Valak? Uh, it's called AM Quest. Has a bit of fish eye lensing. What does that mean? What is fish eye lensing? Hey, Creep, what is, uh, Creep, what is fisheye lensing? I'm actually looking that up. Maybe you like boys, Valak. Okay, you like he said he's not focused lenses. on uh, kills. That's funny, because he got seven eliminations. But he always keep on mind that he needs to lead his team because he's the captain of the team, so he open the map and lead uh, the team throughout <laughs> the whole haven't uh, kept up with PUBG and com uh, since last PMGC uh, is in hyper still a contender or not fuck no hyper is never a contender it's kind of look it's kind of round looking on the edges oh yeah 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 it's then it's a fish lens because like if i go over here it fucking curves i go over here it fucking curves wait I did that the complete opposite way, but yeah. Awesome. That's why I like, like my lenses, like, so like, um, my actual camera like sticks out like even more. Um, but like, I trans, like, I transform my camera to like, put it in so it's like, it doesn't look like, you know, like a fucking fisheye, but it is what it is. It works. I deal with it. Right now. What team do you think is the biggest enemy? You don't have Bojangles, Val? Nope. I don't have Bojangles. I have Raisin Canes. That shit's gas. I'm about to raise your canes, buddy. I'm about to cane your reins, brother. What am I talking about? Muito forte, né? Te desejar. E é isso. Eu tinha uma palavrinha aqui, ó. A gente é iluminado, ó. O cara lá de cima escreveu, viu? É nóis. 
Uh, wonderful. He said the Team Falcons for sure is one of the biggest enemy, but also the Brazilian Six, what's the new specs? PC specs looking Ford, like? So they um, are one of I'm the telling you this right now, he doesn't fucking know. Um, right Thank you so much for the I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know anything about specs, but... Uh, I don't know anything about specs, but he did me, everything for me. He sent me a picture of it and uh, oh of what his specs were. And I'll tell you this right now. Motherfucker got a damn good to PC. His to PC has seven fucking fans, bro. My PC has four. This motherfucker got seven. Just, just by knowing how many fans he had, I already knew he was gonna have amazing specs. Bojangles is alright. Don't you ever disrespect Bojangles by saying it's alright. It is peak S tier. A bunch of misfits from Brazil that have been playing for a very long time, as I was saying earlier. Smoke and gaming in first place is kind of crazy. And they are surprising in a very big way. Hey, I think the Galaxy moved up one whole spot. I'm impressed, man. I kind of want to continue to see more of this team because they're just playing it so well when it comes down to the end of the matches when they get a chicken dinner. 100%. I mean, like you should right also now, play DayZ. Very, very it's a great game. game. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so I'm gonna really let you know this. Uh, Six even game. knows my experience I mean, in DayZ. Every single time I fucking play this game, this last Miramar, it just because they it doesn't end up well with me, and I start yeah, just I losing my shit because there's too many fucking zombies, and I usually just get eaten alive, and then I get left behind, and I'm just I just get fed up with the fucking game. Dude, six we gotta do Project Zomboid six, streams again. Six has tried to make me play. Wait, no, that's Project Zomboid. That's not Daisy. I've never played Daisy before. Project Zomboid's the game that I fucking get tilted. Project Zomboid is peak, right? He begins. Six you get and smoked Juancho, and it's funny as fuck. Six, Wancho, and Jagger are always like, "Oh, you know Project Zomboid." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Like a fucking idiot, I am. Every single time, I just get touched by zombies, bro. Honestly, for this team, I think they probably not the greatest word choice that I just said, but a mixed bag. It I die really every single time. But they are able to switch it when they need to switch it, and it's that's fucked. What's so impressive, and that's why I'm kind of. Dude, I'm not actually get product up when I get this. No. This match Fuck because, you. Yeah, they can be very passive, but as soon as they see an open, uh, no. they take it, and that's something that we usually tend to say a lot Maybe. of the other teams lack. But this is right now. They're they're showing why they're in first place because they do have that switch. They are able to make that play when they need to. Hundred percent. You know, speed of your plays, of course, guys. Go check out that Realme 12 Pro Plus. Elevate your photography experience with 120x super zoom and performance in games. Make sure you guys go check it out as soon as you possibly can. Dude, they just fucking showed Santa Claus on the fucking stream. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn, what a fucking flashbang. Jesus. What's up with the white right, screens, man? I'm getting like day, epilepsy not watching not the fucking day, stream during the, guys, like, between the game. I'm an epileptic here. Dude, what? I'm an epileptic. <laughs> I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, we're gonna see who's gonna win it. Guys, go get yourself some drinks. We're gonna be right back. Yo, Cyberpunk is on sale right now. What the fuck? So what's prelims? I see you in it. Uh no, this is PMGO. Um the qualifiers were were about two weeks ago, but they were all on Brazilian servers. So we were just playing on two hundred MS the entire time. And it wasn't a great time. I think we were like 15 points away from qualifying for the tournament. And just had some unfortunate games with ping and some disconnection issues. But we really weren't stressing about PMGO. Um, we just want to do good in PMSO qualifiers for NA. Last game, chat. 200 ms sounds super fun. Oh yeah, dude, it was a, it was a fucking blast. I love getting desynced with a fucking DBS, dude. That shit was fucking peak. You know what's up, brother? I'm getting fucked in the ass by a DBS. Sorry for cussing. What's you know up, what? brother? You penetrated me. 
I don't understand now this format. How does it work for PMSL? All right, so each, every single PMPL region got changed into a PMSL qualifiers, right? And so now um, they finally, chat, we finally got fucking um, PUBG Mobile's franchise now. You hear me? We're franchised. The game after six years, finally a franchise scene. So that means that there's gonna be that there's partner teams now where PUBG Mobile pays the orgs to pay players, right? That's how it works, um, and that's how to keep orgs into the scene. Um, and so now each region has a certain amount of partner teams that are automatically qualified to every single LAN international event um, for their like international regionals. Um, so that means like. PMPL Americas is now PMSL Americas. Um, and then there's PMSL MEA. There was PMSL SEA. Or wait. Yeah. And there's. Yeah. And so now PMPLs. So like PMPL and A is now PMSL NA qualifiers. And the top three from PMSL NA qualifiers will go to PMSL Americas, which is in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and will play in a five-week LAN tournament uh, in Brazil. And then the top four teams from PMSL Americas will go to the PUBG Mobile World Cup. Um, and that's like the eSports Olympics, basically. Um, and so there's a lot of new tournaments crazy format new opportunities big orgs now entering the scene um you know you like any team that is now in the scene has like something to fight for go. and look forward Final to um and so like it, it, it's a really like they they opened oh, up a whole bunch of opportunities for teams about it you know that there's some there's different groups here we have some teams that are not going to be playing on the last day of the prelims so they need to make that point buffer as big as possible and you know one team in particular Dalek, that's what's up really gamer tech how are you smoke two chicken dinners on the day looking good my question to you is though hot drop number five baby are we gonna see it i hope not man <laughs> i'm all for hot drops but i hope not like Somebody we have to go to Brazil for like, PMSL yeah, yeah, on real know, time. That, that, that oh yeah, yeah. So that uh, that's cool for um, like PMPL for like the PMSL and A qualifiers starts PMPL April nineteenth, first one ever, and it goes all the way till April twenty eighth. They need to snap out of it, um, especially with with how well. Like, and then the top three teams from PMSL and A will go to PMSL Americas, which is in Sao Paulo, it's Brazil, like and they will play boxer, from like get punched in his stomach to kind of prepare May twenty second. You know? To however fucking long point, five weeks are too many punches I'm you're like sure. is, this, is this helping you you know um, like so yeah. is this really working right now and uh that's what that's what it kind of feels like you're just seeing just these guys really putting themselves in a bad spot like your beautiful zone here on the last yep. miramar of the day you got El Pozo still in in play i am looking i see nigma galaxy outside of the plane e xavier where are nowhere you near. nowhere near Good. they're uh Southeast of El Poso, they're currently trying to land over there. So they're nowhere near. And this zone might actually end up benefiting the Xavier as well. So we could have a turn of events here. But as you were saying, Chad, it appears Sixos has left me. So it looks like I'm going to be. Oh my God. Nova Hypers killing fucking people now. But Caprice gets knocked. No oh shit. What is FS going to do? Can Baton get there? Caprice is knocked and thirsted. It's not enough. Baton has a kill. And if they continue like this, I don't see Baton has a Navi member above him on the three stack. Starlight across the street at the two stack. And FS on the second floor of the yellow two stack on the balcony. Overwatching Baton. How is Baton going to play this out with Gonzo on the outer wall? And P6 above him. Tune in to match six. If it's not one team, it's another team, Jukes. Oh, that's tough. 
I feel like that's a perfect picture. I'm assuming you have to pay for everything or will any no PUBG Mobile will sponsor the the teams that qualify to be in South America. They've been playing a different game than every single team all day long. You know what I'm saying? And and it's really hard to get out of that mindset when you've been literally pretty much gate kept on this hot drop all day. You've been forced to sit, wait, you know, play very methodical while everybody else is playing a normal game of PUBG Mobile. These guys are doing something different. So when they finally get back to what normal feels like, boom, they get busted. And it's just everything. It just feels like it's going wrong at this point. Yeah, and it's just for, for everybody that's currently watching. In case FS Baton it, pushing to the second floor. The They're on the staircase getting ready. They don't know Gonzo's below them. P6 has a DBS. Oh, I mean, it involves they're, they're trying to push P6. Oh, Starlink from across the street knocks P6. Gonzo knocks FS. Can Gonzo kill Baton? He has a pump. Gonzo cooking an aid. And he's gonna be throwing those smokes, and it is gonna be a one. Ooh, oh, nice. and Nova Hyper win their first wow. team fight today. Oh my God, they did something! Holy shit! That was ahead of them. They need to make sure they keep it. The NA partner team finally decided to kill him to actually win a team fight. Holy shit! Considering what they've done today, so they they still need a monster game here at the end. They did lose one player. I will say, if you're going to make a sacrifice for, for only one player early, you know, if you're going to do it, that's the most you could possibly do. You're going to have to make it still happen as a three-man, though. you got to get to that end game and put some more points on the board because otherwise, you're going to be going home right after this. That's for sure. Yeah, and for Hyper, I mean, that fight did end up taking place right outside the zone. Luckily for them, the zone is fairly close towards the north, so they should be able to try to make their way in there before they all of that closes because if not it's gonna be a super hard rotation for them Ugh. we'll kind of show you as we do end up getting the map Wait, in hyper lose two people point, smoke smoke gaming ends up losing a player too i'm not sure to who but you can see them one eliminated and if i'm uh no, Hawkins, still three if i'm zebra masters i'm like okay whoever that is please keep it going stop them from getting more points we want to keep it close yeah definitely we want to keep it close Ugh. Man. Chat any predictions on who's gonna win the last yeah, game? The, one of the top squads here in the lobby. The most I'm gonna call it now. This is an NGX fucking W. Looking good, having so much real estate. The Xavier are gonna lose. And Hyper needs time to build synergy. Take it easy on them. The no. Map, El Fuck no. This Why would I take it easy on them? Sure. They're an NA partnered org, bro. Loot wise, but losing that player, man, that's like, gonna hurt. Like so far, like their day. That, like what, earlier, what do you like, What do you want me to do? Like. You know, one of those days, like, they've four, had they've, re they've already stubbed their toe twice. You they've know? had fucking months players, to build like, synergy, bro. Like, like this isn't this isn't fucking. Them, you know? Oh god. It's just like, like every they've had months. They practice forever. When you have this is the happen, only thing that they should. The only thing that they should have their like mind that, on when they, they wake up is how do I improve my team's gameplay. That's the only thing that should run through their fucking head. Eat, sleep, play PUBG. Go to bed. These squads. I mean, they made it this far. But something has to happen, right? You gotta have one player be like, guys, we gotta shake this off. We gotta make it happen here now. Even though we have three players, we got a lot of loot. Like, let's make the best of the situation. Yeah, and I mean, we heard kind of DK talking about something it earlier is that we what haven't it even is. mentioned as much, and that is how the the players' mental state is gonna be after this first day, right? They, a lot of the teams didn't really know what they were getting themselves into in regards to some of the other players. But the Xavier, for them to be a fifth place team on PMGC of 2023 Ooh. and currently be performing the way they are, I feel like that is uh, one of, if not the biggest disappointment that I've seen so far of these PMGO. And that's why we're kind of hoping that they'll be able to bring it back. They're not going to have a day off. They're going to be playing tomorrow and they need to at least set some What's up, brother? Snap themselves out of it, not just with five LMs. My internet cut out, man. Five LMs earlier. But we need some of those placement points as well because right now, I mean, if we look at their standings, the first game it was solid. We were like, okay, Hello. all right, the X Savers. Hello. Hello. Oh, welcome back. Dude, the internet said fuck you, bro. Dude, Nova Hyper won their first team fight. But, but, as soon as they fucking exit, Valet Mar, INS takes out fucking Baton. And it's wraps for Nova Hyper. It's only Starlight and FS left, bro. Holy shit. What's your time right now? 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 
14. 49. Can I stop counting now? Or do I need to no. Okay. Fucking asshole, bro. You could have just said, okay, good. Keep going, keep going. No, no, no. What, what's the oh, time? 31, 30, 29, 28, 27. 26, yeah. 25, 24, 23, 22, okay. 21, okay. Jesus Christ, I thought I was going to count down to fucking zero. Like, <laughs> I was going to let you through. Taking fucking time bomb. At zero, I'm going to go boom. You know what I mean? Bang. Chat, he's reminiscing of a certain date. No. In 2001. Whoa. Okay, dude. What the fuck? Chat, this is why we can't have nice things. This is literally why we can't have nice things. Bullshit. Let him cook? Yeah, let me cook, dude. Let me cook. No, no. I, why would I ever let you do that? <laughs> let me cook, dude. Yeah. Inko Gaming up there too is one team that I was kind of expecting a little bit more for them. They've been consistent on being able to get points every single match. But uh, if we're talking about teams that are one for six less is intrusive belts up, factual. This is one. Leg me galaxy. Why wouldn't I? Performance out of them, and now they're going to be going up against another team that definitely needs a good finish, which is in hyper. I'll tell you what, though. I know that their uh, their team colors are blue, but I'm sick of seeing this team in the blue zone at this point. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I mean, they're just constantly having to come in and push in from the edge. INS, so good spot. At this game. Yeah, yeah, they definitely you know, got zone. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Lord taking out FS. It's only Starlight up. Let's go, brother. Let's get those kills, Lord. Fuck I mean, them trash-ass bitches. I mean... I don't know. I don't know how many matches it's gonna take for Nova Hyper to realize that they need to play as a team. Holy shit! I don't know how many more games for Nova to realize that they are not good. Just like VP, bro. Holy shit, dude. I'm trying not to be. Bro, I said 25, 30 points if they had a good game, and they ain't just having any good games. I'm missing. They're gonna have like. 20, bro, which is what I originally said, actually. So, wait, maybe my first instinct was correct. But at this point, with the performance that they're currently having, I, I don't think this team is quite ready for that yet. I don't think they were ready for the PMGO. Hey, I'll tell you what, speaking of snap, dude, she You just hear Seven Worlds Gaming? Nova Hyper is not ready for PMGO, chat. They were not ready. Let's talk about VP, too, bro. The three points is kind of embarrassing, no? Yeah, that's actually crazy because they're pretty fucking troll, bro. It's not impossible. That's actually worse than the women teams in that one league. But this is one of this is gonna be one of those. Oh God! Right? Where you cannot play the same game anymore. You have to realize we're playing catch up. Let me find that tournament, bro. Where that shit at? Bro, Nova Hyper had such a good game, and then they've had zero fucking point games. Such a good first game, and they just went fucking downhill. One group sketches it out. Sometimes we're able to say, okay, you know what? Well, in this next group, we might have teams that aren't as aggressive. So we might be able to get away with a little bit more things. But with the group that's coming in tomorrow, Vampire <laughs> Esports, Foot Esports, Final Floors, like all these influence rage, all these teams do tend to be aggressive. They won't give you an inch. If they see you making a mistake, they're going to capitalize on it. So that's why, especially from my end, I'm trying to get the urgency out of teams that are towards the bottom that might have a chance at making it but just are having an awful performance. And then you have other teams that are really, really having an awful performance, and that's Virtus Pro. They're truly, after five games, only three points? That's insane. That's insane, yeah. And, uh, I mean, someone's got to be at the bottom of the leaderboards at the end of the day. Uh, yep. but, you know, hopefully they like can that. make... Yeah. Bro, I bet if I played solo and just happen. stood yeah, in the in same place, I'd get more than three fucking points. Tomorrow, right? There are some oh, monster yeah. squads, <laughs> right? Yeah, like I mean... It's gonna get I don't know how the crazy. fuck they only so, ended up with three points in fucking six games, bro. Inco Gaming, right? They were able to sneak Jesus their way in Christ. to this stage team. through the qualifiers. They had a little yeah, bit of trouble. Points, we bro. know what the squad could do. You're so averaging. In that you're that's it, brother. I'm you're touching you. As of right now, if they ended the game with three points, you're averaging half a fucking point a game. That is terrible. Quickly and get with the team. Yeah, and with Inco Gaming, I think the main excuse for that team right now is that they it is pretty much a brand new roster. A lot of the players ended up going. What we think in six? Ended up staying. Uh, you think moment, uh, I feel like Inco is Nova Hyper will make some fucking roster changes in four PMS or all Americas? Year, they're always qualifying either last, no. barely making nope. it in, uh, or just barely shit. missing out. And I, I feel like today we're starting to see that Inco once again. It's just a pattern. VP just happy to be there. Over and over again. They're just, just happy to be alive, though. They're just existing. Right, they're just, they're just there for the vibes, dog. Happy.
if he actually did as he continues and then in a get end up getting knocked by team uh, falcons too that's so what much I was action about. going on here on this early mirror market too that's what i was worried about and i was trying to hug and try to get some loot quickly but at this stage, i just think some teams forget sometimes that you gotta give it up you gotta just realize that you know yep. what this is not the position like even my team does it sometimes but like you know even uh, though my opinion like really doesn't really pro holy fuck my words so even though my opinion really doesn't but matter knock, i think some teams like take the game you could like you're supposed to take the game serious but i think some teams take the game way too I mean, fucking serious and forget and to have fun sometimes as well um while they're playing their milky way in the background and hoping that he can like his team at least my team's done that a couple times where like we take it too serious and like Actually, all like, the points that we fucking you know, fuck up in a match and like we realize, oh shit, bro, I'm taking this way too seriously. If we have fun, we play better. Like, we're all in good moods, you know? And they were able to pick up Nedebete there from Eco Gaming as they're now trying to get some shots there on Smoke Gaming, a team that has performed so well. Oh, all got I, I hate MVP. that shit. I'd rather. Who, 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 who is there? Full serious action. I mean, how about finishing off great because you have had a great day. Continue on that consistency. Smoke Gaming has been able to do that. Action or the one dude from SMK, I can't remember his name. Yeah, let's see what happens as Cops got that deadly mini. He's just looking to apply some pressure here. Uh, question: Do you think that? It, ooh, do you think if Pop gets how many knocks did he need to get to push? What do you think? On who? On to <laughs> smoke. Smoke? Uh, I'll be well, honest with you. I have I, no I, idea who has I, what, really how many kills, Phoenix. So I couldn't even fucking tell you. The, they, take I don't think VP is doing much of either. Even yeah, if dude, I think they're just there, you know. Gaming is so close to them. I think they're just. I tell you right now. Themselves open for that third party. I don't even know. That, what the, test, that is a fucking the gnarly point split point that VP has going, going though. No, forget that. I mean, that's what I love about these. They teams, could like, pinch I and S and get four kill so KPs. Right? We see. Yep. These stars got this. I've never seen them not do this before. I've never seen star not do this before, bro. April Fools. April Fools, loser. Die, star. I've never, I've never seen star not clutch this fucking game with twenty kills, bro. Oh, April Dude, fucking whoa. fools, brother. I don't know what he, I don't know what I'm talking about, brother. <laughs> Dude, chat, make sure to drop a sub to Valak right now. I don't like on the stream. Chat, I'm so close to 1K. It mean a lot. We mean a lot. He said he's gonna twerk on stream if you can, you know, get the 1K. I just said I was gonna post a thirst trap on Instagram. No, on Twitter. Yep, of you twerking. Of you twerking. That's another team that really hasn't been able to do no, much. you twerking is definitely a third shot, Doc. Dave versus Pro, maybe? Oh, could this be? They already got an extra point. They could double their points here. Star is actually good. On this trend, at least for this uh, match. And I, I, this might sound I mean, like he was good game, with could actually double their points. J7, Speck, and Xenox because, like, um, uh, they, they played together for a Close full one year one more. and had a lot of practice. So, like, nice. obviously, they got the Man, build synergy, uh, but, like, need a monster in Hyper, but was he good or did he have Speck and Xenox? That's the real question. I mean, yeah, then again, Speck and Xenox fucking. And J7 like, carried that fucking team. Like, we're seeing how he's doing in a worse lobby compared to what they were playing in with, yep. you know, teammates closer to his skill level. And not the two or two of the top three players in A's, you know, ever had, really. They just, I don't know. I don't think they really took time to build a very good competitive team. They kind of just threw players together. On just being and aware, just expecting being something to happen, and making sure they try to cause some damage into all their teammates. We saw that they're out of them currently. For them, they have two eliminations, and guess what? They're trying to make Inko's game like, push and rotation. In all seriousness, the and they're doing just that. if In Hyper wanted to build a contending team again, super wide and try to get what they should have done what and what should have happened. Is when Nassar dropped J7 spec and Starlight, and all three of them decided to come to NA. They should have stayed together as a team and played for Nova Hyper, and then picked up another Fragger to replace Xenox. That's what they should have done, but they didn't. What team would you say has surprised you the most? Rollers, Omegalo. Like, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So so far, it's it's a good sign. You know, they didn't lose a player early on. I think this is the first game we've seen all day. And I per has that seventeen. All players up in mid game. So let's, see. Uh, let's, let's go. The, finish the day with seventeen. Meanwhile, 
It's like 3.1 really per really game. Impressive. Team Falcons. Or just like 3.13. What is Vertis Pro Derby? That is not the team what, what, that you want to fight at all. Right? Run for your life. 3.14? 5? Look how quick they were. 3.15, right? Back, so they, they were very spread out, and as soon as the shots yeah. were coming in, they kind of communicate the synergy between this team is just on point. Team so Falcons now under siege. 3.25. Possibly finish. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. Wait. Nope, hold on. Wait, just do 13 divided by 6. I'll do that real quick. Calculator. 13 divided by 6. They got two, they averaged 2.1. Point, two point Where did you get 13 from? It's 17, brother. Oh, 17. Shit, I was looking at the fucking... 17 divided by 6. Yeah, 2.8. I was looking at the 13. I didn't. I, I forgot about the four kills on the right. Like nobody's business. So, Virtus Pro, you have to make a play right here against the top team in the lobby. Chat, Chief on chat. Oh, they're doing just that. They're Chief on chat is talking about replacing Star with the better IGL, and Chief on is talking about doing that. All I'm saying, Chad, is... All I'm saying is if Shifon was playing instead of fucking Starlight, shit, shit could change, man. Shit could fucking change. Fly Shifon out there, man, for day three. Uh, I've been saying Starlight's overhyped, bro. He just had two god-tier players carrying him, like... Jesus Christ. It's like Alucard and PK, bro. And then once he went to the other team, he could even make top 16 in a... It, it, it's these... It's yeah. just how it be. It's the... Yeah. I've seen this one too many times with Juicy. God damn it, I've seen this, Ricky Bobby. One too many fucking times, brother. Yo, Knox, could you actually, like, I'll unban you on one of my socials. Can you actually send me a clip of, like, Chief on talking about that? Cause that shit would be peak content, bro. Ended up finding some more players of Virtus Pro and, uh... That double down might Just not tell happen. me like what social media yeah, platform to unban you on, and I would love to see that clip. Some good performances. Love you, my brother. This team can definitely get eliminated. Back in my day, when I when I saw Alucard, that might end up making it to main event. Teams that will perform good if they make it to main event. I want to hear their comms with their language barrier. I mean, bro, it's literally. And it's literally Capri's talking to Baton, and then Baton relaying it to fucking Starlight. That's what their comms are, and it's Starlight talking. And that's not a position they want to be. I'm pretty sure Capri's can understand English. He just can't speak it well. It's gonna that could lock their position down because. 9Z have really good angles on their Chiffon spot. said they now only picked him up because of experience. Yeah, there isn't really know. any other experience IGL and NA. He said he tried about Baby Tang. He said he tried out Baby Tang, but Nova Hyper's coach said no. You know what's crazy? Chat? You know what's crazy is that the Nova Hyper coach is most likely racist and will only want Asian IGLs, specifically Chinese. I mean, I'm not going to go that far, but you know what's crazy is... They're like, they could have picked how my I wear this. In hyper reached out to me, and they said they wanted to try me out, and the coach wanted to try me out, but the fucking team said no, and I was like, okay, well then, no point, you know. They don't want your cracker having ass. You like, what, boy? It's like Jesus Christ, man. At least give me a chance, man. Oh, oh, here comes the push up from 9Z. Two vehicles out. Can Icy hold him down? He does. That DBX. So it's just strong. sad because Nova Hyper could have picked up like a team like Extreme Slayers, my team, YK fucking G. You know the three teams. That have like that have been solidified, or what they could have done instead of pick, instead of keeping FS and and Starlight, what they could have done is if they really wanted Baton and Capris, they should have just picked up the whole fucking Titan roster and brought in Crone and Dorfin and just had a full Ukraine roster play for for Titan. That would have been probably better if they wanted Baton and Capris. They they. That's the only way you they could have just picked like, up Crone and Dorfin as well. And just take um, them out instantly. Yep. You, they they could have built a way better contending time, roster. Like, it's like they don't go down. I don't They're I don't so know crazy. what their their go their goal the was. So quickly. Their um, of each other is I like, heard that they wanted to build a team out, around first first FS. Otherwise. And if I mean, FS is supposed to be the, part, right? the player that the team is getting built around, I don't see him performing. 
So but sometimes, even if you see an opening, you, you got to figure out who you're messing with. If you're Team Falcons, they're like, okay, I mean, if you want to bring it, bring it. You're just going to be giving us free eliminations as we go over to Kane here from next. Ruya trying to spot some flares from DX. Good to see DX still alive. They got to oh my that alive a little bit more if they want to be able to start getting some placement points here coming up soon. And with yeah. the circle, the chat the is telling Shifan to try out. Wait, the chat is telling Shifan to try out Shifu now, and Shifan told them to tell Shifu to DM him. So now three different languages in in hyper. I, dude, at, at this point, in hyper is a loss. Bro, drop the fucking roster and pick up a team, dude. Just pick up a team. In hyper needs to get over their fucking Chinese bullshit, where they only play Chinese kick players, bro. Pick up an actual roster, dude. You're making the scene look like a joke even more. Literally. Your fucking Chinese NA players fucking suck, dude. Like, hopefully they can turn on that aggressive switch because they definitely need to. You're gonna stay with your, you know, Chinese-based players. Pick up some foreign players and fly them out. And fly, them, actually, fly them out. Don't just let QZZ play from China on 300 MS. Let them have the regular MS so they can actually cook everyone. And actually be good. You'll have a lot of extra room to work with for yeah. uh, Team Falcons if they're able to clutch this up. I think they're this is just Nova's always had I this problem. Falcons, said you knocked one of our players, we're taking you out of this tournament. Ever since they joined the Falcons. Team? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you? You came at us in a, oh, a two-seater vehicle? You didn't even bring the whole squad? You brought two? Oh, so you man, there goes one player from 90. It's just the inevitable. It's about to happen. He's going to be able to confirm that one, and guess what? The other one, it's going to go into hiding mode. And Team Falcons are like, this is a smart play though, right? Back up. Oh my god. Figure out where everybody else is at. Figure out what's the next move instead of chasing. Well, sometimes we'll see just so many teams just deciding to chase that they get a little bit too uh, blood hungry. Right, that's what I'm saying. They're like cats. They just go in and out, in and out. Like they never make a misstep, right? You're right. You see some team, they're like, oh, easy knock finish. Let's just you know, push. That's a, you know what's they funny is that's actually like, funny no, as shit, chat. That uh, before we decide to that Shifan's literally blatantly like just really saying fuck players. Starlight like and, while he's watching, and, and, and so yo, let's look for a different IGL. So crazy. Like that I'll shit is fucking that hilarious. Ten eliminations so far. Uh, that, 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 that shit is a fucking ah, uh, that is peak, chat. I fucking. I literally been praying on No Viper's downfall, and I knew this team was not gonna work out since they fucking won, and seeing it not work out. Since they fucking won. Just to work with too. Like, bro, like, what is going on here? Smoke, smoke GG. Route, which is pretty much just let everybody else fight it off, but uh, that's not Team Falcons. Team Falcons is going to be looking to uh, cause some damage here. I love this. They're clearing their backs off first. This is the thing that they need to do. This, you know what? It's oh, bro. Shit is simulating? Yeah, yeah, I mean, bro, it is. I mean, it, it's crazy because... Exactly where to look. And this is where I think a lot of teams in, in Team Falcons There's... Can normally suffer. Because they spread themselves too thin. They start focusing on too much. But now nah, these guys know exactly where they need to be looking, and the amount of suppressive fire that they're throwing. I don't know why they just let Batani and Jill pick up a fragger support to replace stars. That bro, that's literally what I said next. They should have picked up an established team in North America and should have tried to build their own team around FS and bring Starlight. That like, it's a joke on how Nova Hyper runs their team. They like, I'm not trying to throw shit at them, but like, they they fucked up in trying to build a roster for North America. They put two Ukrainian players together that had a very good team. And, and the, the like they're stuck up on guys, keeping the the, their whole the thing was they're stuck up on keeping Chinese based nine players, nine right? Like why do that? You're a North American team. fucking or pick up an actual NA team. Honestly, or pick up a team that's been playing in NA. Shit shit blows my mind. We need some major points here to rocket launch us at least in towards that top three. So that way we could feel somewhat safe going into our next day of gameplay. Team Falcons now starting to push onto Royals of War. They want to soak up even more points. They do, and this is the crazy part. They could have stayed fine in the place that they were, but they were like, no, we see an option where we can actually third party this. We see an option where we can make it easier for us towards the end, and they are going to take it. As they do have one player knocked down there from Team Falcons, they're going to be able to pick him up. And when Dude really like said he's been praying on NH do downfall, do right but can't figure out why the team the don't want him heaven, for a tryout. It's because they, I'm an IGL, exactly like they already, they, they already have Baton and, and Starlight. 
Like they don't need another idea. That's like the whole. That was like the whole memo. Went down. That is nuts. That one shot right there. I believe it was from Brevox. Was absolutely insane. It kept them alive for just a little bit longer. Uh, their org does not make the decision for them. No org in any esports scene is picking up players without asking the other players if they want them. It's not. It doesn't really work in esports. It's a fucking you know NFL soccer some shit like that. It's different. But Bubble, you're not gonna play with no dude you don't want to play with. You just you're said paid like that. you just said they reached out to you and the team said no. Yes, because yes. I'm also an IGL. Because Baton's an IGL, Starlight's an IGL. The coach wanted to try me out, but I'm also an IGL. So the team said no. But they don't need three fucking IGLs on the team. It's a whole. That's why they said no. Like, Philip they don't the need a fucking... Now he's up the high there's no the point. Juice. That's that's why they said no. With the laser beam, shuts down the push, and then now the comes coach, action to finish um, off with the They didn't realize that was an IGL, and so that's why the team said no. Pressing this. Here comes Top with some more headshots. This team's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Maxman, if you're watching but, this, you want to break down... I mean, it doesn't fucking right matter. Here. Break this down for me. Post it on your Instagram. I want to see this. Because, Fuckin boy, Team Falcons right now... I'm looking how they're playing right now, and it's like I'm kind of like happy they said no. Fox 15 kills kind of crazy, no? Dude, I hope you're in the galaxy when this fucking who's still alive, Lord and Ralph. Oh, this is very doable. Very doable. You know what? Nigma Galaxy, their backs are against the wall. Is it doable though? They need. They're in a corner. Ralph's gonna have the one we threw. Out of it, and the only way it's gonna be is with some more eliminations. And a chicken dinner. The only problem is there's only two players up, and Team Falcons are on fire. Meanwhile, was that Virtus Pro still alive? Hey, there you go. How do you survive? Oh, he's gaming. Yep, Lord, he's you gaming. fucking suck. He takes out Lord. Another point on the board, trying to keep his tournament alive, but Team Falcons finally shut him down. And the What's up, brother? These guys are excited because that was a real hard match for them. You know, I'm actually glad. I'm, I'm glad NGX finished out with a very good game. That that was that was a good game they needed after the fucking the the pachinkis that they went against the X. Should we tune in to Shifon's uh, live stream chat and see what's popping? So far, honestly, what's poppin', brother? The match of the day for me, the way Team Falcons played that snap back on Nigma Galaxy whenever they realized Nigma Galaxy was chat subscribe to right now on them and continue to rotate. Uh, <sighs> I, I think we're seeing a main event team here. Just mm -hmm. not surprised, but I think we're seeing a main event here. <laughs> Goodness gracious, dude, those guys were looking at their phones at the end of that game like they were trying to decide Jeez. what was for lunch, you know, like just like, hey, you know, what do you guys want? You guys want this? Want chat. That? Should we tune in to Shifan's uh, stream? I need a yes or no. I mean, I think Falcons came into this game. They just Check tried to get away. I sent you clips and, and, and on of Shifan talking about his team on ID Valley. They mentioned they six also. Six, you're coming out of retirement, buddy. You're going to be on in-hyper. I ain't coming out of no retirement. Fuck no. You're going on in-hyper, baby. There's no way they took my tweet. There's no way they took my tweet serious, right? Bro, like it's fucking April Fool's. Six yeah, isn't coming out of retirement. He hates PUBG Mobile chat. Chat, I'm, I'm going pro and Overwatch again. I fuck the mobile say, dude. That's how crazy it is. Honestly, I'm with you on that, and you know what? Fucking fake sweet talk me to come back to mobile back in the day when I was about to go big in Overwatch. I was at the top of T2 about to make it out of the fucking gutters, dog. I was about to make it out of the fucking hood, dude. Fate took me back to the PUBG mobile. It was like, yo, play America's Me. I was like, alright, I'm down. That's all I need. Same team, because they're going to be meeting them at the main event if they continue to play like this. But how about we ruin somebody else's day? And I wouldn't be surprised. Let me go see what she fun's saying. I'll tell you what, man. If Yo, chat. Um, Phoenix, send those same videos that you just sent me to Sixless on Instagram so he can watch them as well. I'm saying, hey, guys, I'll buy you lunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, guys, how y'all doing? I'm your best friend right now. You know, we're in the middle of the pack, but we're trying to put in some work, you know? Because you don't want them even looking in your direction. Because if these guys want to take you out. Oh, fuck it, chat. We're going to fucking Chief on stream. I mean, they can literally run. Fuck yeah, brother. Any team is literally can be in their sight. I mean. 
second highest illumination count that we've seen for today. So, <sighs> I mean, chat, we're on well, cheap on stream. The, the only other highest score was Bellator. Nova High for six was the face of NA. Fuck yeah. Shut up. They pay me $15 billion. I'd consider it. Are just gonna look absolutely insane and uh hey chat that's something that we gotta take a look at here to figure bro, out bro don't let action see my chat bro we all, action is action we action all knew since this? day one action brother that no the hype was gonna do ass with this roster brother let's go brother. 31 to we we said from the beginning of this tournament we're praying on nova hyper's wow. downfall brother my goodness. and it happened absolutely. put a stop on them jeez it's all love. It's all love, chat. <laughs> April Fools. It's all hate, brothers. It's all love. I, it, I, I'm just kidding, chat. It's April Fools, chat. Everything I said was April Fools. Just kidding, bro. Like, what the heck, bro? April Fools, dude. Again. <laughs> Get reversed. If and then she don't qualify, and she found better. Let you try out. All right, Val. If you're not transphobic, out, name. What every color means and the flag. Nine eliminations, you know, not able to get the chicken dinner. Red, white, and blue. You were sick. You were sick. Yeah, I mean, they decided, you know what, maybe it's about time that we start to win something. Like, we're not in a hot drop. Let's try something new. Just thinking about how the org would be right now when they were thinking about picking you up. Um, I'm not playing for Nova Hyper. I'm sticking with my team. Well, the MVP, no surprise, ice cold damage. <laughs> I, I would think about how an org would view you right now when they were thinking about picking you up. Why would that doesn't that sentence quite literally doesn't make sense? Because why would they care about what he's like right now if they already had decided to not pick him up? They wouldn't care at all. Yeah, they already decided. I'm an IGL. They don't need a fucking IGL. They need. They just need. To make, but they need, what they need to do is make Baton IGL keep Caprice, drop Starlight, drop Starlight FS, and pick up Crow and Endorphin, and just have feel like and have the tight roster play for Nova Hyper. Why do you feel like they need like a full roster? Of synergy. The, like if if they don't have any synergy and one of them sucks, the push from the enemy team like. They will most likely wipe Falcon there. I feel like in PEL. Maybe the vehicles are different. Wait, did I see MVP? Oh no, they're just doing an interview. Actually, I'm actually pretty excited to see who's. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited to see who MVP today. Ah, I'm the MVP. If I was somebody in Chief on set said if I was an NA, I will be. Wait, if I was an NA, I will be in Hyper's IGO, and his name's Cleon. I have no idea that is. Have your clue as well. FS is good, not just with that roster. Yeah, see, that's the thing. If they wanted, if they wanted to build a roster around FS. Let FS pick the roster. You already have a following, like, on your channel. Literally, just try do more content, like, for your channel. I feel like that can, like, bring you, like, more, I guess, edges. For us, all the team is uh, in the game uh, are the enemy. the enemy. Yeah, no problem. We got that. I'm gonna try to do this. I don't problem. And uh, there's a no player. To find the there's a no fucking ass. Like since like the beginning of time, they've been asked. Cleon is a no player. Yeah, easy, Nia, yeah, no has been dog shit ever since. Like the, since the beginning of time, yep. Like they've just been trash. Their language. That's no issues. Oh my. Sounds God. like uh, Korean. Jesus. Issues was like one of those kids that had like potential, one of the biggest then, egos. Yeah, he had he had potential. He had potential and then he had an ego. And then stayed with like his tier two team. Yeah, and then he never. He stayed anywhere. with like Twinkles and fucking 
Kodo and Every Fury and Swift and just got washed because you played with washed players. And then the next day also we we will be just be there as well. Awesome, awesome. Great debut today, Team Falcons. Thanks so much for the interview. Thank you. Translator <laughs> needs a translator. You guys are and here with the trolling again. Seventy nine. Give them the crown already. Yo, props to ST or the XIST roster Falcons. They played their fucking ass off today. Here, DK. That is more eliminations than third place on down in total points. I mean, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. But I think this is Falcons. Are you a coach or player? Am a player slash a content creator? Might have snuck us out of that direct qualifier into the main event. We gotta earn it, and we gotta ensure that nobody else is gonna catch up to us. Are they playing as a partnership roster with Falcon? Yes. The XSTE roster trouble, trouble, got picked trouble. up by Falcon, which is a partnership. So team point. DX, Intel. I mean, honestly, there's so many good teams here that I expect us to do good, but I'm I'm genuinely surprised that we have we were able to perform today. Like our drop spot and sucks. Our drop spot sucks. Dude, Chief on Zilly saying like, their drop spot sucks. We have VP. Doing the hot drop with us, and we in the uh, really the more we have Navi with us. Literally, we're hot dropping these teams every single match, except Sandhawk. That's in his ego ever. I'm gonna be honest. That's why I hated J4F. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Before I picked up J4F, like I heard, like I did hear, like um, they had big egos, but it was like a risk to take and. They, I don't think, like, they don't have as big as egos as they did before. Like, they realize, like, they can't be dicks to everybody. Um, obviously, like, they still have, like, self-egos. Because, I mean, everybody has an ego, right? But I feel like they're not as bad as what they used to be. Because they realize that, like, oh, shit, like, we're playing at, like, um, a higher level than what they were. And so they had to, you know, be more respectful. Um, or a lot of people. People would hate them. Tomorrow, Falcons gonna watch the watch the matches from the hotel, for I mean, sure, for sure. Performance of the live time right here. I mean, they didn't get that golden ticket. She even getting gay for action, but bro. They just proved to us all seven that they. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, uh, I'm happy for one because I wasn't here Saturday, so I didn't really get a chance to see them play. I'm happy that they decided to spend some extra time here with us and just show us what champions what possible champions could look like because boy if they if there was a team ever that looked like a champion at least for this prelim in regards to being first place I you said if a person has good event, following she or she should uh, focus on content yeah, and grinding I, I, na what the, exactly what we want to see what of the person with no following can he grind any na no showcase that evening sandhawk to you but i don't suggest that last match i don't suggest so impressive oh so good for those of you guys just tuning you grind in that because they are just they are there are no good teams in NA. The practice is bad. Here, here, first chat. Even Chief on us. There's, there's no practice in NA. <laughs> Literally, if you're living in Brazil, I feel like we no could probably team. try out the comp. But for NA, no. NA is just terrible, bro. Most players are just play, play, playing this for fun. You don't, you don't have serious players like in NA anymore. He's very spitting facts. You mean I can do both? I mean, playing comp is taking a lot of time though, but yeah, you can do both for sure. I did both when I play comps. Unfortunate. Bro, and also appreciate you guys, like we literally... We tripled like... I thought it's gonna be only like 200 people like watching or even less, but like you guys... Are you saying we have like almost close to like 800 at one point today in the PMGO watch party day one? So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow, and I'll be scheduling my live stream for tomorrow. I think for tomorrow, like I guess like one kill and if we got, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do, I'll, I'll do three push-ups <laughs> to give them energy or something. But uh, thank you all. I need to be sure to just sign all of access. Bro, I don't think that's gonna change stuff. I don't. I don't think that's gonna change.
Did you just hear Chiffon 6? What did he say? There's somebody in the chat just said, uh, he just said that somebody in the chat said, why doesn't Inhyper yeah, just sign all of XS? And Chiffon said, I don't think that would one change kill, anything. Five push up? I'm not gonna lie, if, if Inhyper picked up the whole X XS roster, if Remix, Bro, Bray, Robert, and what if they got a Jayua were still a team, that's... like, a couple weeks ago before they made the decision uh, oh, oh, to go oh, oh. with this roster, I won't be able to see you guys. They would have been a good team. Day three. Extreme Slayer is anyway, actually a really good team. Anyway, thank you all for watching. All right, see chat. You guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Um, thank you for uh, you know tuning into the five-hour stream with me and Sixless. Hope we co-hosted this viewer party very well. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button and. Uh,